Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm being serenaded by Hannah singing Oklahoma. I want to know why the rain hasn't stopped, why I'm flooded in my village again, and why, in all the rain, I've got tree pollen allergy. I haven't done my ice cold bath. It's still in a box on the dining room table. Anyway, shall we start with today's early bird? Here we go. Early bird, early bird, early bird. Now, we're expecting Hayley. Hayley said she was coming in this morning to do this. Okay, this has only ever been lower as a manager special. We're not allowed to do manager specials when the managers aren't here. So Hayley said, don't worry, I'll come in. I'll bring coffees for everybody. I'll be in. Don't worry, I won't be coming at six like you. I'll come in in time for the show. Here's Hayley, everybody. So she's not here, but we're still going to take it to a manager special price. Never, ever, ever been there apart from at the manager special price. Ridiculous. You go and have a look. You Yahoo, Google or Bing how much you can pay for a fusing mat. Okay, now just to warn you, when it went to this price last time, we sold more than we've actually got in stock. What is it you're asking? Well, I'll show you. I'll have to show you the open box, So, Right, this is amazing, right? Because we used to sell one of these from Australia. It was called... No, not Janet Clare, that's you. Janet God... Was it called Janet Goddard? Anyway, anyway, anyway. And it was like 50, 60 quid, right? This is 19 99 today. So this here, this is your fuser mat, which means... Now, it comes from the... Uh, in fact, they, you see it on uh, Great British Chef an awful lot when they're, they're pressing down food or they're doing sugar work and things like that. They use one of these. It's not the Millwood one. This is our one. But um, So basically, you can build your uh, applique. So on here, so what you do is you take your bonder web off, build it all up on here. The fabric sticks to the fabric, but the bottom one doesn't stick to this. You then peel it off and then you take it to your cushion cover or whatever, wherever you're putting it and iron it all on. And then when you, oh dear, when you're doing that, you can then use your pressing mat over the top to then iron it to your cotton, which means any glue, any lace work you're doing, any applique work, any glue work, does the glue doesn't go on your iron and it doesn't go on your ironing board cover. And also, you can make a sandwich like that, so it really, really, but be careful, this gets very, very hot. Now, we used to sell a pressing mat that big for 15 99 Just this, not this. Just a silicon pressing mat for 15 99 was that big, right? So for 19 99 you get that, <clears throat> and you get that. I know, I know. Uh, keep going through. Keep going through, loads of you there. Now, I'm not going to spend too long on this because Janet Clare's here. Oh, mess you on the bottom. Good morning, John, from a wet canaf and boradad, Um, it's, it's a horrible day everywhere today, I think. OK, cool. So it's going into baskets. What I might do is I might come back. If there's any left, I'll come back to it in my tool hour later because I don't want to take any of Janet Clare's time. Let me just tell you the other Jan says good morning. Princess says good morning. Morning Gorgeous says Jan. Delia says good morning. Anne says morning. Love your shirt. Ollie likes my shirt as well. Claire says morning. Looking fab. We had a haircut. Yes, I have. You're the only one that noticed, Claire. Margaret says good morning. June says morning. Gorgeous. Hilary says morning. John. No, we've got a what? Where's that come from? Oh, all the writing's too small. I can't read that. Oh, actually, I haven't got a screen. I haven't got the big screen. No, don't worry, don't, because I'm, I'm moving over there. No, 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 Michael, don't worry, I'm moving over there, don't worry. Over half, half the stock's gone, but when you've all checked out, Collector in Cambridge just says, highly recommend this project. Is that a FIFA? Is that a message? Oh, that's a message. It's a message. Wendy, uh, morning, John, love the mat, amazing. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Especially for 19 99 Manager, special price, no manager. No special. Morning, John and Claire. Oh, Claire. You mean Janet Claire? Janet Claire. Or Claire Janet, she sometimes gets called. In Cat Jane in County Cork. Okay, loads of you there, loads of you there, loads of you there. Right, let's do the menu very quickly then. So, uh, eight o'clock, posh quilt with Janet Claire, which means port. No, something else before starboard. What's the O stand for? Out, starboard, home. Uh, then at nine o'clock, we've got quilting tools, including... Charlie, that's you. Hey! Brand new, brand new, brand new today. I've had it at home playing with it. And then I got, I got to, they're already selling, by the way. Uh, 
got a message from Hannah yesterday saying, Hayley says you have to remember to bring the iron in that they gave you back. You did. Yes, you could. I'll, I'll show you. You'll see it. Um, at nine, 10 o'clock, Orbiter Quilt with Janet Clare. There's more than just these. There's more than just this. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got Britannia Machines plus the Wayliner launch with George Franklin. So we've got the Overlocker, the Cover Stitch, Julie Vaughan, and we've got the sewing machine at the, I want to say DX, but that was my class in um, when I was at Bretton Hall. Oh, it is DX. Is it a three? DX3. And then at 12.30, quilt kits, miss it, miss out. There are three ways you can get in touch. First way is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Second way, oh, who's moving my table around? Second way is at Facebook Live. That's you, Henry, ready, ready. And then the third one is you go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. You go to the front page, you click the top right-hand corner. Uh, and you'll see the square there. And then on the right-hand side, there's a little white square where you can write your message. Uh, and they're the ones that come up on the bottom. Later, scroll down the page and you'll see two columns. There's only one there at the moment. Uh, the left-hand column is everything that you've seen so far. The right-hand column here is everything that's coming up in the next five hours. You've never seen those foundation papers here before. They're going already. They're going already. Uh, then we've got... Uh, then that's Janet's first ad. Then we've got tools. Now, for some reason, there's suddenly some of my birthday panel in here, and I don't know where they've come from. Oh, sold out. What's that sold out? Sash and Dash White sold out already. Amber Makes, Victorian Spring. There's my birthday. But I don't know how. We sold out on my birthday, so I have no idea. So Ben got it reprinted for a show that I wasn't here for. That's very odd, isn't it? Anyway, uh, there's the iron. Now, you will not... You will not be paying 99.99 for it. And it's on three-way split pay. Uh, then carry on. Oh, they're nice. Little roots. Oh, what's that wooden, wooden quilt? Oh, sold out. Oh, I was looking forward to that. I won't because it's sold out. Janet's second hour. Beautiful. That's one I've not seen before. The Constance, that's nice. That book's gorgeous. That's one you all bought when we made our mile skirt, do you remember? It's a beautiful book. Yeah, lovely for spring, that is. Lovely for spring. Uh, got some calico. Got another book. We haven't got it here. Then, George. There's the machines, the overlock. I didn't realise overlock. Wasn't that, that cheap? Anyway, overlock up, cover stitch, sewing machine with a free extension table, and the wayliner. Now, it's not the machine. It's just the... Oh, it's only heart. Oh, I see. It's front and back. It's just the, it's the thing with the, Hannah was trying to explain the machine to me earlier and she it's like this with two big bits that stick out and then she started doing some suggestive movements so we stopped. Now look at that William Morris quilt. Look at that William Morris quilt, right? We're not meant to have that. Oh, which we've got not stopping that William Morris quilt. Um, that hasn't been on air. It sold out when we got it. We've got more in. That, well, what? Hannah was trying to say earlier it was from since 2001. Well, if she was here in 2001, I certainly wasn't. Uh, anyway, carry on, carry on. Then we've got quilt kits for the last half hour. Some Delphine there, some rope and anchor. There's all sorts there. In the, oh, look at that lovely one. Dina Designs, mixed cherries. And then look at all these... I don't know why they're all at the bottom. But look at all those best presses. And then there's the Britannia cover... Oh, that's the cover stitch foot set. Oh, and there's the other one. There's the other one. We're not demonstrating them. They're there if you want them. There if you want them. Right, okay. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Janet Clare. Good morning. How are we? Eight o'clock and you're on. I know. It's a bit of a rush this morning. I'm <coughs> used to arriving yeah. and, you know, just before seven and having nothing to do till nine. Yeah. So it's been good. Well, you're ready now. I'm ready. Ready now. So what is this quilt behind us and why is it so special? It is posh, isn't it? It is posh. It is posh. It's posh and a port out stub at home. It's with a fabric collection that I designed called Bon Voyage. So it's all about travel. Right. Um, and a mariner's compass, this is a mariner's compass block, is on lots of people's quilting bucket lists because yep. it's an absolutely classic block. And a lot of quilts you want to make and use and some quilts you want to make for the pure pleasure of making them yeah. and the joy of handing them down, making an heirloom. And this is an heirloom quilt. So the mariner's compass 
is properly pieced. So there's no shortcuts. Right. So it's foundation piece <coughs> and then it's set into a curve. And I've got demos for it. Yeah. But most of the quilt is log cabin. Okay. It's really, really easy. And how we've made it look even posher is to put all those blocks on point. Yes. So it's a real skill builder heirloom quilt. It's yes. only got uh, four fabrics in it. Really, really classic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't look like it. It doesn't does it? look like it, no. It's a really, and I can say I didn't make it. Pip made it for okay. me. Um, but it is, it is it's achievable. A beautiful, it, it is, is achievable. very, very achievable. I wouldn't do this as your first quilt. No, no. Lots of bits um, and on point is just another thing. But definitely, if you've made a couple of quilts, very, very Right, it has previously sold out. We're on single figures already. Single figures already. Right, apparently the picture on the web is just one corner. You make the whole thing. It measures, is it on the graphics? It is 71 by 85 inches. You were ready for that. I, I was reading, yeah. Right. Not good with numbers. <laughs> okay, have a look at the quilt behind Janet so you see the size of it, look. It's huge, huge. So not a first quilt, but an heirloom quilt. Now, what you get in your bundle, this is fantastic. These are the four fabrics you will be getting. So now there's more than enough here. There is. There's a 10% more, <coughs> excuse me, than you actually need. I love this, Milton Keynes. <laughs> uh, trees, little televisions and more trees. Oh, it's on split pay, look. 70 pounds split pay, three way split pay. Right, so there are your fabrics. These are your instructions. Now you do get all full size templates, right? Don't touch those. Do not touch them because, no, don't touch them. Don't touch them. Keep those nice and safe. Yeah, they've got the fabric on the picture as well, look. Yep. But look, more instructions, more instructions. But look, look what you get. You get, oh, look at these. If you had to photocopy those, how much would that cost you? Yeah, you wouldn't, couldn't print them out either. No. So look, so you get all of that. And so you don't need to touch this. Save that for another day. And you get too many of these, so you can do a couple of practice ones on your spare fabric. Not this fabric. Don't use that fabric. Some fabric you've got in your stash, you do a spare one. Uh, I made this quilt, lovely to make, one of my favourites from Leslie in Tyne and Weir. Thank you, Leslie. Excellent. Now, did you just say to me I've only got six left? I've only six, six left already. Okay, last time we had it on, 30 went. 30 went straight away last time. Yeah, now, the reason they're limited, is apart from your fact you're buying them, is you can't get your collections back, can you, once no. they're gone? No, once they're gone, they're gone. Yeah. And that is the honest truth. And it's very frustrating, because you have something like this yeah. that people would buy over and over again. Yeah. Because it's, it is that quality product. We can't no, make it. No, So what happens is, when Janet designs a range of fabric, they put it out there to the world um, uh, and go, right, who wants some? So they print that and a bit more, and then that's it. Once it's sold, even Janet can't get any more. No. Nope. Nobody can get any more once that print, print, uh, print run has sold out. Because yep. you're on to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So um, it's brilliant, £210. Take advantage of the split pay. £70 split pay, three way. Plus you get all of these. Plus you get your instructions. Plus you get the original um, the originals. ones. Don't touch those, though, until you make it in another fabric later on and all your four fabrics there, and you get way too much fabric. Well, 10% more. We do all the maths on 40 inches instead, yeah. and then we obviously, we're not giving you 13 centimetres of things. We're no. rounding up a bit, but if you make it, just keep every single scrap until the quilt is completely finished. That's what I do, that's what Pippa does. Yeah. She hands me a bag of scraps, literally every tiny little bit. And then if you do make a mistake, and you make it over and over again, like if you're cutting a big thing, you just sew things back together again, yeah, yeah. and you'll be fine, don't worry. Okay, four left, and way more than four in baskets. 12 in baskets. Lot of disappointed people. Right, pattern on its own is here. Oh, I can do it this way. Pattern on its own is here. Now, it's quite a sturdy pattern. Oh. Half the stock of the pattern on its own is gone, right? So, people love Janet Clare. Why is that? 
I don't know, but it's lovely, isn't it? No, it's Nick. It's a real compliment. Course. Yeah. So there's your picture of quilt on a funny angle with the top missing, but that's by the That's bag. us hanging on the wall. It hangs on the wall at the studio, and there is a banisters and a staircase. You can just see the handrail. Yeah, yeah, there's a handrail there. Look. So it's hard to get a clean oh. shot straight on without it's moving good. everything. Without yeah. moving the staircase. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, anyway, so it's we've artistic. got. I, I should have just said it's artistic. It's nothing to do with the logistics of where I keep my sewing machine. Or oh, it's artistic, like right? Pippa and yeah. Carolyn, we have to say thank yes. you. Yes. Pippa for piecing it, Carolyn for long arm quilting it. Right, then in here you get the, uh, in the pattern, you do get the um, templates there. But you're going to have to photocopy those. Do not cut those up. Or trace them. Or trace them. But they are full size. And full size. We've, and we've put this, the fabric, an indication of the fabric on there, because that yeah. really just helps you when you're um, working it out. Oh, now I haven't even kept show, I haven't shown you yet. It's about to sell out, right? Here's the rest of the pattern. Very thorough. No staples included. Look, everything you need. There's so much in here, isn't there? Look. Yeah, and the tip, you know, the curved piecing template is very... Uh, uh, teaching their tutorial, lots of photos, lots of ideas. Pippa is very, very thorough, gave us lots of um, technical tips on how yep. to get a good result. So that's that, that's it, it's going to sell out. £12, it's going to sell out. What's this little thing that's wafting around? Um, is it washing instruction? Fabric details, general guidelines on washing fabrics. We put that in every kit, oh, okay. just so that you know. It. Right, okay, now, buy these. Right, Hannah's saying, right, right, she keeps saying, right. <laughs> They're flying out. They're absolutely flying out. These are the templates. So if you bought this, you can make your own. But why would you make your own when you can have all of them plus extra? No instructions or anything. It's just the templates. Yeah. Just the templates. And they're professionally printed. They're not photocopies. They're professional. They've gone through the same printer as our. They're pattern. professionally printed, John. They are because I think a photocopier can get a bit. You know, yeah. the lines aren't yeah. crisp. The paper's not great. If you don't put the paper in properly. Yeah. Sorry, Hannah. Go on. Yeah. Quick. Right. The pat. The. Okay. The bundle has sold out. We cannot get any more. The pattern has sold out. We might be able to get more of the pattern in the future. We can definitely get the pattern. Oh, not today. Not today. We can't. Not today. But in the future, we might be able to. So the paper piece, oh, look, I missed that message. Sorry, can you just put that message back in? Is that possible? Too busy shouting, they've all sold out. Uh, good morning, Janet and John. So please, the manager to buy the foundation paper piece and this will make the construction so much easier. Thank you, Linda from Hampshire. Thank you, Linda. It will. It genuinely will. So these are, the, so the, the pattern on is only sold out today. The quilt kit are sold out. And now the, these will sell out. Oh, seven left. <laughs> Right. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, you get this free bag as well. Oh, Hannah hasn't seen the bag before. Who has it? Hannah hasn't. Hannah hasn't seen the bag. Are you not in, it Hannah? Be, Have you not been No, in? she was on a long holiday. Well, <laughs> not months. This is, you've had this bag for a while now. Yes, but I haven't been on TV well, with, with Han Hannah for ages. Yes, we changed from the dog. And oh, it's she... actually indigo ink now, not black. She missed you, she said. She, I missed you too, Hannah. Oh, get a room. <laughs> right, here we go. And she, no, she was thinking, I could oh. hear her going, oh. She's been, she's, she's been getting all sentimental now, going, I really like Janet. Oh, look, she's Hannah. Like, that, take that as a compliment. Oh, look. Look, I made, I made a little She hasn't thing. made that for you, Hannah. No, sorry. <coughs> John can make it for you. What? <laughs> what did you just say? John will make you a demo for you. Yeah, I haven't bought John, a kit, though. Yeah, John will make you something. I have to buy a kit first. <laughs> Anyway, so it's a, it's a tote bag, but you can make a cushion or what was yeah. the thing you made? Uh, a little uh, zip pouch. Zip pouch. It's 100 percent cotton. And I know once you've bought a few kits, you know, they're used, they're genuinely useful for keeping all your bits organized while you're in the process of yeah, sewing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then some tote bags are really handy, but we all get you get to say that you've got so many. So, many. so I thought they're 100 percent cotton. I ran it through the washing machine. It all survives. It doesn't fade. It and it's free for and all advertising or... for you. Absolutely. I'm not stupid, you see. No, no, nobody <laughs> said you were. Nobody said you were. Right, so that's all done. We are going to do a demonstration on it, but I need to introduce some other things to you first. Abracadabra. Quilt kit. Can you reach? You can reach. Oh, it's on single figures already. <laughs> right, okay. I'll show, you the, I'll show you the quilt. Oh, no, I'll show you the quilt first. 
The quilt's in different fabric. Um, the quilt's in different fabric. Can you say it? Okay, your, that's the design, but this is what yours will look like. Yes, and the pattern is in the fabric that you're going to get in the yeah. kit. Um, so okay. that was a quilt along that I did a few years ago. And repeating those, there's lots of half square triangles, quarter square triangles, and those squares where you have three triangles. What do you call yeah, those? Yeah, so it's a half square triangle. There's a half square triangle, and then the other half is two half, is square, two half square triangles. Yeah. So, really uh, so this is the bundle. You'll get yours in. And it's really... Oh, show the label. The label's fun. <sighs> God, John, God, let's see. God, work. Sing for a second. Here's the label. Abracadabra. So we... You don't have to do this. You don't. But that's... It's a talisman uh, to ward off evil. That's where Abracadabra started from. Oh, I, is according, it? I did, I did, you know, five minutes research yeah, and yeah, coffee. Yeah. But if you look at how the word is constructed, you go A, A, B, A, B, R. You see how yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Abracadabra. So that is... Um, Just to say that's... They'll be so bored. Yes. They won't, they'll go off and do someone else, won't they? So there you go. And we, when did we make that? When did I make that quilt? Was it in 21? 22. 22. The whole so of 22. We, yes, we all know what state of mind was. So we were all about warding off evil things. And I did it as a secret block of the month. So you, no one knew what the quilt was going to look oh. like until it was finished. So abrac abracadabra applied. Three. Oh, there's only three left. Thank you, everyone. That's all right. That's all right. To be said, that's all right. Our pleasure. Yeah, we're happy with that. <laughs> right, so you get the instructions. And then, what's this, did you say? What's this? Collage. Happen? Collage. Collage. And, I think and the finish scribe is 64 inches square. Yeah, it's a really nice, easy... It doesn't look like a beginner's quilt, but no. there's lots that you can do as a beginner on there. And it's, it's chunked down, so you're not making, you know... Yeah. You know, don't worry about it. You're making a little block and then you're making some half square triangles and it will... So they're obviously half square triangles. Are you going to show us that in a minute? Yes. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. All right, all right, Two way split, £135. Janet, are you displaying at Kempton Park Quilt Show in June? I do hope so. It's nice and local from Karen. I'm um, sorry, but we have not been to Kempton Park, so we need to try and get there first. And then when we've had a look around, then we may... It's in June, you better put your I finger know. out. We really want to support all the smaller quilt shops, yeah. quilt shows, but it's very hard to um, fit everything Kempton in. Kempton Park, isn't that near Weybridge, that way? So, Isha, isn't it out that way, Kempton Park? That's, we've got Ascot and um, where, that crafting for are you near, Are you near Isha? Epsom, I'm about, an, you know, take me about an hour. Oh, OK. 40 minutes, an hour, okay. something like that. But yes, we really do try to support the... The quilt shows. Maybe you could do a royal visit. I and they could all dress in. up on the I day. could helicopter in. Yeah. Yeah. I'll There'll just be space. in, darling. Um, yes. Done this quilt. It's on my bed. Fabulous. And I'm a beginner for oh, the season in Norfolk. Good. There you go. Is that How are we doing stockwise? Still three left and four people in baskets. That's going to be a sellout. I've got the pattern on its own. That one also, that one also comes with this. And I'll show you the sample again. The one I've just sat and folded up, you mean? Yeah, it's all right. Oh, I tell you, yesterday, I feel... Oh, you've got <laughs> muscles now. Did you go to the gym? Oh, you have. It, no, I don't go to the gym. He comes to me. The gym comes to you. Yeah. There you go. Well, oh, hang on, it's upside go. down. Um, it's all right. It will repeat. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Oh, now, last time I did this. The last time I did this. Yeah. That, when I first started on the channel, I did a trick. Oh, yes. Where and someone then held up a thing like that, they <laughs> dropped it and I was behind it. <laughs> so maybe this time I'll disappear. You'll just disappear. Oh, oh no, it didn't work. No, it doesn't work. It didn't work. Way. There you go. It's a really nice quilt. And obviously you've got a pale background. The abracadabra in the collage fabric gives you a pale background. I think there's a colouring sheet I in have a look the for you pattern now. if you want to make it out of your scraps. Again, it's a four. How four. Does it go? What? There's four textiles in it, isn't there? So yeah, you can uh, easily oh. colour it in yeah. four colours. Look, there it is. So there, that, that's how you make it, is it, in those blocks? Yes. Beautiful. So that is a nice beginner quilt. If you're determined, there's lots of cutting and piecing, but it will not look like a beginner's quilt. But Oh, there's some foundation doable. in that as well, though. There's a very, very easy foundation. 
Well, yeah. One, really, one really simple. Like a couple of seams, big wide spaces. So, but the technique for foundation is the same no matter what you're doing. Yeah. You just have to get your head around it. Lovely. That one's abracadabra. Oh, uh, uh, Hannah's following you on Instagram now. Oh, thank you, Hannah. See, it's love now. Right, Ms. Mays. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Broken record. Very, very limited. What fabric's that? This, that's in collage as well. Oh, I remember this one, the choppy uppy one. Yeah. They, Beautiful. I love that green. It's gorgeous, that I green. I love that yeah. green. So, uh, 72 by 72 inches, this one. Samples in different fabric, but the, the effect is the same. And we've got that sharp green back. So um, your quilt will look very similar. There you go. And that is a log cabin. So it's exactly the same technique as that's in posh, but on a bigger scale and gives you a bit of an optical illusion when you're far enough away from that. We have had this on before and it's sold out. What fabric's that? Oh, that was in... 7th of November. Geometry. That was in geometry. That's that collection called you. geometry, yes. I'm, I'm not showing you. It's the backing that Janet's used. Backing third of your quilt. We were talking about that on Instagram yesterday. It's the third. Mark. It's the third of your quilt, isn't it? Yeah. Backing. Anyway, that's your bundle there on the desk. One hundred twenty-four ninety-nine. Uh, what? How many split pages? Is it? Uh, Michael, could you put that onto our? That's still on Hobby Make on there. Sixty-two forty-nine. Two-way. Two-way split pay. Beautiful uh, pattern on it. Uh, oh. Yeah, pattern yes, on its own. Pattern. pattern on its own. Is there a colouring in thing on this one as well? Um, can't remember. Pens. I don't think there is actually. When we're reprinting, we are adding. We improve and edit every time. So it okay. depends when on you, you When it you is. say we. That's the royal we, yeah. Yeah. Is that your bedroom? No, that is a hotel, that is an Airbnb apartment in Houston, Texas. And did they and know? I, no, I arrived with the quilts um, to do quilt market in Houston. Yeah. And with those quilts, the brand new fabric, no one had seen it. And I thought, this bedroom is just perfect. So I just got off the 10 hour flight and trance, got myself into, found the apartment. I thought, I'm not even touching that bed until I've taken photographs. <laughs> but there I was with my jet lag. <laughs> Taking photos of quilts because it was such a beautiful setting. Okay, Hannah, what did you just say to me? Were you allowed to take pictures in the Airbnb? <gasps> Shh. Loads of you there, $9.99. Probably should have We've got good location. stock of this. We've got yeah. good stock of this one. 72 by 72. That's your finished size. I was, do you know what? My mind was just going exactly the same way as you, but I wasn't using that word. I don't know what word I was using. Basically, Hannah says it's good as a unisex quilt. I was going to say, if you don't like florals yeah. and patterns, and this is quite good. It suits everyone, and it's quite a classic design because it's, it just gives you, a, you know, that striking effect. And it's log cabins. Yeah, but also any age as well. It could be a kid any going age. to university. Yeah, I think if you make a really baby, baby quilt, they're going to grow out of it quite yeah, quickly. Yeah. So, yep. Um, and obviously you can change the colours. You know, it would look very striking with red and white or... Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been after the Ms. Mays quilt for some time. Always sold out. Fin finally managed to get oh, it. Oh, good. Linda in Hampshire. Brilliant, Linda. Thank you. Right. Shall we do some demo then? Yes. Am I demoing posh? Over here. Am I demoing posh? I've got nothing in posh to sell you, but we'll have a quick look at the demo. Let's have a quick look. Right, so we, we'll start with log cabin. Very, very easy. We can do um, log cabin. This demo, I'm just going to talk you through. I'm not doing a lot of sewing because I actually want to do some foundation piecing. No, you don't. I do. I have to. Um, you're going to start very, very easily. All the measurements for the logs are in the pattern. And log cabin is so easy to build. You always have a square. Now, sometimes it's a central square. With posh, it's here. So that is a log cabin block here. But we haven't put the log in the square in the center. 
So we're going to start here and build it out. And that's on point. Now, you can be very, very careful about your directionality of fabric. And you can tell who cut this demo. Uh -huh. Because, look, I've got the trees sideways oh. on here. And they are accurately up the right way on here. And then I've gone back to the right way here. Pip, that wouldn't happen in Pippa Land. No. She would have cut the other way. But anyway, there you go. So you could, this is how you're going to do it. You're going to sew that piece together. You're going to press it. Then you're going to sew that across there. And always look short, but that's your seam allowance because you'd sit there and think, that's oh, really, really wrong. I've done it wrong. And then that will be a unit. And then you sew down here. And then you press, and then you sew that one across here. So you can see how quickly your log cabin blocks are going to build. Yeah. No drama there. And that is genuinely most of the quilt is log cabin. So blocks. that's the big one that you've done there, but the yep. small one's the same, isn't the it? The small ones are the same construction, you're just making lots. And then they are on point, Yeah. which is why you need these triangles here, because they fill in. Yeah that area there. So most of your quilt is log cabin, nice and easy. And then we move on to, I'm just going to talk quickly through the curved piecing. Uh -huh. So you have a template, it's full size. Um, you will have to trace the curved template or you can cut it out of your sheet <coughs> if you want. I have the sheet, will you wreck what's on the other side? Yes. So you do need to trace it. Yeah. I trace mine onto some firm sort of um, stitch and tear or an interfacing. Yeah. You can <coughs> trace it out of card. And I traced it the full size. Okay. So yeah. you need that. And then what you're going to do is cut lots of those. They're your, they're your pie crusts here. They're your pie crust. So each one of those Mariner's Compass needs four of those. Right, so that is really straightforward. Let's all agree we can all do that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, lots of people are saying, uh, Crazy Rain says, morning, Janet. Morning. Hilary says, morning, Janet. I love all your quilts and fabrics. Got quite a collection now. Auntie Pauline says, morning. Amazing quilt designs again, Janet. Sally says, managed to get the quilt a birthday treat to myself. Uh, Wendy says good morning, Lou says good morning, Kate says good morning, Jenny says good morning, Sue says good morning, Julie Vaughan <laughs> says good morning, Carol says good morning, lots of people come. Hey, okay, and here is one quadrant, is that what a quarter of a circle is? Oh, just a quarter. Quarter of your Mariner's Compass, and there is a seam there. So each mariner's compass is made up of four. So you've got like the pie and the crust. Yeah. But the pie is foundation piece. And it will look something like this when it's finished. Right. Okay, so that's the, the pie crust. And here's the pie. And you are going to make it into lots and lots of little sections. Okay, you're not tackling this whole thing by itself, which is where these pattern pieces will help you enormously. Okay, so what, what you need to do to be easy, this is Pippa's tip. So this is one section, let me get the pattern. I feel like I'm gonna go backwards and forwards here. I'll show you, We've ex there is a page where all the diagrams are exploded out and it shows you what little sections build up into that B3. So there is section B3 here. That's what it looks like. And you've got to piece section B2 and piece section B1. And it shows you they fit into that and uh -huh. that fits into that, that little bit there. Okay. Yep. You have to go really slowly and steady with foundation piecing because on the one hand, it's lots of really simple steps, but there are lots of steps and you're working upside down and back to front. You are completely relying on the accuracy of your papers, mm -hmm. which is why we got Rich to print them all for you. And so that you do not waste lots and lots and lots of fabric, you can make yourself little sets of um, templates which have got the seam allowance in. And what are they made out of? 
This is like um, a, like a stitch and tear or an interlacing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to do this. This is Pippa's way of making things as thrifty as possible and also really accurate. So you then have a template for all of these shapes that you need. You only need one of them, so you're not, you know, you're not cutting out hundreds. Yep. And make sure they're all labelled. Do you make all those? I did make all of these. My demo, the demos take ages yeah. to do. But they're worth doing properly because it gives people some confidence. Yeah. Um, and give yourself, when you're cutting out, I give myself a little bit more room around the template. And what you want to do is make sure that you're looking at your fabric directionality all the time. Okay. So that bit there, you've got, you know you can cut your fabric now and you understand the importance of the paper. So now we are moving on. I can't believe I have to do this like before 9 a.m. I know. It's a bit of a slow and steady. <laughs> right, so this is section B1, which fits in there, which I made last time I was here. And if you can see, I would be able to use this still because it does, the fabric does cover that seam. Yeah. That's the solid line, that's the seam. In an ideal world, I would have given myself more fabric and it would cover the whole paper, but it will still work. So have a practice first, and as long as it covers that line, you'll be fine because there's no pressure on those seams because no. they're so tightly packed in. Okay, so we have all of our fabric cut, and then we have to put it, this is where it's upside down and back to front. Okay, so we have got fabric which is the right side we want the right side down mm -hmm. and these lines are for us to stitch on so we want those to be uppermost when we're under under the machine they're the lines that we are sewing on so that means that our fabric is underneath the paper we cannot see it so you have to make sure that you've got everything lined up so that the, the shape that you're going to sew is covered and you take your time and you can pin or another pipper tip which is probably worth doing I won't do because it will take me another couple of minutes but if you set your machine to a slightly a bigger stitch you can tack those in place yeah okay now what you need to do is you need to get your section B2, section three that goes there and section two goes there and you're going to get a card and you're going to put your card, look, bit of product placement there, yeah, yeah, John, yeah, yeah. I'm very clever. There you go, look, bit of product placement. You want a nice card. You don't really want to use your quilting ruler because it's too chunky. Yeah. You want something that's quite flat. So postcard, anything. And then you're gonna fold that over we can't get any more of this quilt, I'm afraid. That is it. It's a foundation piece demo, which is in your um, abracadabra as well. Yeah. And your log cabin is in Ms. Mace. So the techniques do apply. Right, so what I'm going to do, let me put that away while I'm talking to you. Um, I'm just going to trim now that fabric down so I've got a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So you do, you can be really thrifty with your fabric, but I give myself a bit extra because I'm not the most accurate person and I just find it gives me a bit of confidence. Okay, so now what we've got to do, this is where you get, you've got to put your B2 fabric, pretty sides together, there, and you've got to make sure that when it's opened, it covers that whole side. Okay, so which is where that quarter of an inch helps because you just line it up accurately. Now, I would not be foundation piecing in a rush and you don't chain piece them. It's not a zoom, zoom, zoom yeah, yeah, yeah. job. It's take your time, take pride in what you're doing, enjoy the process and go slowly. Right, okay. So I have got my machine ready and you are going to sew on that drawn line between number one and number two. So just here, you can sew into that seam allowance and off that seam allowance, but this line is the critical bit. Mm -hmm. 
and I have set my machine to, oh, I turned it off, a smaller stitch length because you want to be able to remove that paper nicely and you really want a good seam. Nice, secure seam. So just take your time. You can lower the needle so that you're checking that you're going in the right place. And then as you can see, the fabric, I cannot see the fabric, so I've just got to trust that it's in the right place. And you will just take your time. You can set your machine nice and slow if you want. Just take your time and stitch on that line. Right, that is so slow. I've had more coffee than that. Mm -hmm all the way through but so there is foundation piecing like this in um, abracadabra and it, the same technique applies for every foundation that you're doing doesn't matter how complicated the piecing actually is how many sections it's broken down into it is always the same method now you're going to open that out and you're going to press it. I don't really get the iron on the foundation papers until you've removed the paper okay and actually i'm not i'm not even going to try and remove any paper until i need them removed because you may as well just <coughs> keep them nice and neat and crisp so they're just going to put the next section in and then what you will do when you get to the this stage here is all finished you've got all your sections finished you can then start trimming the paper away and trim all that excess off yeah because you're going to rely on that quarter inch seam allowance again to get them together so that is how you foundation piece lovely there you go perfect there you go fantastic job done um julie vaughan says are you going to creative sewing street at the nec janet no we are at the stitch festival in the business design Anything center so? and we are at the Festival of Quilts, and we're at Ali Pali right. this year. Right. And I'm also in Switzerland. Oh! In September. I'm teaching in Switzerland in September, and then we're in Texas in October, and then guess what? I'm going in November. Where? I'm going to Australia. No. I'm going to Australia in what, November. Teaching? Yes, teaching. So very exciting. So there is a lot of pressure on fitting everything, everything in. in so every yeah. year we have to make choices and unfortunately you make them like two years in advance yeah 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 but we will want we do want to try more shows that the one in Islington is a lovely show it That's is a really nice form. show she's based down that way so she'll be better for you uh good morning Janet and John what a stunning quilt says Tracy uh Kim Thanks. says do you have the foot ruler the what I don't know what that means you mean ruler. one that measures a foot um the only I can't think about why you would need it for, I must be thinking the wrong thing. I've got um, a foot that attached to my sewing machine that you can do ruler work with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I don't think that would, that's not, that's today, not what it? she's asking. Let us know what you mean, Kim. Let us know what you mean. She's not asking. Oh, that. she says foundation paper piecing. You don't, need a you don't need a ruler foot for foundation paper piecing, Kim. Yeah. No, you're not. What you're not doing is um, you're not worrying about stitching a quarter inch seam allowance. You're stitching on that, that on the line. line. So it's your. So if you were relying on for the yes, stitch where we stitch. Yes. Her. So where you stitch. So um, any foot will do. Just to reduce your stitch length. Make sure you've got decent tension. Yeah. Um, but no, you. That's why we've got the papers done and the pa and the accuracy of that paper is so important because you're cutting the fabric pretty accurately. Unless you're making something really scrappy and then you can just put a great big chunk of fabric down and you think yeah. it's a scrap, don't worry about it. But this kit, you want to be thrifty. Yeah. Because A, you don't want to waste beautiful fabric and B, it doesn't help you because you could see that that excess that I had, I had to trim it away anyway. So, um, yes, but you do not need any special foot as no. far as I'm aware for foundation. No, me neither. Right, can we go to Ms Mays now? Is Ms Mays. We can go to Ms. May. So Ms. Mays is going to look like a walk in the park now we've got through. Um, <laughs> now you've got through it. Now I've got through it. Right, so here's your bundle. It's just a log cabin. It's just log cabins. Here's all your fabric. Beautiful, gorgeous fabrics. And there's your pattern. $124.99.
Oh, yeah, the one underneath I've got, it's the same sort of colourway, but different fabrics. So you've still it's got your pop fabric. of green, and you've still got your variants of blue there, but this is made from a different fabric, this one. Your instructions in the pattern are using the fabric that's in the kit. Yes. So all those little fabric motifs that you can see in the blocks are, are the correct from the, the correct thing. But as you can understand, well, if I've made a quilt, I don't, I can't always make it again in oh, different no, no, fabric. No, exactly. And even if I made it in different fabric, in six months, we haven't got that fabric again. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's a very nice problem to have. But anyway, but it gives you a you good idea. But then new fabrics out, you'll make a, will you make a I will quilt make, out of the new fabric? What we try to do is, so when we've got new fabric coming up, we've always designed like at least three brand new quilts for that collection. Yeah. And then what we will do is we will look back at our archive and think, well, what pattern would work because that's what people do yeah, in their yeah, sewing yeah, yeah, rooms yeah, isn't yeah, it yeah. you know you can't always have the new pattern and the new kit so when you when you're on next or the one after that and you launch a new fabric yes. there will be a new quilt design there will be it. new quilt and there is fabric coming and we're all disappointed because we thought it was going it's to be, to be here, here today i know well, it was all disappointing but never mind but no, all we're good, good things day. it we're, will everyone's come loving it today yeah it will come it will come yeah. right so that i've started with block i there I'm making that one. There you go. So it sits here like this. Because you can see it's exactly the same construction as the others. All you're going to do is cut yourself long strips and then cut them down to the correct length. I'm just going to interrupt you a second. Uh, what Kim meant was she meant the add a quarter inch ruler, which you oh, didn't use. Oh, okay. The one with the lip on it. Yes, we've, we, uh, I think we've got them in stock. Oh, okay. At, so I've not, I've not seen that. That probably would be quite sensible, would it? Yeah, what it is, is you know how you just measured quarter Yes. Length? The add a quarter has a lip on it, so you butt the edge of the lip ah. up against the seam and it cuts Clever. exactly quarter of an inch off. Clever. They're on the website, Kim, they're on the website. There you go. So, see the better educate, you should do that, you're educating your audience. Yes. There's things out there that I didn't know we needed. Now, can you see, if you can remember back, when I was making the, talking you through the log cabins with Posh, yeah. I said that the bits always look shorter, but they fit pretty, per I mean, that's perfect for me, yeah. honestly. That's, that's pinpoint accurate for me. Um, and I always usually press my seams open. With log cabins, we're pressing them flat. It just helps, because otherwise you've got seams everywhere. I'm going round and round. So this one fits along here. So you're literally just going to put pretty sides together. You've got all your instructions here. It tells you what, what you're piecing, where. Big pictures for your blocks. Really super easy. And we are going to sew with the most complicated seam looking at us. Because then you know it's going to behave. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that that end is as square and true as we can get it. Um, there. And we are going to pin that seam Just allowance down. Just bob your head down. back, it for me. Thank you. There you go. God, I have to, you know. I know. It's looking and not getting in the way of the camera. And you want that end to sit as parallel as you can. It's not accurate. It's not perfect, but it's good enough there. And then we're going to keep that seam allowance behaving itself we're going to pin that down and then I'm going to put my stitch length back to a sensible number 2.4 and we're just going to sew with a quarter inch seam allowance all the way down and I haven't adjusted the quarter inch so I'm just using the side of my foot here just for speed so this is why you want that the most complicated foot um, seam uppermost because then you can keep an eye on what it's doing. And there's no need to sort of zoom, zoom, zoom. I know with chain piecing, you know, you're going fast, mm. but actually, if that just stresses you out, what's the point? Exactly, just, you're doing this just, to enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. Not, yeah. And you're not doing it to save time, you're doing <coughs> it to have a nice time. So you can just go through. Now, I read somewhere on the internet, John, and you oh, know yes. this, Oh, here we go. Like, if you want to keep this fabric straight, where you put your finger when you're feeding it through makes a big difference. So oh. if I put my hand here, I can start twist. Can you see you can yeah, start yeah, pulling yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah, off? Yeah, yeah. So again, just think about where you're putting your hand. And this is the sort of thing that Pippa pays a lot of attention to. Yeah. She's a very accurate piece and she enjoys that level of accuracy. Um, and just... That 
Yes. Yeah, that, that, I get to go to the internet for that, but that's where, you know the lovely stiletto, I'm just going to see if it's in oh, the, the box. Oh, the stilettos, yes, they help. We have that lovely because stiletto, of course it's not in the box. Today. You can use a pin or your scissors, but that enables you to keep that seam yeah. nice and straight. And because you're not worried about it being your finger, you can yeah. feed it in. And the chain piecing, you don't need to double back on yourself. It'll all be there. And you just can carry on and carry on. Now, with the, the quilts um, that rely a lot on those optical illusions like Ms. Mays, you've got to be really, really particular about where you put your fabric. Like, you don't mix up your fabrics, otherwise My you will lose that effect. Have you got the stiletto in, in over there? If you need a picture, go and have a look at uh, uh, Hannah. We normally keep it in the box behind Janet, but for some reason it's not there today. Um, so there you go. And we just carry on. We could iron that, but we we haven't got much time. Well, no, and also I could iron it for you in the next hour with my new Alisso iron. Oh, you could show off your new iron next yeah. hour. Do that. Okay, so that is how you make um, the... Log cabins. Log cabins for posh and how you make them for, for Miss Mays. Mays. Also, when any you, log cabin. Also, the other thing is, is uh, when Janet was saying earlier, you make them on point, there's no bias seams. You, you no. sew them together in straight yeah. stitches, but instead of putting a block in square like that, you just turn just it sideways. Turn so it. you're not, don't be looking at that middle thing thinking, oh, look at all those bias seams. No. There's no bias seams there at all. It's made exactly the same yeah. as I've just demoed. And then what you do is, you, instead of doing square, square, square across the top. You've got this first row here is a, well, that triangle. Yeah. Then you've got that triangle, that log cabin, yeah. that triangle. Then this row, triangle, log cabin, log cabin, log cabin, triangle. So yeah. that is your row seam across there. Yeah. That's as clear as mud. I feel like I wasn't pointing where you could see. But it's, it's slightly more tricky but it's no harder. It's just if you're a complete beginner, that sort of thing could really be like but you're the only, final you're, but straw. But you're only putting straight lines together. You it's are just only on, sewing yeah. straight lines together. You've got uh, a lot. And this is, you're literally going to cut a big square and cut it in half. And is there enough fabric in my bundle to do the binding as well? The, in the kits, the yeah. binding yeah, yeah, is always yeah, included yeah. in Brilliant. the kit, yeah. Fantastic. Yep. There you go. And I would, we were talking about quilt backings on the internet yesterday. And um, you spent a lot of time on the internet yesterday. I know. It's, um, there's a quilt fest, in, um, Instagram quilt fest. So it's a nice hashtag. Quilters all around the world are sharing tips and things. Oh. It's nice. Um, but we were saying that, you know, they're talking about quilt backings and it's actually a really big, important part of your quilt, isn't yeah. it? Because, you know, maybe you want something soft that you can. Oh, you found it. Thank you very much. You can um, snuggle under or you want something that's double sided. Mm -hmm. um, but quite often what the elf will do, I will give her the bag of scraps that is left and she will piece you know, often you have to do... She's not um, get out much. No, she loves her little uh, shed in the garden. Uh, Quite often when you're um, the quilt backing, like our patterns, they'll say you need six metres and with one seam, one vertical seam. Yeah. And she will put something nice where that seam, one seam is. is yeah. Like she'll use a And also a lot of the time you offset it from the centre. Yes. So it's like a quarter of the way across or something. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. And long hours, they, I can't remember. She'll shout at the TV. Maybe she'll write in. Um, they like, if you've prepared your own backing, they like a seam. I don't know whether she likes it vertical or horizontal. Where the, in an ideal world, because oh. that, it behaves better on the yeah. on the machine. Oh, so there that's you a go. tip I didn't know. Message in. Message in, Elf. Oh, she'll Sue. say it doesn't matter. I don't know. So we won't be getting any more posh in today. We won't. We can't get any more of the kit, but hopefully we will get some of the pattern in the future, but not today. Yeah, I genuinely don't think we can bring posh kit back. I don't. The the only kit I have left today is of in this hour. Got more coming up in the next hour. Miss Mays. That's the only kit I've got left in this hour. Yeah, it's the only uh, thing we have left today, so we have to go home as soon oh, as it's all sold out. I just sewed without using the stiletto. Oh, honestly. Running around trying to find it. Just sack, sack me. Have we got, uh, did you put the stiletto through? Let earlier? me go back. Hold on. Let me pretend. Just talk amongst yourselves. Here we are. 
Here we are. You're pretending to do it again, though. I'm pretending, sorry. <gasps> He's got his hand on his hip. That's how he stands all the time. It's going to cross around. What end would you use? That one? No, that's my ironing end. Oh, I've got an ironing end? Yeah, because that's silicon, so it, won't so it won't melt. So you have to put your fingers close to the iron. I would do it the other way up, that way. Uh, that's exactly how go. I would do it, yeah. Point. There you go. So I have got, you can tell, I haven't used a stiletto like this. There you go. But actually, yeah. yeah. It is helpful because that fitted right in amongst yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the foot you know, there yeah. and you're not worrying about your hands. There you go. Perfect. Right. Perfect. Shall I do a roundup of everything? Oh, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, <laughs> sold out, sold out, sold out. Oh, I've got this quilt kit available. This is called Miss Mays. And there it is in an Airbnb. She's made me nervous now. Yeah. Yeah, I probably should have asked permission. Oh, the probably had to done pay a location fee. I wouldn't thing. worry about you taking a picture in them. <laughs> probably have to pay a location fee. Do what? She's, I can hear her laughing from now. Yeah. She's outraged. We're not allowed to do Airbnbs in our village anymore. Aren't you? Because people don't like the coming and going of everybody. Oh, everyone. Anyway, so that's the kit, plus your instructions. $124.99. This is what it didn't look like, but this is a slightly different fabric range. Or it is a different fabric range. Same colour combination, but just Same in a different colours. fabric. And I've got the pattern on its own. The Ms. May's pattern on its own. Oh, I've got a message on the bottom. I love it when Janet is in. My bank, bank, my bank <laughs> perhaps is not so keen. I'm halfway through strewn. Think Ms. May's is next. <coughs> the whole family love the fabrics from Kath in Greater oh, Manchester. Oh, thank you. That's lovely. Oh. That's lovely. It's a family affair. Hannah's singing for you all now. So it's gone from Oklahoma to family <laughs> affair now. There's a lot happening in the gallery today. $9.99. Miss Mays quilt pattern. What's Miss Mays then? Miss Mays is a maze, but yeah. it's one of those little short grass ones. There's a couple in the UK. Oh, so you can still see over the you fence. Can, you can walk you can step, step over. over them if you're yeah. cheating. Oh. I think there's one just outside Winchester. Oh, is there? They're quite old. There's yeah. not many left. They may be box trees normally, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're just little. But I think there's specifically grass. Oh. I think they're grass. They're not even little bushes then. They're just no, grass. I think they're sort of mounds. Oh. You can walk. oh. We'll have to look that up in the break because I'm so long in my break. Right, Janet will be back in an hour with more quilt kits. More quilt kits. And a sewing kit. And a sewing kit. In a kit. brand new colourway, in a new colourway to us. Lots to show you. Lots to show. So she's going to go and have a sit down now. Don't go anywhere. After the break, it is, as well as uh, loads of best presses, it is the iron. Now, how many have gone already? We're just checking. Okay, so what's that then? 25%, uh, uh, third of the stock. Third of the stock has gone. No, it's not a third. It's not a third. And lots have gone, lots have gone. I'll be, exactly, I'm back straight after this break. Hi, I'm Becky. I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. Um, I come from London and I've been sewing pretty much all my life. I particularly enjoy doing embroidery. I'm really keen on that, but I've, I've my background is um, dressmaking and also sort of patchwork and quilting. Um, so I do an awful lot of sewing for all sorts of different things. I suppose once you start sewing, you start doing lots of other kinds of sewing. So I particularly like got into needlepoint um, during lockdown, but I suppose embroidery is probably my real passion. My mum was a costume designer, um, so we were always sort of surrounded by bits of fabric and material and ribbons and that kind of thing. And I was always making teddies um, and my dolls clothes as a small child. So it was just something that was quite natural. And in fact, I've got so used to being able to sew, um, it's just become a natural sort of part of what I do. Um, I'm always fiddling around with fabric, as my husband puts it, um, making something new, um, trying something out. Always measure twice, cut once. Um, I'm a great one for not doing that and I always regret it. And making sure that you've got an iron to hand is really important. I use a tiny little, um, sort of almost like a travel iron that I have right next to my desk when I'm working so it doesn't take up too much space.
Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Sewing Street is now available on Virgin Media, channel number 754. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Now we had a lovely message come through during the break saying from Annette Robinson, good morning, lovely John and lovely Janet. I'm new to this a channel and I love watching. I'm learning so much, so a big thank you. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, it's here, it's here, it's here. I've been talking about it for a few days now. The... You all right, Michael? No, it wasn't me. Oh dear, that was a hype. The Aliso M3 Pro Project Mini Iron in Aqua. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at this. Oh, hang on. Just come off the front. There you go. Michael's going to do it closer. Now, when you get yours out of the box, this will be on it. This is its storage plate. Now, some people have said that you can hang that on a hook on the wall. I wouldn't, but you can do if you want to. You must take that off before you do anything. But the fantastic thing about it is, you take it off from the bottom there. If you turn it over, it then becomes your resting plate for when it's on, the, when it's on your ironing board. Right. Oh, let, let, do you know what? Let me do all this important bit first. 
and then I'll tell you all about the iron and everything like that because it is absolutely brilliant. Right, so this is how much, this is the recommended retail price. Three-way split plate, no, 99 pounds, 99 pence is a two-way split plate. However, we're doing three-way split plate. So if you paid full price, it'd be 33, 33 today, next month and the month after. Uh, 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 uh. This is your price. 85.99 on three-way split pay. Three-way split pay. Now, loads have already gone. Loads went from when I did the Facebook Live at half past seven this morning. We put it on uh, pre-order at half past seven this morning. Loads and loads have gone. You pay £28.66 today. Same again next month. Same again. You don't have to take it if you don't want to. You pay 85 99 today if you want to. Now, somebody said that they'd saved their voucher. We're going to use their voucher today. Oh, I know. If you've got the birthday box... Because we're in March, aren't we? If you've got the birthday box. The only thing is, if you use your voucher, you can't use your split pay. That's all. That's all. Decision time. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Right, let me tell you about this. So this, first of all, is your resting mat, right? Then this is the iron itself. Isn't it lovely? And Ian was like going, look, it's in, it's in um, Sewing Street colours. I don't, we haven't had it made, especially in that colour. That's just the colour it comes in, everything. Isn't it gorgeous? Right. What you need to know is, uh, before you switch it on, if you're going to put water in, you need to put your water in now, right? The water goes in here, right? So the water is a top load of water there. Don't overfill it. Yeah, you don't get a water jug with it. Just to specify that, you don't get a water jug with it. So you put your water in, you put it down like that. You've got 1.9 metres of cable. Right, I'm just going to plug it in while I'm here. Right, and you see this, right? You plug it in, and you see the little, you've got a normal dial here. The little light's red, right? You wait for the red to go. How many? Oh. Oh, my word. Right, so when, when, you've, when you've all checked out, half the stock's gone. Half the, and we had lots of these. Half the stock's gone when you've all checked out. Right, so look, oh, it's gone already. Oh, no, it's, it's still on red. I can't see it. Still on red, still on red. I've got it on highest temperature, obviously. Can I have a piece of fabric, Michael, as well, to iron as well? So you just wait for it to heat up. Uh, you get every, you get this fantastic little uh, brochure with it. With, oh, and it's very, very simple to use. Very, have I switched it on? Oh, yes, I've switched it on. Right, okay. Uh, and then inside here, you've got all your instructions, what you should do before you start and everything like that. There's all the different buttons and everything. This is your simple to take off the thing, put the water in, switch it on. That's taking a while to heat up. To oh. No, no, it is on because the red light's come on, hasn't it? That's weird. That one's not heating up. Let me get this one out. It worked yesterday because I did it all at home. Let me just get this one out here. Let me just play around with that. Oh, there you go. There you go. You have to press the button to heat it up. Press the button. No, no, good safety device, isn't it? I thought it was just going to heat up. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's heating up now. So, uh, you can have your three different... Well, not your three different temperatures. Like a traditional iron where you have your... Um, is it easier there, Charlie, or on the upstairs? There you go. So, you've got... There's your um, guide to, to all your temperature thing. That's how you fill the water tank, but make sure you fill it before you switch it on. And it's made to use tap water. You don't have to buy anything special. It's made to use tap water. Then on this side here, you've got all your different temperatures. Then on this way here, it tells you what all the lights mean and what all everything you need to know is all on there. I'll show it to you on the actual line itself now. Then all about the steam. That's on that side there. Then you've got it here. Store, how do you store it afterwards? Right, let me tell you about the actual iron because it's brilliant. Let me get to pressing that down. And you get this, right. Lovely. Right, okay. So literally, you've got your temperature gauge here, like a traditional iron look. Now, when it's ready to go, you can see on there which one you're on because it's lit up, right? When it's ready to go, you press it down like this, then look. Now, can we drop the lights, Charlie? Look. You've got a little light where it's taking you. Now, what you do is, it's not a little light, it's a really, really bright light. 
Right, when you swing, yeah, so you can see if you've got your creases out, you put it back up like this, the light goes off, right? The light switches off automatically, put it back down again to iron, the light goes back on. Now, if you want steam, now if you're a patch worker, you're not going to need this, you haven't put any water in. It's got super steam, so you've got steam at the front and you've got steam at the back, right? Now, it steams both vertically and horizontally. So if you press this, now I don't know if you can be able to see this. Oh, there you go. Look, can you see that? Right, but then if you press it on the other side, the steam comes out the bottom. And if you want steam to come out both, that's gonna run out of water now, isn't it? Because I've been steaming away all morning. You press it both of them to get steam both ways. Now, if you go out, like if you're busy ironing, and you think, oh, there's a doorbell, I've got to see it's your friend from Sally at number five. You've left the iron on. After half an hour, it will switch itself off, right? But that's with it standing up. If you're ironing like this, and you think, oh, I've just got to go and do this, after 10 minutes, it will switch off, right? But if you do this, if the cat jumps up, look, the light flashes, and after 10 seconds, I think it's 10 seconds, the um, thing, the iron will switch itself off. I'm just double checking. I know, really, really, really good features. Hang on, let me just find it. I'm sure it's 10 seconds. Have we count to 10? Oh, no. Uh, auto switch off. 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds. 10 minutes and 30 minutes. Yeah, so in th after 30 seconds, that will switch off. And I'll leave it where it is because you'll see it. There. Did you see that? Did you see it? It's gone off. Right, switch yourself off already. Lift it back up and it's gone back on. Now, the other brilliant thing about this is I'm right-handed, so I want my cable to be on the right-hand side like this, right? However, you mustn't do this while it's switched on. You must switch it off. If you want the cable to come out the other side, look, if you're a left-hander, then the cable can come out the other side. And what you do is you do need some tools Got it here. It's easy, it's easy. I'm not going to make it look difficult. Uh, what you do is you see these two little plastic grommets here. You take the little plastic grommets out, you unscrew it. This section comes off and you twist it round so it can go the other way. Look, I'll show you on here. Right, I'll show you the sheet and then I'll tell you how you can find this sheet, right? So what you need is you need a Phillips handheld screwdriver. Do not use a powered screwdriver. And then like a little pair of tweezers just to pull the little grommets out. What you do is unplug it. You go to the back of the iron here. You see, it, um, oh, in there and there, you've got your two little plastic grommets. You take those out. Uh, then you unscrew with your screwdriver. Just flip it round. Now, this does not affect your warranty. Morning, John and Janet. I'm left-handed. Can it be changed? Yes, I'm just doing it now. Just doing it down, my love. Uh, hang on. There you go. You just Now, what you have to do is it's got the cable attached to it, so you have to make sure you don't catch the cable. Click it back in, screw it back in, put the grommets back in. It does not affect your... Um, guarantee or anything like that because it doesn't go anywhere near any of the electrics and it doesn't go anywhere near the water um so you can you can do it so if you want it coming out the other side you can make it into a left-handed one as well right now this is how you find this out because this is not in the manual the best way of doing it when you receive the iron search well you can do it before you bought the iron can't you or do you have to wait Oh, okay, okay, so when the iron arrives, right, when the iron arrives, on the website, search for the actual item, you see where there it says download content, you click on that, and it brings you up to this sheet, so it shows you how to do that. You only need to do that if you want to turn it into a left-handy uh, machine. How brilliant is that? And it does, you get a two-year warranty on it, by the way. Two-year warranty. Now, I know they call it a mini iron, <clears throat> because, yeah, it is smaller, than a normal iron, but it's not like, I ironed my shirt with it last night. I, I got it, I meant to film it, but it was, I was running late. Oh, okay, so now please be careful because over two thirds of the stock has gone, right? Two thirds of the stock has gone, get hundreds of these. Uh, I love it, I love the light on the front. What's that, what's that showing then, Charlie?
Beautiful. That image is from a, isn't that image from a different um, shopping telly? Okay. Uh, 85 99 It's gorgeous. Look at that light. Again, you've got the steam on that side and your steam on that side. Or steam. Uh, I've used all the wall trucks. because I've been busy steaming this morning with it, practicing with it. Um, you've got your little on-off button here. So I've switched it off, you see. Switch it back on again. Then, when you put it on, when it goes to the right temperature, uh, obviously mine's super hot at the moment because I had it on the full, but... And now, it's really ergonomically comfortable to use, right? It's really, really lovely and comfortable to use. It's not heavy at all. I didn't see... I, actually, I didn't see how heavy it was on the, on the, um, on the instructions, but... It's really, really, I'm just seeing if it says on the bottom. Two pounds, two pounds. That's old fashioned. Or uh, 0 0.9 kilogram, point, not even a kilo. Uh, so it's not, love, I love it. I love that light. I know I'm only putting it on the mat. Hang on, let me just do that again. It's just gorgeous. And it? it feels lovely. It glides beautifully. Now, Margaret messaged me last night saying, would this be good to do my uh, red work, Mandy Shaw red work patterns on? Yes, it would. Yes, I would, because I had a look last night. It gets lovely and super hot, this one, on the, on the just don't have the steam on. Because you don't have to have steam if you don't want to. You do not have to have the steam. Even if it's filled with the water, you can still use it and not have steam and then just press the buttons for your steam. Yeah, the little silicon rest. Soulmate, it's a soulmate, right? Now, when you go to put it away, let it cool down before you put the soulmate back on. That's all. It comes, I'll show you. Oh, I can show you this one, can't I? It comes with a UK plug on it. Now, 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 do you know what? Um, if you read the instructions, if you go abroad, it aut automatically knows what the voltage is. Here, here, here. I mean, it's fine for England, ready for, ready for UK and everything, but, yeah, it could, so it works at 120 volts and 220 volts without switching. It knows. It knows how to do it. Yeah, Janet can take us over to Canada with it. Obviously, what you'd need to do is you'd need to take one of those adapter things to fit into their plug over there. But, yeah, I read that last night and I was thinking, that's brilliant. You don't have to switch it over. It knows. It knows it totally. Oh, Jan, do you know what I might have to do? I might have to just switch it off. Can you get me a jug of water, uh, please, Michael? A little, just a little jug of water. More jug of water. Because you mustn't put it, the water in when it's switched on. Mind you, my own at home says that, and I always do. And then I'll, do, I'll redo the steam for you in a second. But isn't it a lovely, sleek iron? Be it weighs less than a kilo. Say that again. Please be careful now, because I'm going to be saying very, very soon that we're going into limited. Very soon we'll be saying we're going to limited. So um, uh, well, I'll put some water in a second to show you the steam, because I've been busy playing with it all morning. So it arrives with, I'll show you, oh, actually, let me show you on the cold one. It arrives with its sole plate already on. So this is where you, how you store it. So your ceramic plate is forever safe and clean. Then you turn the sole mate over, and that then becomes your resting Matt, on your ironing board cover. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's got the UK plug, 1.9 metres of cable. Um, lovely ceramic sole. Now, this one's switched off, so it's cold. You can have steam just at the front. You can have steam just at the back. Or you can have a super steam where it comes out of both. It steams both horizontally and vertically. You can change it into, look, this is right-handed, this is left-handed. Well, let me turn that around to you. What you do for that is you can get the instructions for it. <clears throat> you literally undo these little um, rubber grommets in here. You pop the whole thing off. Uh, uh, un underneath those um, little rubber grommets, there are two screws. You need a Phillips screwdriver. Don't use an electric screwdriver. Pop it out, turn it round so the cable comes out the other side. You can get those instructions by when you get it home, go to the details, click on download content, and you'll be able to give you the instruction of how to change the cable over. You only need to do that once because if you're right-handed or left-handed. Um, uh, now, the 85 pounds and 99 pence. Okay, now we have gone to a... a how am I going to say this? How am I going to say this? 
No, no, we looked around. We can't find it that price anywhere else. Okay, now other places have their membership clubs. And if you're a member of the membership club, you'll get it for a little bit less than that. But then you have to pay to be a member of the membership club. So selling price-wise, we can't find it anywhere else that's that, so at that price. Just so you know, just so you know. I mean, I know you're, people will be screaming at me going, I've seen it at 79. Yeah, but at 79, you have to be a member of the club and you have to pay to be a member of the club. So to buy it full price, we can't find anywhere else at that price. And uh, have they got it on three-way split pay? Have they got it at no interest? Have they got it at split pay that you don't have to pay any money for? Just saying, just saying. Is Michael coming with that water? What I might do. Yeah. Oh, actually, do you know what? I've got water in my bottle here. I'll do it. I can do it here. Oh, except that. Right. So I bought this water. I always buy bottled water, right? I shan't say where this one's from, but it's their essentials range, right? The plastic on the bottle is so thin, and when you open it, it goes like that. Anyway, look, so what, what you do is to, to fill it with water, you literally open the back like that, you get your jug, don't be using... There you go. Make sure it's switched off when you're putting the water in. You literally pour the water into the back there. Do not over... Oh, I've just realised this is semi-opaque. You can see the water in there. No, no, well, when I was at home last night, I just bunged it in, the, in there, right? So you shut it down like that, right? Then you switch it on. Then you press the button. Right, so I've only got it on two. Then I turn it to three, and it's ready to go. It's all heating up and ready to go. Okay? Then what you do is you can iron away here. So look, you've got your uh, bright light on going on there. I know I'm not ironing anything. I've just got it on the mat. Right, but then the, when, the re when it's ready to go, which it is now, you can press this, the, the left one for front. I'll do it this up, shall I do it upwards this way? Hang on. Hang on. Oh, hang on a second. Don't, let me just make sure it's warm enough to do. It should be warm enough to do steaming. Oh, yeah, look, you can see. <laughs> look, it's ready. It's ready. So literally... There you go. What it is, is that's top, that's front steam. This one's back steam. And then this is super steam. I know, isn't it? It's really powerful as well. Really, really powerful. Gone a bit overboard with the steam there. Uh, so, right, and remember, if you leave it up like that, it goes off, switches itself off after half an hour. I'm just going to double check these. Then if you've left it down... It goes off after 10 minutes. Oh, morning, John. I used my voucher, so it's great. Thank you, Janet in Cornwall. Lots of people will be. Lots of people will be. Um, hang on, I'll put it down here. Yeah, so 30 minutes like this. 10 minutes if you leave it like... Oh, hang on, you can't say it. 10 minutes if you leave it like that. If you knock it over like this, can you... Oh, hang on. Look, the light will flash. 30 seconds, it'll be switched off. Yeah, yeah, well, if, you, if the cat jumps up on the ironing board, how do you, you know? But I love the fact that it flashes as well. So if you're in the room and you've not noticed, you'll notice the light flashing, won't you? And then it switches off after 30 seconds. Right. Hundreds of you have got it this already. Now, I need... To, right, OK, there's too many people now, then. Too many people got it in their baskets. You need to check out. If you definitely want it, you need to check out. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else you need to know. I don't think so. Does a job, does it really well. Not even a kilo. It's 0.9 of a kilo. Two pounds, did you say that was? Bag of sugar. It doesn't feel as heavy as a bag of sugar, mind you. It's got this lovely ergonomically designed handle. Got the light at the front. It's got, I like the fact it's got an old fashioned dial on, so you can choose which fabric uh, temperature you want it on. And then you can switch on and off there. Just brilliant, isn't it? Check out, check out, check out, though. And then the soulmate, soul plate. Yeah, it's called soulmate. But that's your... Uh, I'm not going to put it back on because that one... Oh, this is a cold one. I'll put it on the cold one. So it stores away like this. Just clicks on like that. There you go. 
So it stores away like that. And then when you take it off, you put it down and it becomes your resting side like that on your ironing board. How much do we, I mean, how much do we sell those little, you know, the little ones we sell? Ceramic plate, really lovely, beautiful ceramic plate there. And it's not a small plate either, is it? If I just, I, I, I want to show you, have we got a mini iron out here? Oh, it's the one behind me. In the pink case. Oh, over there. I'm not, I'm not doing a direct comparison. I'm just showing you size-wise. See, this is what I call a mini iron, right? This isn't mini, is it? Look. See, it's a really nice size sole plate. That's what I would, they've called it a mini iron. That's what I'd call a mini iron. This is kind of a midi. Would you call it a midi? Halfway between the two. Oh, no, it's brilliant for taking for workshops. Brilliant. But, but what I'm trying to say is, it's also brilliant for at home. Not if you're doing just, just your little things. I did my shirt on it yesterday. I did my jeans. The steam is so good. I did my jeans on it yesterday as well. Right, now it's really important now. Right, okay, I'm going to stop now. Though we are way, way, way oversubscribed. Way oversubscribed. Um, I'll keep you updated. Uh, there's over 100 people got it in their baskets. So please, please, please be careful. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. Do I have the early bird? Do I ever? <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, my throat. So I'm not, I'm not in any pain. It's my, um, I've got, you've got what? No, no, there's, it's not, it's not painful. It's um, tree pollen. It's tree pollen. So it's just taking my voice out. It does it every year, doesn't it? Right, okay, I've got the early bird from early. I don't sound deep and sensual at all. Right, Emma, oh, Emma, Emma Brassfield's message in. Oh, I wonder if I'll get to use this on Saturday on the show. No, Emma, you won't. There won't be any left. But my, well, no, I've got to leave mine here. So it might be, uh, but there won't be any to buy. Um, Susie Duncan, lovely shirt. No, I'm selling an iron, not a shirt, Susie. Uh, you need some honey. No, I don't. I don't need honey and ginger. It's um, hay fever. It's hay fever. So thank you anyway. Uh, she says it's a lovely iron, very ergonomic, even temperature across the plate, a neat stand to protect surfaces. How long before Delphine burns it, someone says. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have we met Michael? Yes, you've met Michael many times, Sue. Right, okay. Let's get on then. So here is today's early bird. Now, um, Hayley was supposed to be here at 8 o'clock this morning to do this because the price she told us to go to, this is the price it's meant to be, is a manager special price. We're not supposed to do manager specials without manager special price. Oh, manager special price without manager specials. So she was going to be here at 8 o'clock this morning. She didn't turn up. She didn't turn up. She, we still went to her price, though, even though she didn't turn up. We were waiting for her. We sent her messages. Nothing. She hasn't even picked up her phone. What does it say? I purchased mine at 804. Will I get one? Yes, Denise. Yes, you'll get one, Denise. Have you checked out your basket, Denise? We can't check if you checked out your basket at this end. As long as you checked out your basket, you'll get one. <coughs> oh, hang on. What, what, what? I'm having trouble checking out the iron. It won't go through. Ring the call centre, Dot. It's free. They're upstairs here. They're, they'll pick up your phone straight away. 0800 33 They'll sort it all out for you. Yeah. Uh, there's hundreds in... Hundreds are gone and there's hundreds in baskets. If you checked out, you, you should, well, as far as I can tell, you will be fine if you checked out. And also, if you, if, uh, 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 well, I have to say 50 people had bought it before we even came on air this morning. After I did my little Facebook Live at, at half past seven, 50 people came in and it said £99 then. Everybody pays the final low price. Everybody pays the final low price. Uh, and everybody pays £19.99 on, on this until, on this until midnight tonight. After that, it will go back up. Oh, there you go. Lots of pollen about, despite the continual rain. Tell me about it, Teresa. Magnolias are out. Oh, okay. 
Uh, going for dental extractions this afternoon, so I bought the iron to cheer myself up. Oh, Catherine. Uh, Viv says, John, you're okay. You seem to have lost your sparkle. You've said that to me before, Viv. I don't know what you mean. I've got hay fever. I've got hay fever. 1999. 1999. Uh, so you get both of these. You get the pressing mat and you get the fuser mat. And it just shows how durable these are. Delphine hasn't ruined hers yet. At 19 pounds and 99 pence. Gorgeous. Keep going through for this. Keep going through. I might get Michael to make me another cup of tea, actually. I did not hear us asking for water then. Why? Well, that's only there, isn't it? <laughs> Keep going through for this. Keep going through. Can I have another ginger tea, please? Keep looking at that. Keep looking at that. I just need to get my tea bag for Michael. Tea bag for Michael. What's that from? Thanks, John. Hang on, I haven't got out of the packet yet. There you go. You can make it in a paper cup, thank you. Right, yeah, lovely. Oh, there's a slide. Oh, actually, I can see it now. Box includes the silicon mat and non-stick PTFE. What does that mean, Hannah? PTFE. Transparent design provides clear visibility for templates, guides, and paper designs underneath. Textured matte surface is non-slip and non-stick. You can even use, you can even use a hot glue gun directly onto the fusing matte surface without damage. That's a big statement. Uh, use the PTFE, oh, there it is again, as a protective barrier. It's a synthetic polymer, polymer, basically. Non-wetting, what does that mean? Is that like the sheet your mum bought you when you went to university? <coughs> it's what phobic? Hydrophobic. Oh, very good. Thank you, Hannah, for that. And what's the last bit there? Imperial and metric measurement markings printed around the edge of the mat. Yeah, you'll know PTFE is Teflon, but that's a trade name, so we can't use it. Don't use that. Like the Teflon foot. And every time I decide it's a Teflon foot, I'm going, non-slip foot, you mean? P I'm going to remember that. P PTFE non-wetting. Hydrophobic. That means, a phobic means you don't like it, doesn't it? I don't like water. I don't like water. Don't come near me. Non-wetting. I'm putting it away. <laughs> it's only, I don't know why I put it away. 10 left. That's all at that, that price. Message on my bottom. I wouldn't be without my fusing mat. When making bags, I use it for putting all the interfacing on. It cuts down on new iron. Oh, I hope you bought a new iron today, Anne. Now, not only have I lost my sparkle, I've now got hiccups. Right, OK. Uh, should I check the iron? Should I check the iron? Check the iron. Check the iron. You all right, iron? I just want to check the, and see how many there are. There's supposed to be 99, 99, member. It is on three-way split pay. Right. Oh, way too many people go in their baskets. You need to check out now. You need to check out if you want it. Oh, oh, yes. I wonder what you talking about the iron then. The what? Yes. Right. Here we go. So this here is an amber mix. We won't get any more of these. Though. I had these with uh, Rebecca Reed. She's refusing to do them again. So when they've gone, they've gone. Only because this fabric here is so difficult to source. Right? That's your lining of it, and that's your red work. There's your instruction. What it is, it's a little um, iron, uh, iron travel case. Look, so, so what you do is you keep your iron in here. That's the hot one. I'll put, I'll put the cold one in just to be on the safe side. Boop. 
Come on. Right, so what you do is you put your iron in there, take it away with you like that. Hang on with the other handle. So you take it away like that. Then when you get to your destination, you unbutton it on that side. You unbutton it on that side. That then becomes your pressing mat. So I'm doing it left-handed because I've got the left-handed cable on this one. $24.99. Let me tell you, show you what you get. So you get the great big piece of, it's got, a, it's got an unusual name this, hasn't it? I, oh yes, I snagged a new iron, been waiting for it, so happy, says Anne. Oh, Anne, I'm, I'm glad. I think Julie, my sister-in-law Julie, said she was going to come in and buy one today as well. All right, so, what's this fabric called? Oh, is it? Luminex, that's it, that's it. So you get your Luminex, and you, you know what? The other reason they're not doing this again, Amy was furious because this wouldn't fit into one of their boxes. So they had to order new boxes just for this one kit. Oh, pff, after all that, there's one left. That's it. One left in the red work. And then on the, on the um, handle, cut, so press, repeat, cut, so press. Lovely. We do have it in the blue as well. That's going to sell out, that one, because there's only one of those left. Here's the blue colourway. It's the blue colourway. Like vintage st stitching. There we go. Instructions, panel, Luminex. I'll show you the panel. There you go. Now, what date did we do? Did she, has she demoed this ever? 20th of February. With what? Yeah, I don't think she sewed any of it, though. Oh, okay. I don't think she sewed it. Oh, yes, of course. Of course, yeah. On the instructions here has a video tutorial. There it is. Anyone can go and watch it. Um, because it's a bit weird because you'll see the panel here. I don't know if you want to see these right there, Charlie. There's lines on it here which you sew down, which become your fold lines. <coughs> that new iron fitted in. Did you not see it? Yeah, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Yeah, it fitted nicely in it. It's big enough for a normal iron, this. Oh, single figures on the blue one. Uh, hay fever, have you been rolling in the hay again? Oh, Mari, Mar Mar if only. I thought you had a cold, but hay fever's pants. I've got asthma and my breathing is like a dirty phone call. It's like Hannah, we have to work with her every day like that. Yeah. She doesn't say, I take that back. She says, I don't say anything rude. Not, not suggestive rude, just downright rude. Nothing suggestive. No. No, I know, yeah, know that one. I knew that one. Yeah, yeah. So did Stuart. Stuart stayed late, especially. Right. Let's empty this table in the last 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't know how this is here, right? On my birthday, we, Lou and I designed this. Lou, the graphic designer, and I designed this, right? And we had big squares, we had little squares, all sold out, right? All sold out, apart from the one with the big panel with just a bit left over. They all sold out. So I don't know. Now, how many of these have I got? You see, I've got 21 of these. No, oh, so apparently Ben had it reprinted this week, right? But I wasn't in. It wasn't for one of my shows. He did a Charm Square show and got this reprinted. How very... I wonder how many did he sell? Oh. Yeah. Anyway, I've got 21 left, I'll tell you though. Why did I do this? Because I did a whole collection. I did the strips. I did the five-inch squares. I did the big, the fat quarters. 
Really, really, really popular. Completely sold out. This is last June. So I don't know why suddenly he's got... Yeah. So it's been on my birthday. It was on my birthday. Was it last year? Yeah, last year. My birthday last year, right? And it's never been... And sold out. Ben had it reprinted this week. Maybe he's in charge of the printing machine now. Oh, Julie says, you cheer me up so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, she's in hospital. Oh, take care. That's Julie. Oh, she said, purchases are about to happen. Let the nurses know. Well, no, you don't see it arriving at the hospital, do you? Anyway, look, this is the John Scott five-inch square panel. I think it was called Travels in India. Never been to India. Never been to India. <laughs> One of the places I want to go, to. I'm not in this life anyway, I used to live there in a past life, in Gujarat. I lived in Gujarat there in a past life. Oh, I'd love to go, I'd love to go. And I didn't, I haven't gone myself because I thought one day I'll get a film there and I'll, I'll, they'll, they, have to pay, they have to pay for you to go first class and put you in a posh hotel, you see. So I think one day, so I did Africa, I did Ethiopia, I did Thailand, did all of that, did, never did India. Not too late, I'm not saying it's not too late. Maybe we could do John Scott Threads of Life from India next year. Everyone's volunteering to help now. Yes, well, I've got, yes. You've got... Oh, see, so you don't own a school. I'm not doing classes. 14.99. Whereabouts is it? Where is your... Oh, no, I don't want to be there. Yeah, no, no, we need to be in Delhi, don't we, though? Anyway, gorgeous. Make sure you check out on that. I don't know how it's been reprinted or where it's come from or anything. Did he get these reprinted as well, then? I've got a pile of other ones here. Okay, am I doing them now? Which one should I do? Victorian spring. Oh, this is nice. This is beautiful, this one. Oh, it's got Easter eggs in this one. Little chicken. It's nice. It's just tying up, isn't it? Oh, that sheep won't be happy. Yeah. Beautiful, though, aren't they? Oh, look at a little flower fairy in there. Who was on the other day? And I, when I said I didn't know about flower fairies, they couldn't believe it. Who? Oh, yes, Steffi Stern. $14.99. There there's Hannah as a flower fairy. <coughs> and there's Hannah's delicate little shoes. She only has tiny feet, does Hannah. $14.99. Bright hearts. Oh, that's very psychedelic. $14.99. Five inch squares, 40 of them. And then I've got one more. Ending 35. Is this Victoriana? What's this one? Natural History Collection Floral Bounty. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Gorgeous, aren't they? My husband had to travel to India regularly for work. Oh, he was always business class on Emirates. All right, all right. Oh, I know, I flew first class back from um, San Diego. Brad Pitt, Neil Jordan, me. There was somebody else really famous in front of me. Anyway, it, was, it is a different experience. And I, we just finished a night shoot and I was desperate not to sleep because I'd been up all night filming in San Francisco. I was desperate and I was like staying awake like this, staying awake the whole time trying to get all the goodies you could possibly get.
Thanks. Fourteen ninety-nine. Lovely. No, what? 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 Oh, you, you keep teasing me. I've got all these gorgeous best presses just back in stock. No, no, I don't know where the Mary Lara is. Yeah, it's a see-through sheet, so that's why I can't see it. Underneath the what? 505. No, no, it's not underneath there. Let's do, let's do best presses first. Let me just pass these to Michael. I also thought I heard Michael come in then. Oh yeah, that, uh, that's a ruler and that's not Myla. Linen fresh, big or, I've, uh, oh, I've only got big. Uh, oh no, 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 I have got it, there it is. There it is, linen fresh. I'll do it this way. Right, uh, these all arrived back. These all arrived back yesterday. Hannah played them, was it you played them yesterday, Hannah? Without, without any pictures. <coughs> so that one there's your linen fresh with your squirty. Eleven ninety nine. Should have been done before now. Eleven ninety nine. Beautiful. So you're leaning fresh. Smells like a laundry room in a posh hotel. This one. Refill for that one is this one. Don't get a squirty thing with the refill. Now look at look at that look at that si th size. 999.59 millilitres. Very literal, very literal. 21.99. <coughs> Clear starch and sizing alternative with soil guard and wrinkle resistor. Michael. Beautiful. I haven't got small bottles of scent free, but I've got a big bottle of scent free. As if you don't want any of the flavours at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty one ninety nine. That's the Myla, the see through Myla. I don't know what that is. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, nearly dropped that. Cherry, and that's the one. This is Stuart's favourite. Only in Squirty, this one. You need to check out on that iron. They get limited. I don't know what the, what the um, availability of Getty Moore is either, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. Beautiful cherry blossom. Gorgeous. Lovely smell, that one. Stuart's favourite. Next. Citrus Grove. Now, now, uh, now I can't remember if it was Ben or... Michael Grove. Oh, it would be Grove. Citrus Grove. Maybe. <coughs> one of them like this one best. Eleven ninety nine. I don't think I can smell them, can I? Because they've got tops on them inside. 
No, I can't smell it. Uh, morning, John. Great show. Always lovely to see you. Avril. Hello, Avril in Berkshire. How are you, my love? Sorry about this. It's the pollen. Just woke up with it this morning. I've got lavender and vanilla and I've got lavender fields. Lavender fields, this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Squirty. That's not the technical term for it. Just had delivery. It's so a well package. I can't get into it from Jerry. What did you buy, Jerry? <coughs> or like the uh, delivery I had that was completely open. When I got back from London, parcel was there and I thought, oh, off, it's missing. Because I'd ordered lots of, I'll tell you what it was. I'd ordered a whole new set of makeup. So I'd ordered bronzer, anti-shine, foundation and primer, right? And this only had the anti-shine in it. And I was like, oh, the rest of it's fallen out. I hadn't it arrived the next day. Here's your Lavender Fields refill. 999.59 millilitres. Twenty one ninety nine. Gorgeous. And then I've got lavender and vanilla squirty. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, nice. She's ordered the Amber. Oh, so is, that, is it from ours or from Amber Makes? Be from ours. Uh, strawberry Thief Cushions and Charm Pack. Oh, when was that? That sounds lovely. She was only in yesterday. That can't be right. Must have been from last week. Yeah. Beautiful. That's all my best presses. Myla, you won't be able to see this. Heat resistant. It's that big. Yeah, this isn't heat resistant, or the one with the checks on it, but this one is. Heat resistant template plastic. You can either use it just to work on with your glue gun, or you can cut it out and iron round it, which is what uh, Anna Maria does. Five ninety nine. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, uh, it's not clear. Plain. Opaque. Two, oh, that's why it's the big, it's a bit clear if you just use one sheet. Packaging has changed. Is that eco-friendly? I am, um, you know the man who came to do all my work in my house, left all the boxes, and I forgot to leave them out yesterday. It was the recycling day yesterday. So I brought them all here. <laughs> So there'll be a video of me in the car park at six o'clock this morning in the pouring rain, unloading my car and put it in there. Recycled, recycled. Don't businesses get paid for their recycling? Sure they do. That's the excuse I'm using. Oh, I haven't got that. No. Iron! Oh, it's 53 already. Just begin to enjoy myself. Right, should be 99.99. It's on three-way split pay, brand new today. Way too many people got this in their baskets. Beautiful, isn't it? Brand new today. We can't find it this price anywhere else. Unless, of course, you're a member to a, what's it, yeah. Aliso M3 Pro Project Mini Iron in Aqua. People are going to miss out. When you come to check out, people are going to miss out. Too many people got it in their baskets. <coughs> 85 99 Check out, check out, check out. Please take advantage of uh, Split Pay if you'd like to. No interest charge whatsoever. And we don't charge you for using Split Pay. 
lovely, isn't it? That shirt. Oh, it's slightly off, slightly off the aqua, isn't it? So close, but yet so far. Oh, I don't know, who won the Oscars? They haven't even checked, have I? That Killian What's It won one, didn't he? Oh, Robert Downey Jr. won one. An English lady won costume design. Who? Oh, did it? Where's Anderson? Where's his first Oscar? And there was one from Ukraine as well. That Ukraine won their first Oscar, didn't they? Anyway, keep going through for that one. Keep going through. Wool pressing back. Rectangular one first. Twenty four ninety nine. Fabulous price. All wool, hundred percent wool. That one. And how many in basket? Oh, you can't see. No. Way too many people got the iron in their basket. Please, please, please check out. And then I've got the square one. Beautiful. Right, during the break, check out on the iron, because after the break, Janet Clare's back with more quilt kits and sewing kits and all sets. Oh, they're already going. Um, must be lovely to be so popular, mustn't it? Uh, I'll see you in four minutes from now. Hello everyone, my name's Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace the Queen's Garden Party for some work that I did with Marie Curie I was so so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you so see you again soon bye bye And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Sewing Street is now available on Virgin Media, channel number 754. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.SewingStreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. 
Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard p and is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Janet Clare's back. I Hello, am. Janet Clare. Hello. What have you done for the last hour? Um, I looked at my emails, didn't answer any of them, but looked. Yeah. Had a cup of tea, sat and chilled. Is that it? Yeah. Where's George on his phone to? Yeah, he was ha he was walking backwards and forwards, so he must be having one of those conversations. He still is now. Yeah, he's walking he's back and forwards. Back and forwards, back He must be thinking. Um, did you <laughs> see the new iron? I did see a new iron. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's good where you can change the flex yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're left-handed. No. Oh, you won't need to then. But sometimes you don't want the iron in the middle of the... Sometimes you can only sort of set it up in the middle of the room, yeah. can't you, with the flex? Yeah. So that would be an option. Mm -hmm. 1.9 metre flex. Anyway, we are talking about the Orbiter. Not this one, it's behind Janet. They're already starting to go, these. It's massive. It's it is. 86 by 86 inches. It's a proper double bed. Cover your bed. And the rest, yeah. So now, the one I've got isn't made... Or is it? Is this one? That, hang on, let's I have a look. I think you've got the same fabric, haven't no, you? I've got the same fabric. You have, I think. Have I? That well, we'll find out. We'll find out in a second. So I'm I've sure got... you have. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. So that's that. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. I can see it yep. now. So this is what the fabric is making. Making life very difficult. Are you going to make exactly the same? <laughs> I'm making life difficult, not Janet. <laughs> so you get 10% more fabric than you really need. So you get all of this. Now, there's two pieces of that. There's one for the binding. I think one's kept separate for the binding. Yeah, then you've got this one here. Then you've got splodge. Splodge. That's nice. Technical term. There's yeah. splodge. What's that one there? <laughs> That's called black holes, except it's in the paler blue colourway. Then you've got cast... Uh, A constellation. Constellation. Yes, here you go oh, there. Yeah. Then you've got uh, engagement rings. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. And then you've got... The rings. last one is here. Beautiful, plus your instructions. So what's this one? What's this one all about? This one is a really nice, it's on point again. It's one block that you make. So it's nice and simple once you've worked out how to make the block. Yeah. It's nice and simple. You make it in two colourways. Two, yep, yeah, alternate. Set on point. The blocks have got about 25 pieces in, but a lot of them are very, very easy. Hang on. Uh, 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 uh. There's the block. Oh, yes. Clever. Yeah, there. It's hard to see, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. There. So you've got square and square, rectangles, half square triangles, and flying geese. Okay. And plain squares. And plain squares. 
It's effective, effective isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. It's really nice when you see things from a distance. You can really get the effect. But up close, it's just a lovely mixture of different angles and colours and textures and prints. So it's nice. It's a lovely quilt. And again, absolute classic, isn't it? Yeah, totally. Massive. Massive. Good to fill your whole student room if you took that away, wouldn't it? 174 99 on three-way split pay. Only seven left now already. We haven't even started the hour and only seven left. 174 99 three-way split pay. And it's 218. I've only got inches written on here. 85 inches. 86 inches. 86 inches. That's a double bed size. And every bit of information that you need. Lots of pictures. Gorgeous. And all your fabrics on there. Right. That's Orbiter. I've got the Orbiter pattern on its own. Remember, you do get the bag as well. When you buy the kit, you get the bag as well. Pattern on its own. Now, if I wanted to, could I make it smaller? You can. You can. So what you'll have to do is... Um, so in the patterns, there's always a cutting list, and it'll say cut 300 of those. Yeah. So obviously, you'll have to ignore that and do your own math. Yeah. But yes, you could make it smaller, definitely. And you can make it larger, but, but not changing need more fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not changing the size of the blocks. You're just doing fewer blocks I, and more blocks. I would. I, there is a lot of pieces. I mean, yeah. obviously, you can do smaller. You really can, because that's quite a sizable square. But you've got so many pieces to fit in, and then it's on point as and well. So you want those edges really bit. nice, and you have to do the mass. So I would take out like a whole row, probably all the way around right um it's or you put them don't put them on point and then don't use those but again you're gonna have to do lots of maths lots of fiddling lots of work yeah, once out. you've got your squares you can sit and you can and set them play them yeah. however you want um but yeah this is i thought this was the most striking yeah. thing and it really makes it sort of pop oh you couldn't see that bit but it's on the other side it's there, on, on the other on side, side here these setting yeah. triangles lovely Go that way. Okay, uh, instructions on their own are in there at nine ninety nine. Now, what else have I got for sale this hour? We've got lots today. Constance, which is the one behind me. In oh, already single figures. In again, a different colourway. You've got greys, yes, in that one. I've made the centre. Just oh, so started this is applique. making the centre. Yes, lots of applique. And that's still just fused down. I haven't done any stitching Oh, I was going to say the stitching's very small. Yeah, I haven't done any stitching. So that's, but that's the, the colourway this kit's going to make. Yes. It's really pretty. Oh. So you've got your... What's that in there? That's your fusible for your applique. Yeah. Instruction, 61 by 61 inches. Then you've got... The wildflowers. Wildflowers. That's little feathers. The feathers. It's testing me. Um, I forget what I called that. Testing now. me, that one's called. Testing me in, in ivory. A different colour, yes. Oh, that's just like a little poem. Lots of little words and phrases. If I join them together, will it make a poem? No. Okay. Well, it's like a free form. Yeah. Then this is your own version my, of grunge. Yes, that's right. That's my texture. Just called, is it just called texture? Just called texture, yep. That's actually painted. That's not just, oh, just do me a splodgy. She does a paint sheet, Janet. I do. Paints it and sends it off to the, the people. Yeah, so we've got some shading and that's the Little feathers, feathers again. again. And they then you've got well. like, I yeah, made marbling. I was doing some marbling to get that effect. Good fun. Gorgeous, it's isn't it? It's a really nice classic quilt. Um, intricate piecing in the centre. Right. And then free from sort of applique all the way round and then nice, big, easy borders. Now, you're saying intricate piecing. Is it lots of little pieces? It though? is. Well, it, your strips, yeah, you're sewing strips together. Oh, sometimes okay. You so can I'm not saying lots of little squares together. No, sometimes you can make a stripe and subdivide it. Some of it's individual piecing. Um, but they're quite small. I think they're like an inch finished or an inch and a half finished. Quite small. Cute though, isn't it? All doing all these little blocks. Really nice. Uh, yeah, it was fun to make. Um, you've got lots of, you've got a couple of flower shapes, a couple of leaf shapes and some stems and some like little circles, like little berries or something. You can freeform, do your own applique or the instructions are 
detailed enough that you can copy my placement. What, that one? Yeah. You can copy my placement if you want. But the idea is that you're doing your own applique. So just start building it out. Um, you guess why it's called Constance? Why? Because have you heard of a flower angel called Constance Spry? A what, sorry? Constance Spry, her name was. Quite, and she was well, well, she became well known for making really informal floral displays okay. rather than really structured yeah. rigid. So I wanted something that was free flowing and fun and that people could make their own. And so, um, yeah, Constance. And did you know about her already then before you did the quilt? Well, I start looking around for like famous florists or like flower houses or I always do a bit of research. It's got to mean something. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's part of my pleasure in doing Aww. things. And I don't, I don't research for hours. As soon as I no. found something that catches my imagination, yeah, that's yeah, well, what, that's what job, it is. Yeah, it's not your job, is it? The research yeah. is not your job. No. So, um, Constance. Okay, no, that's Constance to make. Bundle. I've also got Bun's Constance Pattern. Did you step... Hang on, I'll go and turn around. How old's that one on there? And what have you spilt on it? I haven't spilt anything on it. I was looking actually. at it on... Um, I was looking at it on my on camera here, Excuse and it me. looks like they're different colours. But I think they're just aged. I think that might be... I can't find the label. There probably is a label on it somewhere. That will be... That's my indigo and my cream texture fabric. And... Oh, it, that's why it looks different, because it's textured. So it's, it's the same as the dark one. Yes. It's been coloured yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Constance by Janet Clare, pieced by Tatiana, quilted by Elf. Pieced by Tatiana? Doesn't that say Tatiana? No, her name was... Uh, very small. Paula Hope, maybe. Oh, Paula Hope, that's it. Tatiana. <laughs> <laughs> Man to spec savers. Um, I've, got my, I've got my new spec savers glasses on. Paula Hope. She Paula. made it for me in July 2018. Thank and you. she's tech editor now on today's quarter magazine. Oh, is she indeed? Yeah. Is she indeed? Right, so there's your Constance pattern, 9 99 Also this hour, oh, make sure I'm on my bottom first. I've made this quilt on my daughter's bed. I love it, Janet in Thank Cornwall. Thank you. Oh. Nice. <coughs> Beautiful. Also, it'd be look lovely in other colours as well. It really would. I mean, yeah. you could do greens and pinks yeah. and, you know, really play with it. And it's quite a small quilt, so you need the backing fabric and you probably got, just buy backing fabric, yeah. and you probably bought enough, got enough to... Fabulous. Yeah. Right, now, this book, I was telling you to buy this book before I even knew Janet Clare, because do you remember when we did a mild skirt and we all made squares for it and it was uh, put together by any... Annie Simons, who's the costume designer on George and Mary, or Mary and George, whatever it's called on the telly. Um, so I was telling you all to buy this book because it had such beautiful wildlife flowers in it. And um, then, then I met Janet Clare and she brought this. And I was like, I know that book. <laughs> it's a small world, isn't it? Small world. Small world. It's lovely going into spring, look. Yeah, lots so of what's the uh, behind this? What's behind this? Book? Again, it's like um, Abracadabra. So it was a quilt along that I do with my email list. And we were making a wildflower month. And the idea was that we would all try and find the wildflowers in real life. Right. So we went out on lots of walks and looked. I think the only thing we didn't find was Lily of the Valley. What? We didn't find Lily of the Valley round near us. Oh, but you found sweet violets. I think we did. We think we found everything. I think we, we included sort of going to National Trust places. Yeah. It's not like we were, you know, out in the wild. Right. Um, you know, and we were finding Spanish bluebells, maybe not English ones. But yes, we did. We went out and we tried to find everything. And it was a nice little project. And then I included little sketchbooky pages. And is there a patent for this quilt in this book? Yes, yes. So there oh. is Irish Chain... Um, all the applique templates are full size. Um, and it's, I try and make the books so they're nice just to look at, even if you, you're not really in the mood to sew, but you just fancy a bit of inspiration. Uh -huh. Try and include those as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? For $15.99, all, uh, because you've got all the templates. All the templates. And there. the instruction for the quilt and yeah. other inspiration. And it's a pretty book. It's just a pretty full book. Stop, isn't full it? stop, yeah. isn't it? 
Thank you. Yeah, it's really fun to do. And of course, the flowers, once you've got them, you can put them on anything. Yeah, exactly. Irish chains, nice and easy. Gorgeous. There, there, we've got the actual there, colour There it is. There it is. A bit of um, hand embroidered words, flower names. But again, you could put anything on there. Um, yeah, it's pretty quite. I haven't seen it for a while, actually. I enjoyed it when I dug it out. Yeah, it's lovely. And then these little nine patches, I presume, are done with strips, are they? Yes. Yes. Is that Irish chain? That's called Irish chain, yeah. 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 Gorgeous, isn't it? And I love the fact that you've, uh, this makes it look very vintage. Yeah. But you've long arm just around the edges. It's it. really sweet, isn't it? Yeah. Because you don't want to go over any of the embroidery. Oh, just, okay. It just makes it. it lots of texture and framing, yeah. Um, well, she have done that by freehand? I think it's probably a pantograph. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's probably a pantograph. I tried doing pantograph the week before last. I got one all over the place. She lives and saying, heavy. it's fine, you can just don't stick to the line. And she was like, no, you've got to stick a bit more to the line than that, John. <laughs> They're surprisingly heavy, well, it's the just, machines. I, I, they, they say do it with like this, with your finger first, yeah. to get your muscle memory. But that's, so if you go like that first, then you go like this. Yeah, it's, very, it's actually very heavy, the machine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it is. But I don't it's think a very this skillful job. And this have got in common. <laughs> So you were supposed to remember, yeah. Maybe if you moved your body maybe. with the, maybe I wasn't the line. Loose enough. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, wildflowers by Janet Clare. Twelve of our favourite wildflowers appliqued onto a little quilt. Oh, Anna's going to make twelve cushions. Oh, nice. She says that she won't. She hasn't got time. She's always here. She's either always here, or on holiday. Or on holiday. She's planning a next one, you know. Good for her. Without the boyfriend. Okay. He's away working, so she might as well, won't she? Well, why not? We got our why April not? rotor today, yesterday, and I've got 10 days off in the middle of the month. <gasps> well, I'm not off because I've got another project to do for three days, but I've got 10 days away from here. Wow. It's really weird. Yeah, 10 but the rest days. Of it's crammed, 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 yeah, crammed, 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 crammed. You've got to come and see me. Hey? You've been promising to come and well, see me. Well, I know. We, well, I say we've got to get a camera crew to, to get to see you all, but I will come and see you, don't we? Right. I only, no, no, that's what she meant. She doesn't want me just to visit on my own. She wants me to go and film. <laughs> right, now what's this then? That is uh, the kit to make a sewing kit. Now this really is a really nice project. If you're completely new to sewing or want to teach somebody to sew over the Easter holidays, this is a really nice little project. Okay, now you've got to explain something, haven't you? Because none of them are pink. Yes, now then. We had to get the patterns reprinted due to all you lovely folk buying it. Um, so thank you. But of course, I then made the sample in fabric that is two collections ahead of what's actually available in the shops. So the pattern <laughs> has got top, top secret fabric on it. That is the Blooming Lovely fabric. Coming soon. Coming soon, but probably in about six or eight months. Okay, so it makes that pouch. You've got a little pouch. You've got needle a little case. needle case. You've got scissor a holder. A little tiny scissor holder and a little pin cushion. And it all comes out of one of those Moda two and a half inch candies. Yeah. And you have one half square triangle left out of oh. the whole pack. Okay. There's no waste right. whatsoever. But it teaches you how to cut your fabric. So the needle case and the scissor keeper are the easiest ones to make because it's squares, sewn squares together. Right, so this is... you... Go on then. No, no, sorry. This is collage. The picture's wrong on the website. This one that you're getting here is collage. So collage. which... Is, have I got a collage here? No, you no. haven't got a collage. I haven't got a collage here. I've made four, but none of them are in the fabric we've got. We've never <laughs> had it in this colourway before. You even get your little poppers. Get your poppers, you get your, um, that's a, like, fuse, not fusible, it's an interfacing to stiffen the cover of your needle case. Okay. And you've got some wadding because the things are quilted, so, and also it makes the... Calico. The sleeves for your needles didn't have enough coffee in the break, clearly. Uh -huh. It makes you the things for putting the needles Oh, yeah, yeah, rather than felt, it's in there then. Yes. I don't think there's felt in the kit. No, 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 no. That's what I mean. Rather than yeah. felt, you made your pages yeah. out of, like yeah. there. Yes. So, there wasn't so it's a nice 
you've got all your basic patchwork skills. So you've got the subdividing the fabric, you've got the quarter <coughs> the seam, you've got the pressing the seams, yeah. half square triangles, and you're making something very small so it's quick and also something that's useful. Yeah. So and really, it's all half really square triangles. Good. Half square triangles, there's quarter square triangles in the pin cushion. And you get one half square oh, triangle yeah. left over. Lovely. What do you do so with that one left nice over? Nice little project. Um, Marilyn has you appliqued it to the back of the needle case and keeps a needle threader in it. So oh. you've got no waste whatsoever. Good on Marilyn. This is top eh? tip, Marilyn, if you're watching. That make a nice present, that nineteen ninety nine. Nice We've though. never had it in that colourway before. Uh, Jenny says, would you recommend this for a beginner or would you say try something else first? Is that, are we talking about the sewing kit? I presume it must be this, yeah. Yes, definitely brilliant for a beginner. Very, very low um, risk because yep. most of your squares are cut. Then that was small. collage. This is Bon Voyage. They're small enough to hand sew as well. I've done them on, um, like when I've been teaching, we haven't had machines. Yeah. Because, you know, squares are two inches to start with. So, nice little travel project. Is this Bon, this isn't Bon Voyage. No, that's called Flight. No. Have I got it in Bon Voyage? No. Honestly. I've only made four. In fact, I think I've made more than four. Am I allowed to open this? Yep, yep, absolutely. These are so cute. Whenever we have they these are. on, I know. they sell out. They're so cute. I don't know how I'm... Uh, it's all right, you can slide it out. Who's going to... Will Tony have to repack this when you get home? There you go. Do you want to come in a bit closer, Charlie? The Bon Voyage is all about travel. Where were you going when you designed this one? Then? I was going nowhere. It was locked down. Oh, OK. So it was all rose-tinted... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't travel lovely? And then as soon as you travel, you remember. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fighting to get to the airport. Three-hour wait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's all um, maps and boundary markers and city blocks. Milton Keynes. <laughs> ML. 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 Nice, softer green. It's pretty. It's pretty. <coughs> Some little trees. Rivers. Televisions. Yeah, boundary markers. So, the, the so some you've got maps. one of and some you've got two of. Yes, you've always, with the, with the pre-cuts, they always give you at least one of the every fabric, yeah. uh, you know, every colour, and then to make up the numbers. I don't know how to decide which ones to put doubles of. It's not my decision. You mean you don't sit at home cutting these out? <laughs> But no. they must put all the fabrics in a layer like that and go... Vroom, vroom, vroom. They must do, know. yeah. They must do. Yeah, the laser cut, I think. But So they're really oh. accurate. Are they really? laser cut? Though? They've got... Um, they're pink a little pink. paint. Edged. Oh, maybe they're not then. But anyway, somebody, anyway. Hasn't, sat, sat, somebody hasn't sat pinking. Let's shoes. hope not. <laughs> Let's you hope imagine. not. Anyway, that's that one that's bon, bon voyage. Bon voyage. And then I've also got it in... Astra. I've um, made that. I, I've only made four. Sorry. Three. I've only made four. I made four, didn't I? Haven't three. Made four. I've only oh. got, three. got four. He's hiding that one. So that's got a green in it. Yeah, but none of those are what we've got today. No. Sorry. There they are. There's a limit to how many sewing kits. Yeah, but that, you could have run that up in your hour that you oh, were next door. That so that's it. Uh, the next one you're opening is Astra. Yeah. This is Astra. I'm not going to open it because you've seen the fabrics on there. So it's got a little um, sort of a rusty orangey, little accents. There's no bright orange fabric in it, but just little accents of that. Yeah. Lots of constellations and things. Okay, Jenny means the quilt behind us. Um, the actual sewing could be beginner, but the size might put you off if you've never the done size. it before. The size. There's a lot to it, you know, there's a lot to get through. The actual sewing... I think you'd be fine. If you really wanted to learn the technique, you'd be absolutely fine yeah. because there's nothing awful. It's not like curved piecing or that mariner's compass. It's, it is quite straightforward. There's just a lot of elements to fit into that small size. So you're going to have to manage your seams well, manage yeah. your pressing well. But yeah, there's nothing hard about it. No, 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 no. But then when you start putting it together, it's a yes. great big quilt to get yes, through your is. sewing machine. Yeah, it is. Oh, the big quilt kit, by the way. Oh, too many people. Too many people got it in their baskets that now. Three still available and 12 in baskets. 
<laughs> the little so scrum out, going check out, down. Check out. <laughs> a little fight. Lovely. Right, I've got, oh, and I've got that sewing kit up pattern on its own. Yep, so you, it uses one of the little <laughs> candies or you can cut your own 40, 40 squares if you want. If you've got candies, what do you call it? The little candies, yeah. Little Don't candy call squares. Them something else. Morning, both. Love Janet's kits and I made a made the sewing kit a while ago and it's lovely from Avril in Merthyr Tidville. Wow, thank Jack you. Jack and Vower. Um, yeah. What do we call them? Don't we call them honey buns? And oh, that's the strip. The, the strips strip. are honey buns. Yeah. That's right. And then they do charm squares, which are five inch. Yeah. Lay cakes, which are ten. ten. Yeah. But they're all trademarked, aren't they? Oh, yeah, Mo only Moda are allowed to use yeah. them. Yeah. They've got a national jelly roll day as well. They've you actually know? paid for that. You know, it's a paid thing. I don't know who you pay. But yeah, there's a day in September, which is Jelly Roll Day. And what date's Hannah McCabe Day then? Hannah McCabe's going to pay for her own day. Is she? Maybe I should have a day. Why Maybe. haven't you got your day? Oh, I don't need one. Every day is John's Every day. Every day is my day. <laughs> Doesn't Stuart start all of his, his first show in the morning with its national eat a daffodil oh, day or he? something? Yeah, oh. <laughs> whatever it is. Right. Um, so what are you going to show us then? I'm going to show you how to make flying geese for your orbiter quilt. Right. Okay. They're all setting up. It's all very yeah, exciting. Shh. Over there in the it's other It's all table. very exciting. Right, there's lots of ways you can make a flying geese. Flying geese blocks. They're really oh, nice. On, stop, 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 stop. got a message for you. <gasps> Good morning to you two. Long on quilters. Usually prefer the backing seems to be horizontal if at all possible. Be mindful of direction of the fabric too. The elf. The elf, so I was wrong. So I said vertical, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you did. I was wrong, you see. Who listened? And how many years have you been working with her? Oh, donkey's years. Uh, uh, one day I'll listen to your elf, sorry. <laughs> so that's she's like, no, good. whatever. Well, at least she's listening to you. She knew to message She's you. listening to me. It took her an hour to message in, but, took, you know. I know where she is and I'll tell you later. Oh, okay. I oh. know where she is. The mystery deepens. Okay. Um, so, flying geese, I don't know what you can see. A flying geese is that block there. So yeah. you've got that triangle and then two triangles. Two and they're sides. always rectangular. And you can make them with foundation. So yeah. as I, I demonstrated in the first hour, that is really accurate. But of course, you've got lots of tracing to do. Um, or you can make them with corner squares. But I'm going to show you how to make them. I think I'm making two at a time, four at a time, two at a time, probably. I don't know, I could read my own pattern maybe. Anyway, all you're going to do, you're going to start with a big square, which is your background square. This will you be... You tell us in the pattern what size Exactly square. how yeah. to do it. It's all here indeed, right. and I'm going to keep referring back. So that is the colour square of your big triangle in the middle. And then you're going to cut two smaller squares, and you're going to draw a diagonal line on them and you're going to put them on your square and you're going to overlap them so i've got you're going to overlap them into the middle mine's starting to fray because it's an older demo yeah yours won't and then you're going to sew quarter of an inch away from each of those that central line so that's exactly like you would make a half square triangle whatever so you're going to sew like that yeah. And then you're going to cut that on their line and you end up with something two, two like that. They look yeah. like that. Yep. Okay. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to open those out and press the seams. And I've pressed them to the dark yeah. side. And then you get another square <coughs> and you're going to put it in the corner like that yeah and again you're going to sew across either side either oh. side either side and then when you have subdivided that and do your pressing you have got two flying geese so you're going to be making four at a time aren't you <laughs> you just realized Stunning quilt, Janet. I love the minimal waste project too from Susie. Oh, that's Susie. Thank you. Oh, Susie. I've also so got a message. Go. I think this is Clive. Good morning, both of Miss George. No, he's on it at 11 o'clock. Uh, he's been here since before seven, hasn't he? That, that's it's... nothing poor about it. He has to be. I know, you have to be. Yeah, yeah, you have to be. You sit and wait. 
So I've been coming and going. So there you go. That is the easiest way to make nice, accurate flying geese blocks. So each block has got one, two, three, four. So again, you're making what you need. Square and squares, half square triangles, squares and rectangles. That's it. So if you're watching that and you really, really, and you're a beginner and you really, really want to tackle it, it's totally doable, but I would do, as you say, it's when you've got everything together. It's yeah. going to be a bit of a fight, isn't it? Yeah. So there you go. So there's, there's your half square triangles. They're super simple. And there's your square and square block, which we, again, you're making a big square and put the corners okay. on. That's how you make Orbiter. Nice, easy piecing. I don't do anything that's particularly tricky. Okay, guess what? Role. There's one kit left. There's one kit left. There's one orbiter the behind, not this one, that one. And 14 people want it. 14. Got the pattern on its own, got the pattern on its own, but there's only one of the actual bundle. Here's the pattern. Well, thank you, everyone. Beautiful. It's that rain. $9.99. Uh, Janet's designs are absolutely beautiful. She marries traditional patterns and techniques with a modern sensibility. Oh, that's posh. Great stuff from Anita in Greater London. Thank you. Yeah, it's, they never get... You should get write them. these down. And I you should write these down, shouldn't campaign. I? I know, I should ask for some testimonials. Um, that's a real compliment, thank you. Or I your next bag. That, you know, a lot of these blocks are... You know, all the elements are completely traditional. I've been around for years. Yeah. But there's always something oh, yeah, there's more you new. can do with them. There's nothing new. Always something more you can do with them. It's really interesting. And if you had the pattern, you just made it with your scraps, it would look completely different again. Yeah. Which is why we started putting the colouring sheets in the patterns. Because people do have scraps. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, that's 9.99 Orbiter. What are you doing next then? What do you want me to do next? I don't know. Constance, next, please. Constance. Clive's busy saying his outfit, the catwalk show on Saturday. He'd rather be piecing, though. You need one of these kits. Constance. Message on the bottom. I uh, just bought the Constant quilt. I made my daughter a quilt using Janet's botanical fabrics. This will make a great companion. Oh, very nice. Right, Constance. You're going to have lots of fun with Constance. <coughs> <coughs> Hannah says she doesn't want to be annoying, but there's only six of these left. Yeah, she is very repetitive. Do you remember yours going to be in this colour? Now, which colour are you in now? You're not in any. Uh, my demo is in the indigo and grey. Okay, so yours will be in this colour way. in greys. In botanicals, little feathers, bakewell tarts, wildflowers, <laughs> grunge. What? 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 Right, bundle. Get the bag. Get the instructions, get the, f f f what's this? Interfacing. In no, that's your fusible. 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 Oh, I'm on the web. Oh yeah, the interfacing was in the hose, wasn't it? Then here's all your fabrics. Lots in this one. Beautiful, all toned gorgeously. Right, what are you going to show me for this then? I'm going to talk to you about how you start building out your floral borders okay brilliant um as i say there are big images in the pattern so you can see you know where we've put them the idea really is to have it sort of loose and informal and the negative space that's the space without the flowers is as important as the space where the flowers are because you want a nice it wants to look nice to your eye needs to please you yeah so i would be do working in opposites and sort of starting to copy also, this section here is actually, you're going to applique onto, into the borders of that centre square that you've right. pieced. Okay. So you want to make sure that, that those seams are nicely pressed there so that you can do that. Yeah. But I've made life easy for myself, of course, and I've just given myself a bit of background fabric. This is re I thought this was really striking to do. Okay, so I've got myself some background fabric. 
and I have traced lots and lots of the flowers and the leaves. Just trace lots. Yeah. And then you've got time that you can play. And as I say, you're perfectly able to copy mine or you can think, well, do you know what? I would like lots of tulips in mine and yeah, just yeah, start fact, building them out. Um, um, I think Linda must be watching um, Jewelry Maker because I think they might have a competition because she's put C, snow leopard. No, <laughs> not leopard, snow <laughs> diamond, snow diamond. Oh, she's watching too many things at once. Yeah. And Julie Vaughan, yes, Cara is coming back, but she's just chosen just to do uh, fewer because she's retired now. She's still part of the team, but she's just not doing as many shows. Okay, so you can just start playing and seeing what you like. And you can take photographs as you go along, but an odd number of things will work better than an even number. I don't know why, but it always does. See, it's looking a bit, I don't know. Just play and think about flowing. And this you can turn the other way around. You can have it angled down. There's no wrong here. It's just whatever makes you happy and what you like. You see how the texture comes in and out. So you yeah. get a nice bit of shading. Now what you want to do is make sure that you're not getting so close to that quarter of an inch. You've got to think about, I've got a seam allowance there. What's that dot in the right top right hand corner? That oh, is a little berry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can put them, start building them up. Um, I would be playing like this and then coming back to it or taking a photograph and looking at the photograph if you're doing your own thing and just have a little experiment with what you like and as you say you can move these things around until you've sort of ironed them down there's yeah. you've got a lot of room to play with them so there you go so it's really simple but what you want to do is it feel it's got to feel like balanced somehow so do i need another tulip there i need a tulip down there you just have do to you? i don't know yeah, probably. And squinting, you probably can't see me, but you have to do a lot of squinting, don't you? Yeah. A lot of squinting. So you've got room to play, you've got lots of options. You just replaced that with the same thing. I have, I know, because I took it away and I thought, actually, I do quite like that there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See? Do I need, maybe I need another tulip there. Anyway, so what you're going to do, you're going to do your piecing for the center and then you've got that block that you can start appliqueing on and just give yourself lots and lots of options because i really now wish i had more tulips yeah. prepped so that i could start playing with them yeah but in and real life you can just cut yourself some just more cut some more tulips and just have a little play and think about the spaces between so you want i mean no one's going to be measuring but you if you're doing something like that you really don't want a really awkwardly close tulip and then an awkwardly far away one so just think about how they would look and how much space they're taking too up. close now there you go it's watching it on camera see and being slightly removed from it will help a lot and angles and it's very, very fine little movements. So I would not be rushing this. I would be, again, putting it on the ironing board, stepping away from it and seeing what yeah. you think, what works. And then all you're going to do is you're going to peel the backing away when you're ready. And then you're going to press it in place with the heat of the iron. <coughs> and that's it. And then from there, your stitches can be as decorative as you like. Yeah. So I've got... Some here where I've done some free motion stitching round, which you probably can't see. Again, this is a demo. Yours won't be on wadding. This just makes it more stable for me demoing. Yeah. And I've done some detail oh, on says, the could you stitching white next time. Stitching white so it shows up. Yeah. Or you could do some hand sewing, or you oh, could do um, you could do a fancy stitch on your machine. You do what? You could choose a fancy stitch on yeah. your machine, couldn't you? Now, uh, when you hand stitch on, would you also machine stitch it to keep it in place? Uh, you won't need to because the, the fusible applique will do oh, that. Oh, okay. 
Um, obviously, this will take you a lot longer, but it would could look really pretty. You could use a variegated thread. Yeah. Or it might just be something that you, you want a hand sewing project to do and you've got the fast applique and it'll sit there waiting for you. Yeah, exactly. And as we say, it's not a little race, bl blanket it? stitch. No, you're just doing this to have a nice... Nice time, and it's portable as well to a certain extent, which is always good. Yeah. Uh, Christine says, Janet Claire, I love all your work. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if the postman's been. I've not been in, Christine, for the last few days. Oh, it's posted upstairs for me, apparently. Oh, it's exciting. Apparently, Hannah was told days ago. <gasps> oh, she saw it. She was having a rummage yesterday. You didn't think of bringing it down then. Well, you don't move other people's posts, do you, generally? You'd have had to ask her to check your post box. You're just trying to get her in trouble. Who, Hannah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, he uh, says. When I worked at ITV, <laughs> all our posts had to be opened before we got it. Did it? Yeah. It was all censored and all yeah. opened. Mm. It's not like that round here, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, that is constant. Oh, you've done that, all right. That is Constance. That was Constance, 124.99. Uh, I'm all right with stock of those, Han. Four available, but seven in baskets. Thank you. Message on the bottom. Morning, John and Janet. Started on the Morning. same journey. We'd read to make the Constance quilt from a collector in Lancashire. Oh, nice. So would she? I don't see why not. It's quite know. small piecing, but it is easy piecing. Yeah. Just watch your seam allowances. But I don't see why not, actually, because there's not a lot of accurate piecing. It's just that centre bit. Well, I can see that on this one. Yeah, oh, yeah, they're all wonky. Oh, hang on, um, there is. Hi, they Janet's are all wonky. Ha Janet's quilts combine traditional patterns and contemporary style with beautiful fabrics. Could a confident beginner manage these kits? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. There's nothing that you are di is difficult to learn for any of these things. And you've got to try them first. So what I would do if you haven't made like the flying geese before, just make them in scrap fabric. It yep. doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's not like a jersey which stretches. You oh, no. Make it in anything. But also, look, it's these are the blocks down. you're making yep. for the constants. Yeah. So that each one is like that one. So easy. That one's so easy. Says that one. Yep. That they all are. Anyway. Anyway. Gorgeous. They're all easy. Straightforward. Constance sure. pattern on its own. Yeah. The pattern on its own is good. Yep. The, the flowers are useful. The leaves are useful. And um, the borders. I mean, you could put anything around them. If you've, you know, you could put, I don't know, if you've got pattern with cars on even, they could go all the way around. It, I think it looks pretty because it's got flowers on, but actually it's quite a structured design really you can put anything on yeah there. absolutely what are we doing next right i'm just going to recap the um sewing kits okay I don't know why i've got any of those <laughs> got in three different color didn't have any four of them bon voyage first you've got bon voyage which you've is got... this one yeah and what you're making ignore the fabric it just ignore the pouch fabric. Needle holder, pin cushion, and one, two, three, four. Scissor, scissor keeper, yeah. a little scissor keeper, a little snip oh, or something. Yeah, that, is that it? Yeah. And all of the items fit in the case, or if you've got like English paper piecing, or you want to put <coughs> threads in there, you yeah. obviously can keep them all separate as well. I love Bonvoy's fabric. Put me in mind the aerogram letters I used to send to my uncle abroad. Yeah, yeah, Kate at uh, BFPO. When I used to send letters to my dad <laughs> when he was posted in Mazira and places like that, BFPO. Don't get British letters horses, now, do we? Yeah. Don't get postcards or anything. Beautiful. So that's that one. $19.99. Lovely present, that. Then I've got Astra, which is the same, fa which is the same fabric yes. as that big quilt behind there. Blues and indigos. A little well, they're all blues and indigos. Midge of grey. Uh, grey. 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 I like grey. $19.99. Yeah, but I can't wait to see this pink. It's come, well, we said Bluebell was going to be here. Yeah. So that's before pink. It's before pink. Yes. And then yes. collage. It's 
got that sharp green. So that's the yeah. green that was in Ms. May's earlier. Beautiful. So you get your, um, that's your interfacing. That's your calico. That's your wadding. That's your poplars. And that's all your little squares. Yeah, you've got your lining fabric. You've got your wadding. You've got your pattern. Just need thread. First time we've offered it in that colourway. Half the stock's gone. How long I've got the pattern on its own, have I not? Sorry, pattern on its own. You got another demo? Yeah, I can talk through some wildflowers. Lovely. We'll do the book next then. Nine ninety nine. It's gone freezing in here now. I know because you said you were hot this morning. Yeah, no, but isn't it funny? It takes that long to kick to in. To cool down. Right, wildflowers. This lovely book, fifteen ninety nine, has the pattern for the quilt, but then all of the lovely templates. For all the beautiful flowers, wild flowers. And the shaggy dog. That was Betty. That's oh. our beautiful Betty. We don't have a Betty anymore. Oh. Betty drove the rainbow bridge. She did, bless her. She did. Beautiful. Look at that, isn't it? A gorgeous book. It's really, I love making the books. They're so such a lovely project to get immersed in you know and because i don't have a publisher we self-publish i can do whatever i like so when's your next one yeah that's a good question um we went and saw a printer a couple of weeks ago so we might have because pr the printers are going bust left right and center oh, are they mm -hmm. not rich not our lovely rich that does all the patterns Pat no no but, but he doesn't printers. do the book yeah uh, the life it doesn't mean the rich ones his name's rich no, his name's Rich. Yeah, not the rich ones. <laughs> right, so yeah. what are you going to show us about this one? Okay, so I was going to talk you through, again, these are the stripes for your Irish chain. So it, you're not cutting tiny, tiny little yeah. squares. And you can see, I'm not a big fan of accurate. It's close enough. Don't worry about it. It's close mm -hmm. enough. So make yourself a stripe and another stripe, and then you're going to subdivide those. I'm going to lose that. Yeah. Just subdivide those, and then you're sewing rows together. Okay, Charlie, um, can you check YouTube? A couple of people said YouTube's gone off. So that's that. Okay, it's still connected this end, apparently. Just and then refresh your box. What you're going to do is, like, that's a poppy that I've made. They don't have to be made into the quilt blocks, obviously. You can do what you like. We've just got to find the poppy. You're going to trace off everything you want in different fabric. So this poppy... The stem, I obviously want to be in green, and then the flowers are going to be red, yeah. obviously. Um, the templates are already reversed for fusible applique, so they'll come out the other way when they're finished. And what you want to do is they're not a jigsaw puzzle. They're not going to tessellate. You want to extend that stem up into the flower a little bit so that you can put the flower oh, right, okay. on yeah. the top. Yeah. Okay? Um, and you cut that roughly round and iron that to the reverse of your fabric and then what i would do is i would be it'll be the other way around you applique that on yeah and then i would almost do the stitching on that stem maybe in the green color and then you can put the applique poppies on top and then maybe choose a red stitch you can see i did this on i must have been at a workshop or a demo to yeah. do this because um, tension's very bad. <laughs> and I would have done a red. See, I've got little dots, white dots. I mean, it doesn't bother me particularly. But you would be able to work it up in layers. So do the green first and then applique back into it and yeah. do that. And then in free motion, I wrote, remember me when this you see. And that could be like the front of a little um, pouch or it could be a little card for somebody or whatever. So. The patterns are much more versatile, aren't they, than just the one quilt. Oh, yeah, quilt. yeah, definitely. You can do lots, lots more. And then, how are we doing for time? Yeah, we're okay. And then with the, the writing, you could do your own handwriting or you could trace mine, which, again, every flower has got its name. And you're just going to use some stitch and tear and you're going to trace We can't through. find our stitch and tear this morning for some reason. It's one of those things that once you've got it, you keep finding uses for yeah. it. Yeah. Is that your writing then? Is this it is one? my writing. So you shouldn't really need to trace it. No, I could write it out. I could write it longhand. Um, it's getting it the right size is often the trick. Yeah. 
and then I would lay that on top and just stitch through yeah. it and then it literally tears away when you're done and that's that not is... a daisy <laughs> that is that a what daisy, daisy leaves look like Yes, they're is big it? and floral. And I did that in layers, so I'd have done the leaves first, then I stitched the stems on, and then I did the, the flower. And if you look really carefully, the daisies <coughs> are pink underneath sometimes. Oh, yeah. They've got little pink bits underneath. There's your stitch and tear. We found it. Hey, stitch and tear. Very, yeah, very pack useful. Pack it with Roger on the front. That's how I got all of the um, children's drawings and things oh. on my apron. I traced them off and used the stitch and tear to stitch through. Are you taking that to Canada with you? No, not Canada. Where are you going? Yes, Australia, Australia. Switzerland. I will, but I've got to mend it. Look, oh. It's literally falling apart. Is it time for a new one? Oh, I don't know. I've got about five already, but this yeah, is no. the one that's... Show one. Yeah, I don't know whether I should start again. I'm, I'll mend this one, I think. Yeah. Hi, all. I made the wild flag quilt. It's really quick and easy, and it's one of my favourite things. From oh. Sue on the Moray Coast. Oh. Nice. Well done, Sue. Another Thank Susan. Uh, hi, I'd hand embroider all the panels, says Sue. Oh, they would be beautiful. Yeah, because it's just a template. So yeah. you can embroider them. You can do whatever you like. Whatever makes you happy, do that. That's hi, great. John and Janet. Just say thank you to Janet. Bought her something. Last type, beautiful fabric and a lovely surprise dog applique free. What was, what, what, what was that? What's the name of that one? It's not... That's a fat um, eight. Is it? Does that say? Oh, fat eight? fat eight. Yeah, I was thinking, what's that word? I have fat eights last time. Thank you. Yes, we do send out a little. I was using it when I was doing my foundation piecing. Yeah. You get a little freebie, a little free pattern. Oh, that one you were advertising. Yeah. <laughs> Just accidentally was the only card that I found. We don't accidentally of... put them in the packets. They go. No, they are. Yeah, oh. we uh, Tessa puts them in. So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. We're sending out all your orders tomorrow. Yeah. So what day that's will it go to the post office? And what day is uh, it? We'll take them. We'll take whatever's ready at four thirty tomorrow, and then the rest will go the next day. Wow. Does your they van pick up after half past four in your post office then? No, we have to drop it round. We have to take it. What's physically what take physically take the sack to the post office. They won't come. Oh no 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 no! But if I want to take send a parcel from my post office in my village yeah it, to be fair it'll probably go in the morning yeah it'll probably go in the morning but they leave us um so we'll get up tomorrow morning and have the pick list and then we'll, that's what all three of us will spend all day doing that tomorrow oh, keep it as nice as and well. busy thank you yeah and get that done lovely i'm just sat here stood here sewing now that's fine what else do you want to know what do people want to know uh, well, they've only got two minutes to find out. Two minutes. When are you back next? Uh, it'll be three or four weeks. I should know the date. Can you I'm fit going. us in? Yeah, it's, it's really busy at the moment. When's the Islington show then? That's next week. Is it? It's all of next week. I think we're driving there on Tuesday next week. So it's happening the same time as Same for Pleasure? Oh, no, different dates. Same for Pleasure's next week, isn't it? Oh, this week? Am I going this week? Yeah. Oh, it's this week. Sewing for Pleasures this week. This week. This I'll weekend. be there this week then. Oh, there you go, And you see, Well, it's nice close for you, isn't it? It's ish. <coughs> well, it's close to here. Yeah. It's close to here. And then we'll be in Islington. And they're doing late night opening on Thursday. They're you doing what? come after work. Late night opening on the Thursday. Oh, are they? It's like 8pm or something. I'm in Warrington next week. Yeah. I can't do it next week. Um, yes, it'll be three or four weeks. And then hopefully, I mean, Ian did say that Bluebell would be here today and it's not. So yeah, that was hopefully it, yeah. it will be have you not here learned? How many years have you been The here? next time. Well, it Don't was told smirk. the shipping schedule. So we haven't got ours yet. We haven't got any yet. But it's on its way. Yeah. And what will you be doing in there then? What will you be have? What, we've sold everything. You'll have nothing to sell. Wow. No, we'll see. <laughs> and uh, so when you come next time, hopefully we'll have a new fabric as well. Hopefully we'll have new fabric. If not, we'll have something lovely. We've always got something up our sleeves. We're always working on and does Tony new product go with development, well, isn't it? Um, Tony will be at London with me, yeah. And Tessa? Tessa's going to come in and out a couple of times, but she's got to manage work, work. Oh, you have a week Because we'll be in London. We'll be in London. And Joe's home to look after the dog, so yeah. we've got a week in London. Be Very nice. nice. Be nice. 
You eat out every night. Every we, I know you are. You think, oh, we'll have to go dinner out. And you yeah. think, no, microwave meal. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be bothered. Too tired. Are you doing an Airbnb or are you doing a hotel? I think we're in an Airbnb. Oh, good. That's much better. Yeah. Right. What do I need to recap before I go? Fewer than 20 of the book when you've all checked out and everything else is sold out, basically. Wow. Yeah. Fabulous. Fabulous. Thank you very much. Then come over here. You're going to come talk to me. I'm just have a hug. <laughs> Lovely to see you. And you, and you. I'll see you. Have a good time in Islington. I'll see you here next time. Islington, yeah. It's a nice part of London, actually. Isn't no, no, it? and that show is lovely. It is a really, really nice show. show. Lovely yeah. big light, natural light show as well, yeah. which is quite unusual, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But get it early if you want a parking space in the car park next door. And there's little Costa coffee just around the corner. So get it before you go in. And there's antiques and beautiful knitting shops. And oh, yeah, yeah. It's a lovely, it's a lovely it area. Really I used nice. to live around that, that area. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah lovely. Yeah. Angel, get off Angel Tube and yeah, walk. Yeah, walk up. Anyway, uh, don't go anywhere. Gorgeous George is up next with uh, three machines and something brand new. What is a wayliner? We'll tell you in four minutes from now. <laughs> Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also applique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Sewing Street is now available on Virgin Media, channel number 754. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. 
Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. So gorgeous George is here from Franklin's. Yes, morning. I haven't seen you for ages. It's been a while, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Hey, have you got all sorts of news going on in your life? We do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which news are you talking about? Oh! Oh, I've only got one bit of news. Oh, OK. What's that? Yeah. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it out loud. <laughs> you having a baby? I haven't, I haven't said it out loud yet, but... Uh... <laughs> you should have said! It's on... <laughs> yeah, it's on its way. Yeah. It? He. Hey, little. Well, it must be quite a way through if it's a, if you know what boy. If it's yeah, a girl. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Twenty-two weeks. Oh, well, congratulations so, from all of us. Thank That's you. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, well, what's the other news then? That I should be able to know. The, the way line. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't realise that hadn't been announced. <laughs> they were all talking about it when I came in. So I thought, oh, everyone will know. There you go. Exclusive. Right. And your dad knows, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah my grandma. <laughs> <I told you. laughs> right. OK, now I'll move on now then. Um, what's this? Because I need to say, we're doing this first because on the website, it looks like it's a machine you're getting, but actually it's this that you're going to attach to a machine. But yes. what's it used for? So um, it is used for putting on waistbands, necklines, hemlines. Um, when you're working on the round and you have to stretch the fabric out to attach elastics um, and cuffing, um, it's... Um, really, it's, it's the tool that they use in fashion industry for modern fabric right. and making casual wear. Yeah. So these are some of the samples um, that we've brought in. So just a simple... Uh, so it helps ribbing. us put on, if we're making a jersey sweatshirt, something, it helps us put the ribbing on. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So you can use it um, on two stretch fabrics, so ribbing and a fleece. Right. Um, and then also on cotton fabrics and thicker fabrics. Oh, OK, yeah, so that's not... Elastic. Right, OK. And then I've run a cord through this one as well. All right, righty-ho. Um, and necklines as well on T-shirts. Right. So, so we're going to show you how it works in a minute. Before you need to do this, we need to... Because we need to get the... First of all, we've never had this before. Secondly, it was supposed to be on the birthday shows, wasn't it? But they didn't get... I don't know what happened, but it's now... So you're going to get the birthday treat today that you're supposed to get on the birthday show. Yeah. It's already on split pay, a three-way split pay already, because it should be 149.99. And we're going lower. Hun Shouting it out now, it's even then. 129.99, that's your price, that's your price, that's your price. We will be sure. So now I can use it on which sort of machines? You can use it on overlockers, cover stitches, and sewing machines. Right, okay. Are there any people checking out already? Are there rules about like size or anything like that? Yes. So um Pretty much any machine will fit on it because this base is adjustable in and out. Right. So wider for an overlocker, finer for a sewing machine. Um, but the max size of sewing machine is an eight and a half inch underarm. So is that right? Is that what we know? Let me just the put needle. that there. So on this machine, eight and a half from there to there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's the largest it can be. Yes. Okay. Perfect. 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 It doesn't have to be a Juki or a Britannia sewing machine. It can be any sewing machine. It can be any sewing machine. As long as the throat space isn't bigger than eight and a half inches. Yes. Which is pretty rare, isn't it? Most, most machines aren't over eight and a half. The majority, on. yeah, eight and a half is a big machine. Yeah. So it's that and under. Brilliant. All right, then. So we're not going to show you a demo on this now. We're going to show you the three machines that we've got here today. And then we'll attach this to the machine to show you how this works. There's already people checking out. I bet Julie Vaughan's one of them. They're already checking out already on this, right? And then we'll show you how it works in a second. So let me move that out the way. Mm -hmm. 20 pounds off today because it was a birthday special. Not that it's our birthday or anything like that. <laughs> right, okay, so now tell me, 
Right, uh, you weren't here the other day. I did this machine. We had so many people missing out, yeah. but I didn't have enough stock for the show. We've now got more stock for yeah. you coming in today. Will you just take us through what, how brilliant this machine is? Indeed. So it's a four-thread overlocker, four-thread, three-thread overlocker. Um, and <clears throat> what uh, an overlocker is, is it finishes off the edge of the fabric, um, cuts the edge and seams at the same time as well. So if you're doing double layers, it's fantastic with all sorts of fabric, but specifically for stretch, right. pretty much an overlocker is what is used in construction. So, um, it's a very slippy on. one, that yeah. one. You're yeah, I'm going to start one. with a, uh, just a calico to okay. show, show how it works. Also, you be careful, because you're doing it on a funny angle, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, back to front on using it. But again, it's a, I just allow the machine to do the work. I've got yeah. my guides on here, so I know how much I'm cutting off. OK, so that's a four thread. And what's it done? It's stitched it and finished the edge off. Yes, it's, it's um, seamed it as well. So because there's two lines of stitching, that's now a strong seam. OK. Um, and so that was just straightforward calico. So it doesn't have to just be for stretch fabrics. No, so on calico and cottons and things like that, more formal wear, where you want to make it on a sewing machine, you can use the three thread and just do single layers of material to right. stop it from undo yeah. uh, undoing. So this doesn't need to stretch because this is a stable fabric. What you're sewing now is a very stretchy fabric. Exactly, yes. So that there. And then because an overlocker is a different, totally different stitch to a sewing machine. So um, it's more like a knitted stitch. I was going to say, how does it do that without cracking? Because it's not a lock stitch. Um, it's an overlocking stitch, yeah, yeah, is yeah. what it's called. But, but you've still got a straight line loopers. where you've done the... There's still a straight line, isn't there, where you've done the seam. But it's the two loopers on the underneath which weave that together to create, as I said, like that stretchy stitch. OK, because all these years the I've never understood... I mean, I just <laughs> go with it and go, I know I can do stretch on here, but I've never understood why, so... Yeah, yeah. different sort of stitch, similar yeah. to a cover stitch as yes, well. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, and then what you want with an overlocker is something that's going to go seamlessly between thick and thin fabric. Uh -huh. So um, up to some fleece here. Again, this is without changing any settings. I might want to increase the length for a thicker fabric. Right. And then onto this slippery light. Oh, so you're just literally going from one straight through to the other. Exactly, yeah, it doesn't mind it at all. So I haven't got to mess around. I'm going a bit, cutting a bit much off there. Yeah. That's, that's from there to there. Brilliant. It's just, I mean, it's amazing, isn't it? So, so um, have you look at, at the price, right? How is it? How can you do? Because I mean, it's a really, really good price for a machine of this quality, isn't yes. it? Yes. Well, it's taken a lot of searching to find a machine of this quality that we can do at this price. We right. have factories offer us machines all the time and um, we test them ourselves, we give them to our engineers and they're not worth it. And then we got this one in and um, it's really, really good yeah. value for money. OK, so now obviously at this price, it's like an entry level uh, overlock because obviously we have jukey ones and everything like that, which go up and up, you know, like kind yeah. of with all the, all the makes have different prices for different price packages. But even that's entry level, it, the standard isn't any less. Do you know what I mean? It's still a really, really good stitch. But what always throws me is the threading. Is it an easy one to thread? It is. So it's not, again, Duke, you have the air threaders yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. in that higher level. But it is um, as easy as you can get it with a mechanical system like this. Um, so um, it's got a diagram on the front here. which mm -hmm. That one looks it. very simple compared to a lot of them, you oh, see. Yeah, it is. You don't need to... All of it's really easily accessible. So you just thread them one by one in order. And yeah. It's, it's very, very simple. To uh, uh, and as well as the drawing there, I'm presuming you must get a... Um, a manual. manual with it yes. as well, don't you? Because yeah, that's with a full-size diagram. Yes, yes. There's videos online as well of how to thread it. Yeah. Now, can I disengage the blade if I don't want to use the blade? You can. So on this side here, we've got all the, the switches. So this switch here drops the blade out, disengages. Oh, just, you just have to do a switch? Yes. Oh, brilliant. Switch on the side of the machine. Yeah. Um, you've got the width control for the, the bite of the blade. Oh, oh right. Okay, for the blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
and then um, the length of the stitch on here, yep. and the differential feed. Which is, we always talk about the differential feed. What is a differential so, feed? So, um, basically, the differential feed changes the travel of the front feed on here. So, right. I don't know if you can see up here. There's actually two... Let's see oh, we're just coming in now, Georgia. So you can see there's a split between the front one and the back one. Right. The back feed. So I can adjust the travel of the front feed. Basically, what happens if I'm putting through a stretch fabrics and it's waving? Yeah, it's because which it's, is what often happens, isn't it? Yes, it's because it's stretching it out as it's going through. Right. So you increase the travel of the front feed to negate that. Right. Okay. So I was wondering what the differential feed was. So that that's so it's all it's almost like if it's not sewing properly, then um, or not sewing properly, but c causing waves and things like that. You yeah. know that something's not going right. You play with the differential feed and yes. And also, that. if you wanted to gather a fabric, yeah, you can you can use the use it to its advantage yeah, exactly. to make the gathering and everything. Yeah, yeah, um, that's fantastic. So now, uh, what kind of needles do I have to use in it? S uh, sewing machine needles for most fabrics, size ninety. Okay. Yeah, because there was a lot, of, quality, so. a lot of things by people going, oh, do I need overlocking needles? And people sell overlocking needles, don't they? But I can just use normal needles in there. Yes, normal size. Nice. Right, a third of the stock's in baskets already. Uh, remember, you also get uh, a 12,000 metres of thread. Now, do these come from you or are they in our warehouse? Uh, these come directly from us. So you put the thread with it then? Yes. Indeed. What kind of thread? Is, what is uh, it? So it's moon thread. It's right. Coats moon thread. Mm -hmm. um, a thousand yards on each reel. And four different colours, a black, a white, and we generally put a grey in as a mid, oh, okay, lovely, a yeah. mid colour because yeah. that covers most of what you're going to sew. Oh, no, I, I always say when an overlocker, you hardly ever change colour unless it's going to be something specific. Yes. Uh, I purchased an overlocker last time. It's the easiest to thread without being an air threader. I love it from Jean. Thank there you, Jean. you go. Um, and it's good because uh, 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 you often go, oh, you get what you pay for. Three nine nine for an overlocker is two nine nine. Uh, two two nine nine two nine nine. There's me. I'm adding hundred pounds on for me. Two nine nine two nine nine. Sorry, yeah, the split pay three if they pay hundred pounds each month. Everything. It's a fantastic price, isn't it? Uh, but it's it's kind of not entry level really. It's entry level price, but I mean, I know you can buy overlockers from. High street supermarkets for a really little amount of money. Yeah. But that's where you get what you pay for, isn't it? it? Exactly. And we're not dissing every not gonna diss everyone, but you are gonna get you are gonna get what you pay for there. Whereas this, you kind of think, oh it's two nine nine, it's a fantastic price, and it's a really good quality one as well. Well, all the different fabrics it can take, yeah, it is, it is, um, it's really diverse in what it can do. Okay, and if I'm a, a, a four thread and a three thread. It's like you say, do I do, do Yeah, I, so if I want to take out that left hand needle, yeah. all I need is my little Allen key. Uh, is it on here? We'll move around on here. Um, oh, hang on. It could be in here. There, there we are. So it's in the kit that comes with it. And then I just need to take out the left hand needle. So if, even if you're not using that needle, you do take it out, you don't just leave it in without a thread. Uh, yes, yeah, you'll find that if you leave it in, it, it loop the you'll get a loop around the needle. So that's out now. But I can just pull the thread back. I don't <gasps> necessarily have to take that out. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, just put it back to here. Yeah, yeah, here. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so it's out of the way. So and when would I only use sewing. one needle then? What's that for? The single layers of fabrics, rolled hems. Um, so... Do I need a special foot for a rolled hem? No, no. So um, it's so easy to put this into rolled hem mode. So again, this is more for formal wear. I just need to adjust that blade out. Um, so this is more for formal wear. So it's just a single stitch. Um, and so what a lot of people do when they're uh, dressmaking is um, when they cut out their pattern, they actually overlock around the edge before they put it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used to, that's what we used to do in theatre all the time. Yeah. It makes it last so much longer um, and have a much more professional finish. Yeah, yeah, totally. So it's a much finer stitch. And then if I want to put that into rolled hem mode, pull that switch forward, and there's little R's on the machine. We're just going to show the stitching on this one. There you go. So that's if you're just finishing off the edge. Like this is what Rebecca Harrison will do when she comes in to do her samples. All right? So all I've done, there's an R on the front here with the switch. There's a um, R here. And, and are there. Oh, so you just match up all three of them with the art, yeah. Yeah, and tip of the tray, this isn't in the manual, but increase the tension on the upper looper. 
and that will give you a really nice, tight, rolled hem. You see, now, my friend Alice, I saw at the weekend, she hasn't got this overlocker. Um, she's got quite a well-known overlocker, and she paid more than two nine nine for it. And she says she can't do a, it; won't do a roll. Tape. That's one of our tests when we get machines in yeah. it, to really put an overlock through its spaces. It needs to be able to do a good. Uh, but that's roll fantastic. Tape. So if you're making like chiffon scarves or little scarves or anything for Christmas or presents or anything, just buy half meter fabric, go around the outside with the roll. Yeah, tape exactly. Done. Well, this is the sort of finish you can leave on the outside of fabric. Yeah. As well, so dresses. You, if you just want to take them up. Mm. Um, then, then that's, that's the sort of finish you'll Brilliant. Find. Right, OK, so now everyone's eager to see what this will do. Yes. So now it can go on an overlocker sewing machine or a cover stitch. So we're putting on an overlocker to start with. So literally, oh. Just place that on like that. Line it up. You do get some sort of lining up parts on there as well, but I often find all I need to do is just place it on. Okay, when you but said... I do need to put my, set my overlocker back to normal stitch. Oh, yeah, do that first then. So did you say, th oh, yeah, this can move in and out if you've got a wider machine or... Exactly, yeah. So generally for a sewing machine, I move this in a little yeah, bit yeah. because they're not as deep. As deep, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, you can just... You get all the tools with it here. Okay, you put your needle just back that. in there, and I'll just tell you, this should be 149.99. It was meant to be on on the birthday week, but never got, got round to being being on. <coughs> so we're giving you the birthday price for it. We've got triple... What have you lost? My little Alan, Alan key. You put it back in the box, didn't you? Did I? Probably did. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we've never brought this before. I, in all my years I've worked in the industry, I've never, ever seen one of these before. I might have seen one in a... A commercial factory when I've been around a commercial factory, but I've never, it, it's never. Well, yeah, how much would, if I was buying this for, uh, um, in an industrial machine, how much would I, you know, for in, in, in the industry? How so much for the I... machine and everything like that, it's all one system, it's, it's controlled by air and things like that. There's 6,000. And it does the same job, apart from there it has exactly. hydraulics, uh, air hydraulics. It, exactly, yeah. And it's, you know, you, um, when you, I don't know if you've ever attached ribbing to a garment, put elastic in. Yeah, you try all and get the time, yeah. Even yeah. stretch around. Well, it's around. getting, because then you have to do that two halves, two halves, and then you've got a pin in, and when you've got an overlock, you don't want pins in it and all that sort of stuff. Exactly. People are checking out already without even seeing how it works. A uh, pair of scissors. I did have some scissors. Yeah, right, here we are. I've got them, I've got them, I've got them. Let's thread this needle back up. And my tweezers. Right, I haven't I've seen you so with your tweezers today. yet. No. Do you need tweezers? Shall I get Michael to get some? Yes, please. Michael. Uh, Three-way split pay, remember, because it was £149.99. Uh, it'll, it'll drop down now. 43.33. So you get pay, pay 43.33 today. Uh, again, do these come from you or do they come from us? Direct from us. Direct from you? Yeah. Are you all right? Do you still need tweezers? No, I've threaded it. Are you but, okay? um, if we can get some tweezers just for... Yeah. Yeah, put it all back to where it was. Yeah, so just put it back to standard settings. Is Michael there getting the tweezers? Yeah, brilliant. Perfect. OK. Right. So, this goes on here like that right and then so is this all is this all part of it here is that all part of it here yes so these are the tools that you can so these are guides these rings in here right and then you've got the allen keys to adjust it okay perfect uh, because you would oh yeah I don't, the garment. these will need allen keys to move the width and everything it? exactly okay perfect yeah. so what we made so i've got basics <coughs> and the ribbing to go on the top. Okay. So I've pre-measured this one. Right. So this just goes round there and onto there. Thank you. Have the foot up. Is this a Is good angle? Not, I don't think you're round that bottom one at the back there. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry, again, I'm, I'm at this no, 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 no. funny I'm angle. Not, it's the first time I've had a go on this yeah. way. So, and then, Right, there's more people Those checking out now, there. just with the rib, just seeing the ribbon laying on. So then this is now the main part of the garment. Yeah. So again, just tap, come that round here, round there. Make sure it's all on evenly. Yeah. Of course, you'll be doing it from the front. You'll be able to see, have access to it from this side here. Yeah. You have to do it like poor old George is having to do. 
And then just make sure that's that's on there. You can sort of bring it round, make sure everything's all nice and secure. Yeah. And then, bring it to the top. All I need to do is start to run it round. Yeah, just as normal. Just as but normal. You're, you're, what it means is you're not sitting, because if you were doing this without the wayliner, you'd have to stretch, stop, stretch and stop, stretch, and wouldn't you, if you it, do it by yeah, hand? Yeah, and you're stretching and pulling against... Yes, yeah. yeah. And one thing you don't want to be doing on an overlock or also machine is pulling it too much or not enough. So yeah. this is evenly feeding it through. Exactly, yeah, all at an even stretch. So it, and both uh, at the same stretch because it's over the same. Because if you're a ribbing, isn't always the same stretchiness as your sweatshirt fabric. No, is it? so this brings it out to the fabric. Yeah. So all I'm doing is just allowing that to go around. I'm keeping my eye on the um, on the guide, so I'm cutting off the same amount each time. Yeah. Just throwing that in. And I've met up with the other side, so I can just take that out like that. This is it now, the reveal, George. And you've got that. How brilliant is that attached. look? Well done. Loads of you coming in for this, loads of you coming in. Uh, now, my, my question is, if you're not using it, does it fold down? Yes, you can fold the arms in. OK, we'll, um, talk, we'll talk about that when it comes off then. Just yeah. Off. There's lots of, lots of questions for you. Here you go. First one. Okay. Uh, what is the smallest circumference it can sew? Good question. Well, I can do necklines on there as well. Oh. So um, it's, it's, it depends on the size of your machine yeah. as well. But by raising these two up, I can do it rather than going under the machine. I go around the top of the machine. Oh, OK, then. So, so necklines, you can do necklines. Yeah. Cuffs, can I do sleeve cuffs on it? Who's that from? Oh my goodness, amazing. Can I do sleeve cuffs as well from Susan in West Sussex? So sleeves cuffs, you are pushing that a bit too small on there. But what you can do is just use this roller um, without any other ones. Oh yeah, so it's still feed feeding it. it yeah. not you pulling it, yeah. Yeah. Good exactly. questions, good questions. Any more? Not at the moment, right, okay. Oh, hang on. We're getting a lot asking what? Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll do a neckline. We'll definitely do a neckline for oh, you yes. at some point. So yes. this is a brand new piece of cuffing coming out of its packet. Yeah, so pop that on there. So this is how oh. I would set it up. I need to set it to the size of this first. So right. I've got my measuring tape. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. So I'm going to give that a measure. So that is 18 inches, so 36 inches round. So all I need to do is pop that around there. Oh, so and you And adjust made... this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Got it now. So I can just... Um, so you need to span Move them. the arm at the back, exactly, yeah. Move the arm at the back. Uh, message, this is brilliant. Like having another two pairs of hands. I love the magical machines George brings us from the painting <laughs> Mercy side. So. Oh, and then you just bring it in to, because this is 36, as you say. So you just yep. bring it into that's 36. 236. So I can go just onto there. It doesn't have to be exact because then I've got some adjustment once it's on. As yeah, well. yeah, yeah. But that's brilliant because, like we were saying, you normally got to quarterize it, half it, quarterize it, everything like that. This is, if that's 36, that's 36, that's 36, and the machine is 36, then it's just brilliant, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. So let's just make sure that's folded well. Yeah. There you go. <coughs> Around the rollers. Around the seam. You just thought it. So then, so you've seen, you at Franklin's have seen that this happens in the industry. Exactly. And yeah. gone, oh, we should make something like that for a domestic it, issue. Yes, yes, because um, uh, we do a lot of shows for the industry as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that's yeah, one course, big yeah. side of our yeah. business. 
So um, we're all about just bringing those techniques. Well, uh, also, you, you'll you see this, right? You, you know what I mean? If your business working in the industry, you actually see this. Um, like somebody just as domestic wouldn't necessarily... Somebody just sold domestic sewing machines yeah. wouldn't necessarily know that this even exists or no. because it would because it's not normally around for domestic machines. Uh, the Juki boys are the boys with the toys. Oi, Sue! <laughs> we'll have less of that smutty talk. So what I've just done there is yeah. just by... Because it was slightly loose on there, the outside one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I can just bring that out. Oh, so... Adjust okay. that on there. I just used an Allen key. I don't know if you saw it. It was on, an Allen key on the back of this one here. And then once that's ready... It's a game changer, really, isn't it? It makes it, because with the modern sort of fabrics, modern sort of, uh, you know, casual yeah. wear, even, even um, smarter wear is now a lot mm. of stretchier fabrics. Yeah, no, so. no, totally. So, as I say, once it's set, just make sure that it's cutting everything off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's going to be one of those machines that you think, what can I put a ribbing on now? <laughs> what can I put this, you know what I mean? Because it's just going to be addictive, isn't it? On there. And there. Yeah, Hannah's saying something she would have avoided doing this, in the, you know, like putting a ribbing on. Now, because exactly. you measure it up to exactly what you... Oh, sorry, George. Sorry. Oh, look how easy that was, so how quickly that went Bottom on. of a jumper. Yep. On there. Um, so, the other thing... Just uh, the other thing that I can do. So that's yeah. the gilet. So this one, what they've done is they've put the ribbing around, cut down the middle and put a zip in. So you, you'd have thought it would... Uh, what, so you put the ribbing on first? Yes, and then cut, cut the middle and, then and then add the zip. zip. Brand new today, it should have been 149.99. It's a, It was supposed to be on at the birthday, it's your birthday deal, 129.99. Doesn't have to be an overlocker because we're going to show it to you on a sewing machine in a second yes. and a cover stitch machine. So what's this one then? So now, rather than putting ribbon on, I'm putting elastic inside. Oh, so, right, this is the one I'm interested yes. in. Yes. Yeah. So <coughs> in my tools, I've got oh, thank you, Michael. these guys here. So these... So I get a book then to tell me what these are for? Yes, exactly. Yeah, we, we are put, the instructions are going in with it. Good. Um... But these go on like that. And just a slight turn on these secures them. Yeah. And I've got one for the bottom one as well. I, I only put it on one side? Um, yeah, because all you want to do is guide uh, the elastic in. Right. So, again, so first of all, measure. I need to measure. Yep. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Where's that gone? There we are. Yeah. So, we're in inches. So that is going to be about 40. Right. So. Oh, I need that. Um, I need that again, that measuring tape to measure right. around the. Uh, on there. Thank you. Oh. Right. There's so many people got this in their baskets. Please, please make sure you check out. Too massive. It's too big, that. Yeah. If you do dance wear or anything, or like uh, jewels, most of our patterns have got ribbing on them and things like that. Well, a lot of our patterns got ribbing on them and things like that. If you dance wear anything, it's going to be... Or casual wear, it's fantastic. Right. So, elastic on first. I can't, I don't know, I can't figure out how this is going to work. <laughs> so, this comes up to here. So I'm going to lie that up with the blade on the machine. Yeah. Secure that in there, so that is yeah. then... Is that one underneath or right there? Yeah, I'm going to sort that out in a second. Yeah. So, there's my tiny little Allen key gone to just to oh. secure that down. There it is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> On there, and then the 
pre-guide. This isn't necessary, this pre-guide. Yeah, but it's, it's again, this is how they do it in the No, industry. no, exactly. So what you're doing is just moving the two bars underneath to the width of the elastic down it, there. Exactly. <coughs> it's all in the, in the manual, yeah. Because I don't want to cut into this elastic. No, no, exactly. I just want to cut the fabric around yeah. it. Yeah. So, now that's all on. Fabric around there like right. that, but I want to put it on the other way around because this <coughs> is on the inside. Not oh, the okay, outside. right. So what you can do just to secure it in there is get it up there, foot down, needle down. Yeah. Now that's secured, and then I'm just going to bring this out so the elastic meets the material. Right. Like that. Mm -hmm. That's all in there nice. Make sure I've got every part around there. Oh. Elastic around there as well. And then we're away. So it doesn't matter if the fabric comes over a little bit more than the elastic. Okay, so you're not cutting the elastic. The elastic's staying flush with the blade. I've set this up so the elastic stays flush, flush with the blade. Yeah, yes. brilliant. And so we're attaching the fabric to the elastic. Yes. This really is a, like a, um, a, an industry technique, isn't it, this one? I get, yeah, exactly. It's that automatic side of it. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people ask if you can do uh, necklines, waists, anything like that. For cuffs, it can help guide it, but you don't, you can't put a cuff around this, but we'll show you it can help guide it in. in. Sewing machines, overlockers, cover stitches, everything. Anything on the same, anything that's up to eight and a half inches wide. And not brand specific either, no. Thank you, got mine, says Sue, West Sussex. <laughs> <coughs> you're all going to love it because you're going to get addicted to it, I can tell you now. So that's on there. Like that. Right. All fully attached. Oh, oh. That's that bit on there. So again, it doesn't really matter because I can just go over that bit again that I did miss. Yeah. So I want to make sure it's right. And you've got to remember, poor old George is working on the weirdest of angles on this. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is all going to be hidden away anyway. Yeah. And then that is on there. Right. In there. Yeah. And then this is where the sewing machine comes Oh, out. OK. So if I turn that in... Yeah, I'll show you above the table. There you go. There you yeah, go. Sorry. So what you're doing is you're turning it in like that, but yeah. then when you put it on a sewing machine, you're then going to strap it over there and you're going to stitch a line of stitching yeah. along here to make your casing. Yeah. So you don't use that. You use your overlocker for attaching the elastic there. Then you put it on your sewing machine and you can stitch. We'll, we'll show you that now. We'll go to the sewing machine. Yeah, now. yeah. Oh, one That's already done. That's the finished product. So, yep. yeah. And you can see just how... Even. Even. And way. also, it's none of that getting a, getting a safety pin and pulling it through and then it's not always even and things like that. This is evenly spaced through all, all the fabric. Because if you think that and that are flat, flush to each other there because of the machine, because the way line, it's just brilliant, isn't it? Well done if you got yours. Right. There's double the amount of checked out in baskets as well, so please be careful. Right, so shall we move on? Or do you want to show something else on the overlock? Um, so the neckline would be the last thing on the Okay, let's do the, the neckline. Let's do the neckline. Yeah. And then we can get okay. That. So yeah. for necklines, what I want to do is adjust these arms on here. So, yes. Uh, these two need to come off. On there. And then I don't use the bottom ones. And then I'm going to bring these. Can you see what he's doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah right into the machine, can we see? And I can lift this actually up. Oh, so uh, okay. And you get all these tools to help you with it. Yes, yeah. they all come in included with it as well. 
Message on my bottom. Can't wait to play. Thank you so much. This will make my sewing easier from Michelle in Worcestershire. Will, won't it, Michelle? It's brilliant. No, I've, ne I've worked in the industry for years and years and years and never, ever seen it. And when you think of all the dance costumes I've had to do in the past. Yeah. Well, th I think this is a relatively new invention, even in the industry. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, but it's, it's calling me old now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's his extra hands. Hannah says it's like having an extra pair of hands, isn't it? So I'm just going to bring that up close to the back there. And so on a sewing machine, I can bring this even closer, but it is obviously on the overlocker. Eh? You're just trying to get it as close as possible. Yeah. Like that. Right. And then, so, necklines. What do you need now? Got me sample. Okay, neckline. So what I do have, I don't think I brought them through with me, but um, what I would normally do for the seam on the neckline to keep that at the side on the ribbing, yeah. I might just um, use a quilter's clip in the corner Would there. you like one? Uh, if you've got one. Just a little one, please. I've said that now, aren't they? On, uh, oh. That's what I can do it with that. Jimmy, well done, Jimmy. Jimmy doesn't even work here, look. <laughs> that one Lovely, right. that is the one that I've been using, so. Oh, Jimmy, have you nicked it? Did you how you knew what it was? <laughs> All right, so so you've put the neck, you put the neck on there. Yeah. Have we measured that to that then? Yes, yeah, so this basically when I when I do them, you don't need to exactly the same length around the neckline. Again, you want it that little bit smaller yeah. to to Like you would be if you were just saying it normally on a sewing machine. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So that goes around like that. Uh, as a retired seamstress, I would have loved this incredible design. Well done, says Judy in Somerset. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll get one for home, Judy. For your PE kit. So what I would do is, I've just got my fold line here, but I'd match that up with the seam on the, on the ribbing. Yeah. Clip that in. For some reason, I feel like I'm at the dentist's. That kind of, oh, right. that, that kind of like, I open wide, I'm just coming in now. It's like being at the dentist. <laughs> oh no, I'm, I've got a sore throat. So bring that in there. And then all I need to do is just what? Oh, so now we're doing this differently. Yes. Because we're sewing the underneath bit rather than the top bit. Exactly. Right, okay. So all I want to do is just make sure that, so I'm actually looking at the foot on here to make sure that the ribbing is going on easily, the yeah. neck, the, the webbing for the neck. And keep the fabric rolled out straight. Oh, no, 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 it would be really awkward because this is like, uh, so when you've got a flat bed, this is like when you haven't got a, a free arm because you're having to do it like that, but it's taking the underneath one through. I'm guessing we're not getting good. Yeah, you are. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Charlie says, oi. <laughs> <laughs> so again, just feeding it round. Oh, Judy does hand stitching now, but she's tempted. <laughs> match up and then we've got that all evenly put in yeah yeah give it good the, steam press give it got a lovely press. good steam iron uh, <laughs> and and then I can use the cover stitch to go around it again just to keep to do the top down. stitching exactly yeah exactly yeah, all the sewing machine can be used yeah 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 yeah, yeah. thread so that's... And you'd use, would you use this to do that, that with the, the top stitching and the cover stitching? Or would you yes, do certainly on the same machine. On the overlocker, again, I use this front just to help the, the fabric round. Keep Brilliant. It, keep it round there. Okay, message. What machine is best to use it on? I'm thinking of setting it up to use on just one machine. Thank. Oh, it's Michelle. Butch says hello. I know which Michelle that one is. Uh, which, would, if you put it on one machine, I know why she's saying that, and I'm sure she won't mind me saying this, because she does, she can't do, she's got, um, 
something wrong with her back here, so she can't be doing lifting and everything all mm. the time if Butch isn't there. So which machine would it be best set up on all the time? Um, Depends on what you're making, Michelle. Generally. Depends what you're making. Yeah, but so, overlocker, so but then if you're going to... Yeah, if you're doing the elastic in the top of your... Yeah. Cause you know those comfy leggings you make for yourself, Michelle? Yeah. You'll need to use it on the same to machine. To be honest, you could do it on the same machine all the time. Oh, the whole thing. Obviously, I've attached this with the overlocker, but there's no, me there's no yeah. reason why... And also, the fact the that not these stretch fabrics don't fray. So it's not like you've got to finish them off with the overlocker, is Yes. It? Uh, hi, guys. I'm the demo. After attaching the elastic band, you attach the machine to the sewing machine. Yes, Alison. We're going to show that in a second. So once you've done it here, on here, you then take it over to your machine, put that on. Turn, we're going to show you how to do it. Turn it over and then machine it round. My voice is getting worse, isn't it? <clears throat> right. So is that overlocker done now, then? That we're, yeah. Yeah. Onto the machine. Right. OK. Let me move that to one side. That to one side. So right, I, okay. I've got another one here, which is set to the size of the same. Oh, machine. okay, perfect. Okay, so what you've done is you've narrowed it at here, and yeah. you've done that by un, uh, Allen keying there and sliding them in. Exactly. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. And then you, uh, oh, this is how close you can get with the same machine with the free arm on there. Oh, wow. Like that. Okay, so are we staying with right? We're staying with the Wayliner, are we for now? <clears throat> the sewing machine is the Juki DX3. DX3. Yeah. Yes. But but it's not, it's not brand specific. You can use this on any of your machines. Exactly. But uh, they would prefer to use it on a Juki. <laughs> right. Right. So that's on it. So I need my that one. Yeah. So that turns in. Can you watch? Yeah, I just said how much time I've got left. Don't worry, just keep going. You've got ages. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, you've got ages. You've got ages. Okay, Alan Key. All right, I'll, I'll slow. What do you need now? Um, Alan Key, big Alan Key's rings. That's it. Love. You get all these bits with it. So, I just need to adjust this out. Yeah, let me just see if you've got any questions on here as well. Oh, here you go. Joanne says the machines from Gary and George are brilliant. Um, she's got, oh, blimey, she's bought nearly everything. Uh, Jenny Jackson says, this is posh. I bet Mr. Adam Brooks has this on his shopping list. <laughs> Jenny Jackson. Are you at Sewing for Pleasure then this week? Yes, we are, yes. And you'll be there as well. I'm there on Thursday. That's when told me it was this week. And the ones I turned up next Thursday. <laughs> on there, so just... So now that's tight on there. I can just sew two channels or as much as I like, really, to, to sew. And what in. sort of stitch are you using? Just a straight stitch. Just a straight full straight stitch. Because it's stretched out like Oh this. yeah, because this is the most it will go to. So it's, you're not you're gonna you're never gonna stretch the stitches more than Beyond this. Beyond it, exactly, yeah. yeah. So then uh, the guide I'm gonna be doing is this. Better. That's the right tension. It's just using the edge of the foot. Yeah. So once that's all set up straight, I would probably, when I'm doing it at home, I'd have this one further in and that one further out. Right. So okay. I'm a bit. Oh yeah, because you're machine. uneven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh yeah, because you can't get close to the machine now. But yeah. So oh, let's just do it by hand. So uh, I'm going to move the needle over as well, just to sew right along that edge. Okay. And that just that's nice and quiet. <laughs> Bring that round. Again, what's the maximum? Uh, because is there is there a maximum? That, well, this way there's no maximum, is there? Because you're not even going into the throat space. Yes, it's just for the, um, oh, sorry, I, I went off there. It's just for the um, size of the platform yeah. for it to sit on. Yeah. So eight and a half inches is the widest it goes. Yes. Yeah. 
Well, on this one, it doesn't make any difference because it's where your the machine goes to eight, the way liner goes to eight and a half because the machine's only actually three inches wide, so it doesn't matter. But the way liner goes to eight and a half, the base of it goes to eight and a half. Okay, you don't, you don't need to worry about the throat space on when you're using it here because the throat space is the bit from the needle to the base there. You don't need to worry about the throat space here. All you need to know is that it goes eight and a half inches that way. So throat space on your sewing machine doesn't matter at all. It's the base of your sewing machine. So I'm just going to do two lines of stitching to yeah. make sure this is in nice and tight. So what I... Probably, I could probably stretch this out a little bit more. Yeah. Um, just do that on the back one. There. Oh. On And the other thing I can do on the sewing machine is also show it, sew it the other way around. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to sew perfectly over that overlock stitch, I could do that as well. Take it off there. And then, again, that's that. Brilliant. Factory quality. But, it's, but what's brilliant about it, look, on the inside here, everything's finished off. Your elastic's all caught and everything, and so you haven't got any of that. And also, when you're doing, doing it with a uh, safety pin, it can twist, it can pull. This way, the elastic's not yeah. going anywhere. It's in that channel. Oh, well, it's not even a channel, is it? It's in there it's fixed. Stitched it's, in. it's stitched in. But it's you not can leave that channel again and run the cord through there. Oh, yes. Okay. Right, okay, so that you've done that exactly the same there. Yeah. You've done your line of stitching there, you've done your line of stitching there, but you've done, just done buttonholes, so the channel is free for you to put something through. So if you didn't want elastication... Well, this is both. Yeah, that's what I mean, you could, but you could get rid... If you just wanted a pull tie, Absolutely. you could do that you as well. Leave that channel yeah. open and just have that yeah. pull tie in there, yeah. Brilliant. Fantastic, okay. Uh, there's so many people got this in their basket. I mean, loads of people have checked out, but loads and loads and loads of you got it in your basket. Launch price, remember, $129.99. It's a birthday price. should be $149.99 on three-way split pay. It's incredible, isn't it? I've never, ever seen one of these before. Never, ever seen one before. So on here, as I can get really close because... Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's what you're saying about arm. having... The, on that time then, this one, you had this one much further away, didn't you? You could get really nice and close. Yes. Right, what do you, do you so going back to that one? neckline, let's just finish it off. Again, you can finish off with the um, cover stitch, with the yeah, overlocker. Which we'll come to in a second. Yeah. Going around it with the... Do you want to get the cover stitch demo with the wayliner next, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, stitch in the ditch. Yep. It does come with a stitch in the ditch foot as well. So, this work... Oh, I went a bit... Oh, a bit of yeek, ...galloped yeah. off there, yeah. So, let's just slow that down. A bit faster than that. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, this works really well with some of the accessories as well. So, putting that um, elasticating foot in... Works really well with the compensating feet. Oh, yeah. Um, the, the guides on the cover stitch come in, come in handy as well when you're doing the bottom of the hem. Yeah. Also, what, what Hannah was just saying, which is very true, is you've got so much more control because the way liners holding it in place. So it is like a friend is holding it and you're doing the stitching, isn't it, really? That's it. Yes. Because otherwise, if you didn't have this, You'd be like having to pull and stitch, pull and stitch, pull and stitch. Whereas this way, you all you're doing is concentrating on your line of stitching. You said concentrating now. Look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on that one. And then that's that stitch round there. As I say, it can do that on a cover stitch as well. Yeah, which we'll show you the cover stitch in a second, yeah. Um, and secured it. So Brilliant. It's, it's all the machines to finish that off. Lovely. Right, so now what we need to do is, have you, got one, have you got one of those lined up for this to sit on? I'll put that on the overlocker one. Okay. So, shall we move this one out of the way? Yeah. 
I'll try to take the whole thing. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Lovely. Yeah. This is what you're buying. This is it. This is the way liner here. Right. So. Onto the cover. So this one, do we put this one in the same way that we put the overlocker in? Does this one go in sideways? Yes, yeah, yeah. They all fit on, on the base. Yeah. Um, like this. But this is where, so this, how, how, but how wide's that there then? So that is, uh, I haven't measured it. We got no, 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 but. So that's 10 and a half inches. So we fitted a 10 and a half inch machine in there now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, deep. Yes. Yeah. Depth wise, it can go, yeah. yeah. Yeah, even so, we've tried it on the extra large overlockers as well, the real big ones. Yeah. They, they fit really nice. Oh, okay, yeah. perfectly. So anything, any machine you've got, not just the Britannia one from today. So if we bought one of the Juki air threaders, would that work on here as well? Yes. Yeah. Right. So now there's the cover stitch machine, which we normally use. Well, we're going to see. So for hemming. Yeah. Um, so just run that around there. And what I just want to drop these down. So I can drop these down so that they're in line with the base. Right. Um, and that will just ensure it feeds on a little bit nicer. But I just need okay. my little spanner need? that comes with it. Spanner. Move that out. I've got a hang on, what's in pair of tweezers. Tweezers. There was a span. There were there several were. spanners on yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're not muddled in here. Oh, I got one. Okay. Got, they're both under my machine. Oh, your fault. <laughs> so let's just drop that down. So oh, so it's level. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it just makes it that much easier. Yeah, yeah of course. Um, so okay. for those of you who don't know, we'll go through what the cover stitch machine does earlier. But basically, when you hem, you don't put a ribbing. You're just hemming a sweatshirt or something like that. You turn it up and the cover stitch machine will do a straight stitch on one side and kind of an overlocking stitch on the other. It doesn't cut it off but it's stretchy as well. So uh, normally, again, you have to do this, and so, this, and so, this, and so. When you've got this in place. You just put it round, and because it, it's held against this as well, it keeps that fold nice. Yeah, and and that, that's the thing, when you're pulling it, you can't always find this little bit, because you're sewing from the top side, you're not sewing where the seam allowance is, so you have to keep your eye on where the seam allowance is. And this is where as well I can put this collar on there so I can run it up against that collar. Oh, do you know, this is brilliant on, on, on the cover stitch, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it really, I mean, it really comes into its own on this one. I mean, it's brilliant on the overlocker and brilliant on the sewing machine, but really, really comes into its own. Yeah. On the cover stitch. Yeah. Amazing how much quicker you do it as well once that once this way line is in place, isn't it? It's, it's yeah because it's doing that work for yeah, you yeah, again yeah, 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 stretching exactly. it yeah. Okay, take that out and then that's my dress finished. Oh, it's a dress, is it? This okay. one? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little little rah rah skirt. This yeah, one, it's, it? it's a skirt, yeah. not a dress. So, so this is what I'm saying about, uh, are we in the right place, Charlie, if you to see? No, because I need to show you both sides. So I need to show you this and this. Okay, there. There you go. Look, so there's your outside, and then there it's all finished off on the inside. It's brilliant. I mean, the cover stitch is brilliant anyway, but that has taken so much of the stress out of it because the, the way line has taken all of the... I'd say that again. Everything in the right place for you, yeah, exactly. Especially as you can lower it down so it's even Stevens and everything. Mm. Right. So, Hannah. Yep. 
129.99 should be 149.99. Special introductory price. It's on split pay, three-way split pay. So does that mean it? Uh, well, it's a special introductory price that should have been on for the birthday. Oh dear, my voice. <laughs> uh, 129.99, three-way split pay, no interest charge whatsoever. First time we've had it on, it's come from the industry and it's something that Franklin's have made uh, because they saw it being used in the industry and thought, what a brilliant idea for a domestic machine. It doesn't matter if it's a sewing machine, an overlocker or a cover stitch and it doesn't matter what make it is either. Loads in basket. We're going for a very, very quick break now. Check out during the break and we're going to come back and we're going to talk about the sewing machine and the cover stitch machine as well. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Eval Makitamne. I'm a patchwork and quilter. And what do I do the rest of the time? The rest of the time, I actually own and try and manage village fabrics in the town of Wallingford. How did I start my sewing and journey? Well, I've been sewing since as long as I can remember. I started out dressmaking with uh, my mum and my big sisters. And since then, I've tried my hand at most things and have finally ended up with patchwork and quilting. And I think that's probably due to one of Elner Burns' Quilt in a Day books. Let me assure you, you don't make a quilt in a day. But it's been a passion of mine for the last 25 years and I'm still at it, so there's hope for us all. So what do I enjoy sewing? Well, I like to do a bit of most things, to be honest, but my favourite thing is anything to do with my Japanese fabrics. So as you can see, we've moved to a different part of the shop and here we are in another of my favourite corners. And I really enjoy combining the lovely Japanese fabrics with some hand stitching and um, hand quilting. So I've moved to the permanent Christmas room at my shop here and as you hopefully can tell this is quite a large shop here so most of my time is uh, involved in keeping this running successfully so i don't really have a lot of time for claims to fame so what i suppose i could say um is that my claim to fame is actually managing to manage john scott um, I'm sure he'll take that the way it's meant, so um, love you lots, John. My top tip is that children's colouring in books are a really valuable resource whenever you're crafting. You've got nice, clear outlines that can become templates for your applique work, or you can transfer them and use them as quilting patterns. I can't draw, but I can create lots of things using bits and pieces from things like children's colouring in books. Give it a try. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Sewing Street is now available on Virgin Media, channel number 754. Okay, um, so uh, uh, I know you're going to wonder why I've got an L on the machine now, but we just want to show you something. <clears throat> Lots of people have messaged in saying about how big can their machine be and how heavy can their machine be. The big dookie is a no-no because the throat space is... Too big, it's, yeah. And the 782 is too big for it, right? But this is the 580, which is the same chassis as the 680 that I've got. And this is exactly eight and a half inches from here to here. And this is perfect for it. That's the biggest you can go on this version of the Wayliner. Now, I presume if lots of people start saying, well, I want it for a bigger machine, then it's up to you we to can... talk to your factory about <laughs> making bigger ones, isn't yeah. it? 
but for, the, for us, because it's brand new, right? But that's how big. Now, also people are worried about the stability of it, right? First of all, I'll take this off now, but the, ta the table move, not the, not the um, oh, sorry, Michael, there you go. Um, this, look, the table moves rather than the actual, let me, not the way liner. It's a really, really sturdy, hefty, it's going to carry a lot of weight, isn't it? It is, yes, indeed, yeah. It's um, uh, designed, as that is, it's, because it's come from the industry, it is designed for, to put industrial machines on yeah. there so, as well. So actual, um, yeah, full metal bodied machines sit on this. Yeah. So uh, domestic is not a... So, that, so, so don't worry about it not being stable on your table. It's also got this whole rubberized bit here. So it's not going to slip and it's also not going to damage your table either. Yeah. So that's important. Do, oh, does it arrive like this or do I have to put it together? Uh, so all you have to do is put the arms on. Right. So the arms are built like this. There's two screws on each arm. And generally what I do is tip it up like that, put the arms on like that. Okay. And then it's ready to go. And all, all the, the, I use all of these the tools to put it together with. Yes, yeah. exactly. Brilliant. I've got another question. Can you please tell me what is the biggest distance? <laughs> Sorry, it's just shouting. Is it? Can you tell me which is the biggest distance around a hem yes, that can sure. be held by... Oh, brilliant question, Christine. So let's just take this out. And what I'll do is I'll open it right up yeah. and measure around. Let me just move that up. Oh, there you go. Uh, got oh, the, you want the uh, tape measure? Oh. Tape measure, yes, please. Here it is. So this can go out to there. Oh, yes, because that's a good question. Because if you're making... Um, a curvaceous lady's uh, dress, a, a skirt, you want to put a waistline band on it. Oh, wow, it slides right the way out. Oh, yes. And then you've got that on there. And you've actually got a little bit more by moving oh, yeah, yeah, out yeah, yeah, as yeah. well. Oh, can you reach? You want me to go? Oh, no, there you go. So. The tape measure's not going to be long enough. <laughs> 54 inches. But, but as you or say, you, you can add another six. two inches or three inches total so, to that. Yeah, easy. So, yeah. yeah. Do, do you want me to do that? No, 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 no. So that was how many? 54. So say 57. 57 inches finish, finish stretch, which yeah. is a lot. Thank yeah. you very much indeed. Right, okay, so we've, we'll go back to the wayliner, but we need to talk about the other machines that we use today. So, the sewing machine itself, now that was so beautifully and quiet when yeah. we just used it. What is the DX range then? So the DX3, and this does include the extension table as well today. Oh yes, 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 yes. Uh, which is the lovely large te table you might have seen with the DX7. Yeah. Um, this one we, it's called the dressmaker's machine. So it comes with the dressmaker's uh, feet, Buttonhole foot. Um, it comes with five feet, the zip foot, um, blind uh, hem. Can you see that? Do you want me to take it out, Charlie? There you go. So, so what feet have I got there? Uh, the zip foot, the blind hem foot, the overlocking foot, and the um, uh, pattern stitching foot as well, the decorative foot. And then the accessories, seam ripper, um, tool in there, and the... Um, Spool cap. Thread, spool cap, yep. thread stopper. Yep. And, the, and then in here as well, you've got the industrial buttonholing foot. And what's this for here? That is for measuring the size of the buttonhole. What, that? Yeah, it plugs into the machine. So wow. you know, um, when you are dealing with those tricky fabrics, nothing gets in its way. Um, sorry, um, but that... Um you wouldn't expect something like this. And, and I'm not being offensive, but for a £1,245 machine, that's a really, really, lux that's a luxury, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is, yeah. Um, this is the starting price of the machine, with of the Juki machine, with this buttonhole. Yeah. On there. Oh, no, no, only because my I, I've got an L on the 680, and, that's the, and I haven't got one of these, I haven't got that on mine, do you know no, what I mean? No, that's where Juki, again, the um, reason why we got involved with Juki is because they are big in the industry. Um, and so um, this is how industrials do it. Rather than just sitting on top of the fabric, it clamps the fabric. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Brilliant. And it's a nice sturdy one. So many of them are like quite, th it's this bit is a bit flim now. flimsy, yeah. isn't it? Fall apart and everything. And yeah. what else is in there? Uh, spare needles. <coughs> yep. Um, and a spare um, uh, spool holder. Yep. So you can do twin needle. Brilliant. 
Okay, so what's so special about this machine then? So, um, what it is, uh, it also comes with a really nice foot control. Okay. With a heel back function on there. And what's the heel back for then? Uh, so you can set it to do different things. It's actually multi-function, but you can oh, okay. set it to cut the threads, um, stitch on the spot, reverse, half a stitch at a time. A and, but you can set that on the machine so it knows what you want to do. Yes, Brilliant. yes, exactly. Um, and it really depends if you're doing dressmaking or quilting, you'll have different... Of course, yeah, 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 yeah. So um, the main th feature of Juki's sewing machines is their industrial feeding system. Um, so rather than um, moving elliptically like a domestic one, an industrial feed goes round in a square. Yeah. So it grips fabric better, whether it's on light, slippery, or heavy duty weight fabrics. So there's four layers of denim in there. Uh -huh. And when you're saying about being at quiet, it doesn't, doesn't change when you're going over the thicker fabrics. So all I've got in here is a 90 needle. Yeah. Oh, what? And that's not good. Do I not need a walking foot then? No, no. A lot of people will find that with this sewing machine, they don't use, need a walking foot for it. And how did that, and I didn't even need to jump. What's that, that plastic thing that uh, Be Becky uh, Frost uses, like a jumper lump? You know, yes. normally when you go over there, you need one of those plastic things. To raise the yeah. back of the foot up. Again, there's all the, Drew, you've really thought about it. They allow the foot to tilt up and over to that angle. But that did, you wouldn't have known, if I wasn't looking at it, you wouldn't have known that you changed into, like li just listening to it as you sewed through it, it sounded the same going through these here as it did through all of those yes. layers there. Yeah. Right. And then straight onto the, red, the, the extreme, the other extreme. Can the wayliner be used for shearing? Shearing? Shearing panels. Uh, around the waist? Well, the thing is, the thing is, if you're shearing, you normally put the elastic in your bobbin, don't you? And then just pull it as you're going along. Oh, I say, <coughs> I see. So what they're saying is, well, no, because mm, I have to think about that one. Mm. Because when you're shearing, you put the elastic in your bobbin, your thread here, you pull it, and as it goes through, it cinches it up. So if it's full out like that, oh, that's a good question. Mm. One that I don't think you're the answer as to. As long as you're working on the round, it was yeah, straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, them. yeah. It, you'd have to be working on the round and not on the straight. Yeah. 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 Could you do... But it would pull it out, pull the fabric out. Yes. And give you that. But maybe you could do it like you did with the zip. You could do it in the round. And then cut it And then through. cut it through. Yeah. And there are your two side seams there. Yeah. So in other words, yes, we think it would. Yes. Good thinking. Another um, thing that one of our um, ladies said it was, it's really handy for is bags. Um, because and you can run the bags around the outside. And, and uh, half the time you're holding on to it. And, yeah. Yeah. And we'll talk it, about the way line. Because it goes underneath. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you just showed us a bit of yeah. shift and we weren't watching. Yeah. On there. And then what I've actually got on the um, uh, front of the machine is a switch. And can we see in there? Oh. Oh, no, hang on. It's on your oh. finger right now. So, yeah. Can you see it? So. If I take this out there. Yeah. Well, hang on, he's going to try and come above. Would you, can you see it from above, do you think? No. OK, let me twist it. Uh, I'm just wondering. Oh, hang on, we've got Michael. Just tell us what the switch is, and then we'll try and get Michael. The switch is here, so yeah. it closes up the hole in the, in the sewing machine there. So, and what does that do? So um, as you're doing finer fabrics, quilting, um, cottons, um, having that open like that allows fabric to get drawn underneath. Can you just do the switch now? Can they see from there? Yeah, perfect. Well done. Thank you, Michael. So, so what's so, it to do? What's it do? So it closes up. They call it the jelly bean hole there, right. which you need for the zigzag. Yeah, of course. Oh, oh, so it's like instead of changing your foot plate. Yes, you need exactly. Plate. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, you so it turns it into a, into a straight stitch professional finish. Yes. Without taking the whole of the foot plate. Exactly. Out. And then also what it does is it recognises that that's on. It won't let me do another stitch. Only the stitches that that's for. Yes, exactly. So, so you put it back or are you leaving it on as I, that? I'm leaving it that as that. And then I'm just going to run through this organza again. But you um, need the my, foot. My foot. <laughs> Is that the back here? <laughs> it's behind you. <laughs> so, pop that back in there. Oh, 
properly. So we've now put the switch across, turned it to like a professional straight stitch machine. It will only let us do the straight yeah. stitch, the stitch to go with that foot, exactly. and with that plate. And so it's really good for when you're quilting and you're coming to the edges of uh, corners of triangles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or under. It's good for all sorts of silks as well. But a lot of people, a lot of um, patchworkers only do straight stitch. Yes. And they leave, the, well, I can't talk about the juki, but, but they leave their other needle plate on because that way it doesn't swallow the fabric. When you're working with twinkle shift things like that, the amount of times you go on a machine and you set off and it goes, and it's all gone through. To exactly. The yeah. And you've got, yeah, you got a mess on your hands. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a message from somebody who has this machine. I had a DX3 for about six years. I make clothes, bags, quilts, curtains, and it never struggles. I love it. From Julia in Hampshire. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. Uh, it is gorgeous, but it's so quiet, isn't it? So, um, stitch-wise, what kind of stitches have we got on here? So, we've got um, oh, 15 different types of buttons. I'll just, I'll just turn yeah. that round to you. <laughs> yeah. Have you got that? Can you see there? Uh, or do you need to go further? Perfect, lovely. So, yeah. stitches, they're in so sections. Nine utility stitches. So, these are the stitches you're going to use the most of. Yeah. Um, things like your stretch stitch. Um, applique stitch, um, blind hem stitch are in this section. And how do I choose the stitches I need? So um, if I wanted, for example, uh, one of the decorative stitches, yeah. so if I wanted to do uh, the leaf here, number nine, right? I'd go to this section on here. Well, first I would press this button. So it's one, two, three button. Yeah. Ah, oh, but it's on a straight stitch mode. So it's oh, no, so it's not letting you do anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, brilliant machine. Because it knows. How does it know? Do you know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> so we're back to normal now. On there, so yeah. yeah. So, uh, okay. Right. So press that one. Oh. No. One, one, two, two three. three. Yeah. Go across to the decorative stitch. How does it know? How does it know? Oh, hang on, though. How, how did it know it wanted to go to the leaf, the decorative stitches? Oh, because that's section three. Yes. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Exactly. Yeah. And then select the leaf, and then it will go on to there. And so it's there, so it tells you that stitch nine, yes. uh, shows you the pattern, shows you how big it's going to be. Can I alter the size of it if I want to? You can indeed. Yep, yeah, you can increase the length and the yeah. width. And um, also, uh, you can increase the whole size of the pattern whilst keep it in proportion. Right. By going onto the settings. Uh, some of them... Some of them aren't designed to. It's more the actually no, that's more the applique. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Oh, like like if you're doing a um, uh, uh, blanket stitch or something like that. Yes. Yeah. And the um, oh, I forgot these these sort of stitches. Yeah. As well. You can elongate the pattern. Satin. Um, are they satin stitches? Satin. Yeah. 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 Well, actually, what I, I can do is I can show you because one of the yeah. really nice features of this of the DX range is the mitered corners. So um, if I select so this stitch here, number 74, uh, in the decorative section, 74. Oh. Now this does. Oh, no oh, foot. No foot. Put that <coughs> mitered corner so if I start off sewing here make that a little bit wider oh you can change it while you're going yes as well and then if I press this one it's going to bring that corner down for me So that's given me a right angle. Oh, wow, that's really, can, hang on, I'm just going to, uh, where are we, Charlie, there? Oh, sorry, I thought I had to move. Right, there you go. Look at that evenness of that satin stitch, it's brilliant, mm. isn't it? And then I can elongate that as well. So right. So if I go into the settings, go on to the moon. Yeah. And you've got five different, this shows you in the manual as well. Which yeah, yeah, angle yeah. It puts that. So 
go for leaves, stars, things with that tighter angle on it. Right. You can change the... Oh, wow. <coughs> OK, brilliant, let's move on. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just on the time. That's on. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, that's fantastic. That's such high quality of satin stitching. OK, right. So that's the same machine, the DX3. That's the same machine. Couple of those in baskets. Right, uh, cover stitch machine very quickly before we go to the overlocker. Oh, 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 sorry about that, yeah. <laughs> so, cover stitch machine. Yeah. Um, it's a four thread cover stitch machine, so it can be used with three needles, two needles or one needle. Right. Um, it can be used with three needles, uh, two needles wide or two needles narrow. Right. So depending on what sort of effect you want to have. At the moment, it's got the wayliner. You don't get the wayliner with it, obviously. It's just on the wayliner. Um, can we, do you want to twist it around just to show the front? Yes, sorry, yeah. yeah. So we can do all of those different stitches. Yes, yeah. exactly, yeah. Um, so, and, and single needle stitching as well, which is a chain stitch, which is, again, just really good um, when you're doing T-shirts, when you're attaching something, that single needle, just to hold things down, but still have that massive amount mm -hmm. of stretch in it. As so well. why, what, what, who would buy a cover stitch machine? What's it basically for? Anyone who is um, making clothing, making dresses, um, make, or dress making, um, and wants to use more modern fabrics, more stretchy fabrics. Yeah, which, uh, which we're yeah. seeing more and more about, yeah. Exactly, yeah, because this is what they would use in the factory to finish off the hem. Um, uh, traditionally, people try and copy it with a uh, sewing machine, but yep. you can't. No, 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 and you've got that stretch, I think. And why is it only £399? Uh, because it's £100 off today. Um, so it's usually... £112 off, because you get oh, thread, thread as well. As well, yes. Oh, that's brilliant. And then is it easy to thread up? Oh, hang on, that's going to be annoying. Is it easy to thread up? Really, really simple. So on the um, cover stitch, you've only got the um, uh, one loop on the underneath. So literally, the thread just comes straight down, straight across, and in the looper. Yeah. Which pops Thumbs down out. as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and then the, what, the other three are the needle threads, yeah, obviously. Yeah, straight across, and just follow the guide, and into the needle. Has Julie Vaughan been in? Julie Vaughan wants one of these. Uh, three hundred and ninety-nine pounds, one hundred and thirty-three pounds on split pay. You are getting twelve thousand meters of thread, so you're saving one hundred and twelve pounds there. And it's on three-way split pay. Three-way split pay. Right, yo. Now we need to go back to the overlocker and the wayliner, please. Yeah. Overlocker first. Let me move. Overlocker this on the overlocker. First. Overlocker first on its side. Yeah. Over half the stock has gone. Over half the stock has gone. That price for an overlocker is incredible, isn't it? Even I got it wrong earlier. £299 on three-way split pay. Uh, and you're getting thread, saving £72. Um, it's just a brilliant machine, uh, and uh, I can't believe how affordable it is. Yeah. And we've had people messaging and saying how brilliant it is as well. So you, you know what I mean? You're thinking, maybe thinking, <coughs> oh, but the Juki one's £1,400 or whatever. You still get, that's got all the added things you'd expect from a machine for £1,400. This does the job and does it well. Yes, it does. Yeah, exactly. As I say, we get over loads of machines, but this one, it's, it's going between the extreme levels of fabric. Um, so from fleece down to jersey without having to do any adjustments. Yeah. Um, and then that rolled hem as well. It's another thing that shows the quality of an overlocker. To the jersey. Yep. It's a really beautiful even stitch as well on this one. And I'll turn it through the other way because of the seaming of it is fantastic as well. Oh, oh. <laughs> brought my ends, but right down to there without changing anything. Yep. As well, oh, it's still on the rolled hem setting, so it shouldn't be on that setting that either. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. Uh, that's two hundred and ninety-nine pounds. And now we've got to go back to the star of the show because it was a launch today, brand new. You may never, I'd never even heard of it before. It's called a wayliner. This is what you actually get. This is the actual uh, device here. 
uh, the Franklin's uh, team, they work a lot with the industry, and you know, industrial uh, dressmakers and factories and things and machines. They saw that they used this in the industry and had this designed and made in a factory to be for a domestic machine. You could put a sewing machine, you could put an overlocker, you put a, a, a cover stitch on it, uh, and it works brilliant on all of them. Should be 149.99. Uh, introductory is 129.99, and you got it on three-way split pay. Do you want to shove the overlocker on it and show us on the overlocker on it? So I might need some of my uh, fabrics back though. Yeah, yeah, you can have all this back. <laughs> so, um, so you've got the adjustable arm on the front and back. Um, so you measure the size of your fabric um, the, around the waist on there. And then if I just turn this back, uh, face to face, so like that. What it does is it stretches the ribbing, the elastic to the fabric, or it just keeps everything taut as well. So you don't necessarily have it's to. It's such a it. simple, and I don't mean this rudely about the Frank, you know, but it's such a simple device, isn't it? It, it is, yes. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. So that goes around there. Quite happy that's stretched on there. Yeah. All around, and then as I say, once that's on, I can just nip it just to make sure it's nice, nice and, and taut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that. Bring the overlocker across slightly. Now, will it fit any overlocker size? We have tested it on massive overlockers, yeah. and it fits. So whether you've got uh, this Britannia one, whether you've got one of the Dukey air threaders, the big Dukey air threaders, yeah. they all the fit Elners, on it. The the Beninas, the baby locks. Oh, you really have tried it on we, it? We have done, yeah. We were at a show um, last weekend and we were taking it around to different stands and yeah. just having a look at it. And literally, I can just let that go and it just, again, so, as I say, you do get these little cuffs on there. So, if I wanted to stop that from slipping that way, yeah. I can just slip it. These? Right yeah, exactly. So, these just go on. They, you, you nip them on with an Allen key, and yeah. that will just give me an edge to ride up it. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Thing is, I'm sure once you get used to it, like, you, you're not going to need those. You can, you're going to be able to guide it. Anyway. It's, yes. all neatly all the way around uh, I, oh, oh I'll just no no I'll, I don't mind don't mind don't mind uh, I, there's over 30 people still got this in their basket we saw way way more than that but 30 people have got it in their baskets remember it's an introductory price of 129.99 should be 149.99 uh -uh. no it's not it's not even sore it's just that stupid pollen <laughs> I'll just take extra uh, uh, extra uh, uh, what's antihistamines tomorrow I'm in every day this week as well. I'm going to be a wreck by the end of the week. Uh, anyway, um, please check out on this because it's really, really, really popular. So, again, yeah. So, attaching elastic, that's where I really use these collars to the full amount um, because I've got one on the top, one on the bottom. Yep. And that allows me to line everything up. With the blade on there, and then this this will feed the the elastic through perfectly. And then, let's say, I cut my fabric round because it's going on the inside. I uh -huh. the inside in. So needle down. Foot down, needle down, and then just. Oh, we don't. Knit that arm out. <coughs> uh, Clive's busy making elasticated trousers at the moment. He said, Can you drop one off on the way home? <laughs> and then, oh. 
Right. Oh, it actually does make a difference, doesn't it, having the, the little cuff on? The, the gu yes. Yeah. What oh, do you yeah. call it? The, the guide. Died. Yeah, the cuff. The cuff. cuff is a good name for it. Oh, I love the way we put late birthday offer, because it was meant to be here for the birthday. It's a late birthday offer. Are you going to be at the Islington show as well, then? Yes, we are. Yeah. Getting about a bit, aren't you, at the moment? <laughs> so that's on there. Like that. Yeah. And then use the sewing machine or the cover stitch to then to attach that off. in there and to get that finish that we just did earlier. Have you got lots of pairs of pyjamas at home? That yeah, my girlfriend and all sorts. Oh. <laughs> she's changing size now. I keep oh, does she? I wouldn't know why. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, you need to shout over out of time. Uh, message across the bottom. Hi, just joined. Sorry. Is this an attachment to any overlocking machine? Yes, Sandra. This is what it looks like. But it's not just overlocker, sewing machine and uh, cover stitch machines. This is what it looks like. And you, you fit your sewing machine or your overlocker or your cover stitch onto that. You don't fit it, you just sit it there. Yeah. Anything up to an eight and a half inch throat space on a sewing machine. Should be $149.99. At special introductory offer, $129.99. Comes complete as well. So all you need to do is put the arms on. Yeah. And they're easy. You get all the, you get all the tools, the, the spanners and the Allen keys and everything like that. And it comes with a full instruction uh, booklet as well. And also, um, Franklin's do have an incredible customer service team. So if you get one and you're a little bit confused by it, that you can ring the customer service team and somebody will help you, won't they? Yes. Yeah. Uh, really, really clever bit of kit. But so simple, but it's, from, it's brought from the industry into the domestic world. And it's so fantastic. It's like everyone's been saying, it's like having another pair of hands. So if you're doing elastication or like somebody mentioned, if you're doing bags, if you think of a great big bag made out of PU or something like that, you need to... It, goes all the way round and you can really, really help you out on that. So that's that $129.99. Just remind you about the overlocker before we go. Uh, a really, really good price. I was saying the wrong price at the beginning, wasn't I? 200, it's, two, I added 100 pounds, well, I'm a bit short at the moment. <laughs> 299 pounds plus you get 72 pounds worth of thread. And it's on split pay as well. Look, three way split pay, so it's under 100 pounds each month. So we'll send this to you after you've paid the first payment. So actually, what day is it today? Tuesday, is it Tuesday? Oh, you'll have it. I bet you any money you'll have this by the end of the week, because they're really good, your yeah. warehouse dispatch team, aren't they? Oh. Oh, okay, the cover stitch is now on single figure, so if you've got one in your basket, you do need to check out. You do need to check out. Right, George has been brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. People can see you at Sewing for Pleasure, Pleasure. Yep. and Islington, yep. and then we're all over the all place. Over the place. So got, all over yeah, the place. Lots of shows this year. Anyway, send our love to everyone up there. Well, we'll see you next week. Anyway. Yes. Send our love to everyone yeah, up at Frank's. Uh, don't go in. Oh, wait, do you know when you're in here next? Uh, not sure. No, no. Too busy for us now, isn't he? Don't go anywhere because I've got half an hour of quilt kits, miss it, miss out. And I've got one that we haven't had in for so, so long, right? It's gorgeous, the William Morris one. And don't forget my... Uh, but that's the way line that's in there. I'll give you a recap of the iron that was new today, the Aliso iron as well. Don't go anywhere, see you in three minutes. Hi everyone, I'm Sally Ann Harrison and I am a patchwork and quilting fanatic um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol, um, but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was, I, I, I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school, but I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store 
I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a pearl thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios, studios whilst the show was on. It was really, really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with a sewing machine. I am one of the longer running um, guests now on Sewing Street. Goodness knows how that happened. Uh, but I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas, so do stick with me and follow my Sewing Street journey. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye! Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we finish broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24 seven. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. We're proud to have some of the most skilled and experienced experts in the industry. They're brought to you here every day on Sewing Street. Make sure you check out on those wayliners. They're absolutely brilliant, aren't they? Loads in baskets, absolutely loads in baskets. Right, look at this, right? Look at this, look at this. This is gorgeous. The first time we had it on air, it completely sold out. We've managed to get a few more. We've, well, I say a few. Do I mean a few? How many did we sell on the first launch? And how many have we got today? Okay, right. These are all going to go. These are all going to go today. Isn't it gorgeous? It's so simple as well. It's such a simple design. I'll get out of the way so that uh, Michael can show you the quilt properly. It's a lovely big size as well. 165 by 206. It's over two metres long. By a metre and a half wide, or over a metre and a half wide. Oh, I love it. Love it. Right, 189.99. Three-way split pay. 20, 
It's been that long. It was first on in 2022. 2024 now. At the end of the year. So, so you know. End of what? Right. What? Right. Okay. So you'd think uh, 18 months later, it would be more expensive. Fabric's more expensive. I'm more. Oh, no, I'm not more expensive. It's not since two years ago. Electricity, crew, everything, right? Box, paper. So it should be a little bit more. We're going to match the price from 18 months ago. That we sold out at 18 months ago. Oh, that's a brilliant price anyway. 159.99. 159.99. Oh, they're going already. Obviously, that's your price. Don't be waiting for another crash. That's your price. We matched the price of 18 months ago because it was November, wasn't it? So 18 months ago. Look. Oh. <laughs> she rounded up. Oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I tried to get Jimmy, but I missed. How I missed him, I don't know, but there you go. Right. So what have we got? Where's, where's the fabric? So... There's your background. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? There's your background fabric. Pure sunflower and mineral. Uh, be careful, be careful. If you'll check, <laughs> if you'll check out, I'm going to have three left at this rate. Right, so that goes there. Then, oh, these are all your squares. There's your um, Michaelmas daisy, willow bough, oak, or acorns. Um, I want to say strawberry thief, but there's no strawberries, no, no strawberry thieves in there. They've stolen. There's your strawberry thief. Oh, I love that's one of my favourites, that one there. Oh, oh there's a big strawberry thief. And then where's that? For? Oh, that oh, that's the most beautiful blue, isn't it? That's the most beautiful, gorgeous blue, that one. Yeah, here, look, it's here. So that's that blue there. And isn't it really interesting? The only thing I would do is, oh, be careful, be careful, they're flying out. Um, is the ones that have got direction, I might put the strawberry thief in the right. You know what, when you cut it out, cut it out on, the, on point. Don't need to worry about any of the others, but it's just the stra strawberry thief are all lying on their side, look like they've all died. <laughs> I just got told off for saying that. There you go. Look at all those gorgeous fabrics. Not told off, she said. Not told off. Um, it's actually really, really easy. Look, there's your blocks. There's more people got it in baskets than we've got stock of now. I know. And then what you do is you put it together like um, Janet Clare's earlier. You put it together on point like that. I look, shall I step out the way again? Because it's gorgeous. Can you imagine that on your bed? Can you imagine that on the back of your sofa? Can you imagine that? I oh, know, I can't. Well, no, it won't go in your house, Hannah. It's too classy for your house. I've never been, I wouldn't know. Part of it, I know she's got an orange futon in the upstairs spare room. Oh, well, she got, she got a lot of orange stuff. Have you been, Charlie? No, exactly. Oh, in the orange room. Listen to her. In the orange room. Oh, got DJ Dex in that room now. I bet your neighbours love you. Hundred, they're going again. Blimey, they, they, you've got a high turnover of people in that house on the other side. Oh, no. What the car? 159.99. Split pay. Uh, 53, that'll be something, won't it? Beautiful. Look at all those gorgeous fabrics. Check out, check out, check out. Loads of you there. Loads of you there. That's a bit worrying. <laughs> oh, no. They're moving out, though, are they? 
Beautiful. Look at all those gorgeous fabrics in there. I thought Jackie had left. I thought Jackie Accounts had gone on her cruise. Uh, how am I doing stockwise? <coughs> 12 available and how many in baskets? 21. 21 in baskets. Message on my bottom. Oh, hang on. Wow, that Morris quilt is gorgeous, says Kate. Isn't it, Kate? How lovely it would look in your house, Kate. I don't know how we've managed to do that price again. That's the price we launched it at 18 months ago. My wages have not gone up. Mind you, Craig's joined since then on Hobby Makers and he takes most of the money out of the building. He's got... 159 Oh yeah, did you nick the makeup that was being delivered to my house this week? I was away and the parcel arrived and the box had been opened. All my makeup was gone. Oh, he doesn't wear makeup. Why is your hand a different colour to your face then? <laughs> oh, also, also, I was about to say my friend Dale Winton used to be like that. He'd be on telly and he'd go like that. And this would be as white as a sheet and this would be bright orange. I saw on Channel 5 the Dale Winton life story. Coming up very soon. You can what? Oh, he's painted his hands today. Anyway, look. Check out, check out, check out. I'm not going to spend too long. I'll come back to it in a minute. Right now, where were you at nine o'clock this morning? Yeah, we were all there. I don't, I'm not talking to you, Hannah. Right. Look, 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 look. We launched this at nine o'clock today. The new... No, it's not going on Hobby Maker. Cat producer Cat's desperate to get this on Hobby Maker. Do you know what? Buy th Actually, if you buy them all, <coughs> there won't be any left for them. We've got more people in baskets. I'm getting overexcited again now, listen. <clears throat> yeah, they supportive of all the other channels, but they took the scissors off us, didn't they? Do you remember? There's more people in baskets than we've got stock of. So, what's so special about it? Well, it's Oliso. So, when you get yours out the box, you will have this soulmate... On the bottom there, it does look like a squash turtle, doesn't it? When you take it off, you put it down, it then becomes your um, resting plate, like this. Then what you do is if you're going to put water in it, you need to put the water in it before you switch it on. The water goes in there. Now, you can change this before I switch it on. You can change this. This is a right-handed one. This is the one they, they gave me. Well, they didn't give it to me. I had to give it back. But what you can do is by undoing the, the little plastic bits on the bottom, you can take it out and turn it round. The way you find out how to do it, turn it into a left... Have you got the other one there, Michael? Is the other one around, the lefty one? Um, when you get your iron, go to more details and you'll see the circle there. It's circled. Uh, you get, it's called... Um, no, 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 there won't be a circle. Hannah added that this morning. <laughs> Uh, put the, where you click on there and it'll give you all the instructions. Thank you. Right, just so you see, that's what you can do. You can either have it coming out this side or this side. This is how yours will arrive. Hmm? No, it doesn't, have, doesn't make you guarantee or you're... Because it doesn't go near um, water. It doesn't go near cables or anything like that. Um, also, Janet Clay says you don't have to be left-handed just to move it over because your ironing board might be in an awkward place. Anyway, then what you do is you then switch it on. You'll see the red light here, right? You've got your dial here of all of your different um, temperatures, like a traditional iron. Switch it on. Oh, and that's, it's got to warm up. It's got to warm up, yeah. It's got to warm up. Well, uh, hang on a second. Right, if you're, if you're using it and the doorbell goes and you go off and chat to Sally for number five, if you leave it standing up like that, half an hour, it'll switch itself off. If you leave it like that, 10 minutes, it'll switch off. And I'll show you in a minute when it, when it comes on. I've just got to wait for it to warm up. I didn't think about that, did I? I've got 15 minutes, I'll be right. Um, so look, you to turn your dial to your different temperature. There you go. There you go. Look, 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 look. It's now heating up beautifully. So then there's a little light on the front here. So when you use it, look, can you see? Turn the lights down, let's turn the lights down. Oh, it's a very mucky board, I'm afraid. You'll see all the dirt on the board. 
Da, 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 da. No, no, you're not going to iron in that dark, are you? But, no, but watch, 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 watch. If you, oh, right, it's not got up to temperature because it's not, it's flashing to say it's not warm enough yet. So I'll let it do that a little while. Um, if, you, if it falls over, watch, it flashes. Can you see? And it will switch off after 30 seconds. So that's really good. Then if you want steam, is it ready for steam yet? Right, if you want steam, oh, it's ready. It's ready. If you want steam at the front, you press that side. If you want steam at the bottom, you press that side. And if you want mega steam, you press both sides. I know, it's fantastic, isn't it? A 1.9 metre uh, um, cable. Uh, now, it knows if you do, a, what was it, 101, a 101, 200. Basically, if you change voltage, it knows. It'll work on both. It's in the description. Um, and it's a gorgeous little iron. Very ergonomic, 0.9 of a kilo. Two pounds it is in weight. There's over 100 in baskets, but I haven't got anywhere near 100 left. 50, I've got 50 left, over 100 people in baskets. Fif quickly check out so that they can't have them. I know I'm supportive of my fellow mate, fellow. Jimmy's desperate for it. Anyway, really ergonomic. It's nice, isn't it? It's really powerful. The other thing I showed you earlier, oh, it's not on this side, is it's called a mini iron, but actually next to our mini iron, it's actually, it's halfway between a mini iron and a big iron. <clears throat> oh, am I going to have any voice left? Oh, Michael's just getting me the mini iron to show you. Different make, obviously, but just to show you the size. Look, there you go. See what I mean? Now, it's meant to be 99.99. Not today, 85.99. Oh, and also, because we crashed it, it means it'll go back up at midnight. Also, it's split pay, three-way split pay. We also couldn't find anywhere else you could get it for this price, unless there was somewhere else you could get it cheaper, but you then had to join their membership thing, subscription -y thing. And it wasn't supposed to be that price. Hannah got the price wrong. Was not meant to be that price. Anyway, isn't it gorgeous? Check out, check out, check out. I love the light. Light goes off when you turn it back up. Switch it off there. There's so many of you got it in your baskets. You do need to check out. How many? 160 people in baskets. And how many left? Less than 50 already. Check out, check out, check out. I don't know what the, what the repurchase, the replen, if Barry and Paul can, how quickly they can replen these. I don't know if Barry would be allowed to. It's a bit too important for Barry. $85.99. Should be $99.99. Look at, this, look at the shot of steam coming out of there. And that, that's the mega. That's the mega one. It's, beautiful, it's gorgeous. I love a bit of steam, me. $85.99. And then, of course, you've got your resting plate to keep it on. I'm going to go. Yep. Switch off. Quilt behind me. Single figures already. Oh, she's telling to produce a cat now. And price had gone up on everything. Why 18 months later are we charging the same price? For William Morris, it's um, tree pollen. It's that two weeks of the year, isn't it? But I'm going to put my HEPA filter on tonight when I get in. No, 150. They're all going to go cat anyway. There won't be any left. There's 150 people in baskets and 40, 40 left. Anyway, not this, not this. That's the iron I'm talking about. This one here. Stock-wise, what's this? 25 in baskets, eight left. Been a very busy day today, hasn't it? Very busy. This wasn't supposed to be in. 
You're still doing birthday. After party, baby. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We're starting so dark today. Um, don't store the sprays. Oh, there's more of the sprays. Uh, oh, can you hear her? Um, somebody messaged me on my Facebook Live going, are you going to the after party? I went, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, yes, Saint Street is doing an after party. And so I'm like, I've not been invited. No, no, it was on our, we put, played the advert. Oh! Ah, uh, the advert was on, the advert, look at them. Not that, look behind there. You're strobing as well, Kat. All right, all right, all right, it's enough. A man's just walked past the top corridor going, what the heck's going on down there? Check out, check out, check out on your iron. Check out, check out, check out on your uh, quilt. You're not making him wear that. Are, is, are, you, are they making him wear that hat? Refuse, Craig. You don't know where I am. Uh, we don't do after parties here. Anyway. Fight over it, says Hannah. Yeah, I love this one. Have I got, have I got a sample of it? Oh, no, 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 I'll find it. Oh, so Michael's there. This is lovely. Dina Designs, Ladybird. Thank you. Why are they taking the mickey out to you? Isn't it gorgeous? Should be. Oh, it's already crashed. 150. Oh, they even get the old balloons out. I wonder what. I nearly popped all those this morning because thought the party was over. The party's over. Mixed cherries, this one. Beautiful, isn't it? What the hell? I've got long enough to open the box. Oh, yeah, I've got long enough to open the box. So it's piecing templates and quilting, something quite... Ooh, this is a very sturdy um, booklet. Uh, what shall I say? There's a lady put... What's the lady's name? Jenny put a message on Facebook saying, oh, I must have been blocked. They've not read, read any of my texts out. We just looked through the thing. We got a message from you with no writing, just an empty text. We can play it for you if you want. Should we play it? Should we play it? We've just got to find it and we'll play it for you. There you go. Yeah, there you go. That's all we got today from you, Jenny. Right. Uh, remi remind me to ask you, look at this. This is beautiful. Love it. Beautiful, look at those. Oh, is that like grunge? Is that mode of grunge? That's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, I love the fabrics in there. Oh, I've opened it. There's only one left. Only one left. It is gorgeous, isn't it? That look lovely on the back of your sofa. Beautiful. I'll just pass that to Michael. About to sell that. Gone. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. What have I got? Delphine Blue Swallow, yeah. Oh, that, that's one with white, isn't it? Now, we think Delphine took this home because we can't find it anywhere. So you get your meter of white fabric. We only did it last week, 6th of February. March, March. Was it February or March? March, 6th of March. Month, I can't speak. Oh, Kat, it's been a long You're day. And what? You're off the rest of the week, aren't you? I mean, every day this week. Apart from Thursday, we're never at NEC. 59.99. Now, um, we haven't got a picture of it or anything, have we? 6th of March. 
Yeah, that was not a very good picture. I did tell her. Is there a picture inside? Is it uh, Hobby Maker delete it again? Adam. Handsome Adam or Daddy Adam? Daddy Adam. Daddy Adam. Right, now you're saving £12 because this on its own is £54.99. These are £9.99 and that's £7 something. I know, I know, I know. Uh, 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 do I know sign language, dude, says for tomorrow? Might need it. Um, should we do tomorrow's menu? Because we've got to go. They're ready. They're ready for us. Craig's on the gym. Here's tomorrow. Uh, Liberty Fabrics at 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock, Crafter's Companion. New bag. New bag making templates with Becky Swan. 10 o'clock. We've got, oh, Adam Brooks is in tomorrow. Hadley Top Pattern with Grain Line. Uh, Crafter's Companion, Gemini 2. Oh, you see, we've got the Gemini too. They've only got the midi today on their show. Blue to here. Oh, I was going to say, it's a lovely colour. Is it new? Uh, and then uniform tunic pattern by Grainline with Adam tomorrow. Good, I've got two guests. I won't have to talk too much tomorrow then, will I? Uh, thanks, for the company. Check out on the, on the iron. Check out on the wayliner. And, oh, the William Morris, I thought it sold out. The William Morris quilt. What, what, oh, what, 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 tell me. Over 30 people got in their baskets. Do you want to see it again? Over 30 people got in their baskets. There it is. And there's the irons chattering. Beautiful. 159.99. That's the same price we had it at the end of 2022. I've got to go. They're all ready to go. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Take care. Lots of love. Mm -hmm.